All right. I'm going to like triple check that I'm not muted today because I'm not having a, a recap what happened yesterday. But go live. Here, I'm going to turn my uh, the background music off to you. What is going on tonight, everybody? Ash, thank you so much for the super chat to kick off the stream. We, uh, I think we're actually really close to beating this game. So we have one more level with the third fish and we have like three more levels with the fourth fish. And then there might be one final level. I don't know what there's like a little bridge that we have to cross. I don't know what's going to be at the, at the other end of that bridge, but we are live. It is almost Friday. No, it's, it's actually Friday right now. So thank God it's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody on the East coast, at least. Um, here, one more before we get officially officially started today. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Hope you guys are doing great. Gloster, hello. Chris, hello. Maddie, hello. Uh, Krista, hello. Uh, Diesel, what's going on? Goofball, what's going on? Aiden, what's going on? Uh, I'm going to say hello to everybody. I saw Lindsay here, I think, before I was going live. I saw Buffwa here. My stream, my, my stream is already going dim. Um, what's up, Aiden? We got Aiden in the building. Thank you, Ben, for the like goal. Hello, Blocky. Hello, Anna. Hello, Ben Solo. I gotta say, I've really, really been enjoying this game. And if even if you guys watch my playthrough, I think there's a lot of things you're not going to see from my playthrough. Because a lot of the levels have like three ways to beat them. And just because I beat it one way doesn't mean you guys can't find more ways to beat it. And I think this game's on sale until like the, the 19th of this month. So if you guys are interested like in a new game, I, th I think this one would be really good to pick up. It's really fun. I think you very much enjoy it. I got a really uh, cute picture of summer tonight. So I'll, I'll just share this with you guys before we get started tonight. I was making dinner in the kitchen tonight and uh, I was giving her some of my some of the food I was making. And I, I got a really, really good picture of her. She never wants to pose for pictures, but I got a really good picture of her tonight. <laughs> so I took it and I was like, I'm probably going to show my stream that later tonight, so say hello to samantha i was like scra i was like scratching the bottom side of her of her chin because she likes when i rub her chin like that like I, I scratch her chin a little bit and she really likes that and like she was just like just sitting there for like for like i don't know 30 seconds i'm like i could probably get a really cute picture of me doing this and she didn't even try to move at all when a lot of times she tries to move away so there's there's summer for you guys cute summer pick You just say Finn Diesel. <laughs> yeah, she's really honestly so cute. I think she's she's gonna be ten years old in um She's gonna be ten years old in August. She's gonna be ten years old in August. Um first of all, I'm gonna go I'm I'm gonna kick things off tonight. I'm gonna gift a membership. So if you guys wanna make sure you have gifted memberships turned on. I'm going to gift a membership. If you guys could do me a favor, if you guys would consider dropping a like on the stream, I'd also very much appreciate anyone that would drop a like today. And uh, in the morning, they're going to be dropping the new avatar update for and the, and the battle pass for Fortnite. So there's a, there's a chance I'm going to do a morning stream tomorrow. We'll see. There's a chance I'm going to be going live again in the morning. So we might actually finish streaming this game and then maybe I'll go live in the morning and I'll do like a vertical stream and we'll try the new uh, we'll try like the new um, the new Fortnite update or something in the, tomorrow morning. We'll see. I know, right? That spot of black hair above her nose makes she kind of looks as depending how like she like uh, her hair is like parted. It looks like she has kind of like a little bit of a mustache. Like she has like a little bit of like a darker hair like above her nose. It's kind of cute. I love her though. She almost stole my uh, my guacamole off the counter, and I like I like I was making some guac and chips before I went live, and then I put the stuff on the counter, and then I went to the bathroom, and I heard her walk in the kitchen, and I was listening, and then I'm like, if she tries to steal my guacamole off the counter, I'm gonna be so mad. And then uh, I walk out, and she's her her nose is like next to the guacamole. I'm like, hey Summer, what are you what are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> she looked at me and I was like, I was like, hmm, Samantha, are you doing something in the kitchen that you shouldn't be doing? And she just looked at me and she was like wagging her tail. And I gave her a couple of chips and then I, then I went live. That's like the, the one bad habit she always has is she always wants to steal my food off the counter. She doesn't go to the bathroom in the house. She doesn't bark too much. 
She doesn't like chew anything. She doesn't chew anything up. She she's good at walking. She doesn't bother anybody. She doesn't bite people. She's she's good at guarding the house. The only, the one thing the, her, the only thing I can never stop her from doing is stealing my food off the counter. That, and it's like, and I'm thinking about it, and I'm like, if, if that's the one thing that um that I have to worry about, I guess I'm pretty lucky because like other dogs have way more problems than that. <laughs> it's just a horrible habit she has. It's awful. So like. I'm trying to think like is it even she's like 10 years old at this point is it even worth trying to break that habit or do I just let her play the game with me if I leave the food on the counter and she can take it maybe she can just have the food but the, then the problem is if I'm making something that's you know gonna be, be poisonous to her or something then that's the problem so if there's stuff that I know she can't eat I don't leave it out obviously like chocolate or something I would never leave that stuff out but like sometimes if there's stuff where I know like she can eat it and I plan on giving her some I'll leave it out because I, I was gonna share it with her anyways it's just stupid it's just silly Dude, no way, Tyler. What the heck? I've been waiting for the stream all day. I got effed over for the last time at work, so I finally quit, and I'm going to be back at school and get my CDL. Isn't a CDL like a like a driver's like a like a like a it's like a it's like a certif certificate to drive like heavy heavy machinery like big trucks and stuff? That's you can drive like car like like big trucks and everything, right? Thank you, my man. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's a commercial driver's license. That's what it is. It's a commercial driver's license. Do 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 do. I think it's a really important thing in life sometimes when like, uh, let's say you're in a bad spot, like at a bad job or like you're not, you're doing something you don't want to do. It's really hard to like, you can always tell yourself like, hey, I'll, I'll quit tomorrow. I'll, I'll make it through today, then I'll quit tomorrow. But like sometimes you just got to say, this is the last day I'm going to be working here. Uh, I'm getting treated like crap and I'm not going to let this go on any longer. It's so easy to procrastinate that, that stuff in life and you can you just continue in the monotony and the, the morose, you know? So I'm really happy for you. Like it's so hard to finally say, hey, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to leave this job. Like today is the day. I'm gonna leave the job and I'm done. So I'm happy for you. Hey Ben, thank you for the super chat, man. Fallout 4 next gen update drops on April 25th. But what does that mean? They're like re-releasing Fallout 4 for like next gen consoles, Ben. What does that mean? Fallout 4 next gen update. So they're going to be re releasing Fallout 4 for like the Xbox Series X and PS5. Is that what that means? Fallout I wonder. Next gen update drops on April 25th fire. It is, man. Yo, true. It, it's hard, dude. It's a lot of your day that you spend doing stuff you don't like, you know? I think it's part of the human, it's part of the human predicament that we're we're faced with it's tough man when you're living your life and you have to do things eight hours a day is a lot of a lot of your time you know and uh I'm not like gonna get political about it but i hope someday in the future we reach a point where we don't have to work as much and we have things you know that are more automated and we're freed up to do things we want to do that's a dream i think it might be a utopian dream that's going to be far in the future from now but that's also a, that's that's something that I hope someday we we can we can achieve as people. We can eventually reach a place where all of us can do what we want to do, and we can spend less time doing what we have to do. But the problem, right? The the biggest problem I think in life is trying to fill the time you do have with what you enjoy, with the energy you have. You know, it's not always easy, man. It's not always easy. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, Tyler. I used to work for Amazon driving. They gave me over 400 packages today and sent me no help my way. There was, was there for 13 hours. Yeah, dude, screw that. 
I, 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 I had a friend that worked for Amazon and I heard a pretty similar story to that. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry to hear that, man. I know that Amazon does not necessarily treat people the best that work there. And I think, uh, like, let's say you're going through a pretty stressful time in your life and you're like trying to make changes. I think it's nice to have like a streamer or like somewhere somewhere that you can go to hang out with that makes you makes you feel a little bit less less because it can be kind of stressful and like hard on your mental when like you're making a making a big life change like that. So hopefully the stream tonight can give you some a little bit of like solace and a little bit of you know chill vibes. Hopefully. Hashtag best streamer of all time. Yo Tyler, I appreciate you, brother. I really appreciate you. Best streamer of all time. I don't think that's true, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. That's really nice of you. I mean, I think you gotta look at it this way. Like uh, a year from now, it, when you when you find yourself in a better spot and you look back on today, you're gonna be like, thank God that I finally made the choice to quit, you know? So just, uh, I guess my advice for you is just like, just keep trying to find ways to like, just keep find, finding ways to, you know, better yourself and keep finding ways to make your life a little more happy. Hey, Loosh. What? Loosh, thank you for being a member for 28 months. What are you doing? <laughs> that's like how many babies? That's, that's roughly three babies and then like one ninth of a baby. So it's like three babies and then like maybe like a maybe like a I don't know like it's like a mini baby. It's like it's like three Kangaskhans and then like a like like one baby Kangaskhan like in the pouch. Thank you, Loosh. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's true. I, I, I really do have a lot of good people here though. So I'm I'm very grateful for that. But uh if you guys did not see the stream from the last time we played this game, it's amazing. This game is amazing, and I can't wait to show you guys more gameplay on it, because uh, we... So, the premise of the game, there's four fish that start in the same fish tank, and they get separated across this map. You know, like, one, one goes to, like, a dentist office, one goes to, like, some girl's home, and they're all trying to find a way to get back together because they're all friends. And they're all trying to get back to like the, the 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 big body of water, and you have to like basically through a various amount of water containing devices, you have to maneuver your way around this like world and stuff, and it's really fun. It's a really good game. Mhm. Mm I love it. I fall asleep to Nick every night he streams. He helps me to fall asleep. I love that so much, Buff. Thank you for allowing me to be the streamer that you watch when you go to bed at night. Ooh. So this is going to be a hospital. Oh, I didn't mean to start it. I was going to go back to the main menu because I was, I was going to see the previous levels. We're going we're gonna to go back. So this piranha, we started in like the, the one kitchen. Then we ended up in like a random forest. You guys know the, the last fish we're going to play as? He, it's a flying fish. So it's able to come out of the water and it can like glide. So that's the, that's the fourth fish in the game. That's, that's the one I'm looking forward to most. So you started out as uh, the goldfish, which is very basic. Then it was like the puffer fish that kind of inflates. And then it was the piranha, which can like chew things. And then the last fish is going to be a flying fish that can like fly above things and like fly through objects. So I think that one's going to be the most fun to play as, in my opinion. It should be at least, I think. <laughs> hey, Draco, it's good to see you today. Time for more chlamydia needles. I hope not. Time for more chlamydia needles. Oh my god, I, I pray to god that's not the case. Well, this is a hospital. Oh, Draco, this is a hospital. I wonder if the needles were actually like a, like a... 
Maybe it was like a like a hint toward us going to like the hospital, you know. Wait, what? Are we? Wait, I think are we are we trapped in like a block of ice? I think we're trapped in like a block of ice. That's what I'm. That's what I'm in right now. So that this is this is like the. Oh, this is gonna be rather. This is gonna. This is gonna be rather difficult. This is, gonna, this is gonna be rather difficult. So I'm, I'm guessing that, that yeah, I'm guessing the, the needles were for sure like a, a hint towards towards that. I'm sure. I'm, I'm guessing. Here, is is the volume loud enough? Is the volume too loud right now, guys? Is it too loud? I'm in a hospital. Steph, did uh, did Bingo ever use the bathroom today? Is Bingo still like is uh, has Bingo used the bathroom? We are in a block of ice, so there's like no there's no friction or resistance. So we just when it comes down when there's like going to be certain levels that we have to worry about like staying. This is going to be really really tricky. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Is this gonna be able to open? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Guys, did did uh did the stream crash for a minute? I got a weird notification that the stream I think crashed. Did it crash? I don't even know where to go from here. This seems like we're just stuck on the floor. <laughs> okay, stream stream is good. All right, because it crashed it crashed last night for a little bit, and then I didn't know what. Oh, we have to go this way. It like it like super crashed last night, and I didn't know what to do. I guess it's kind of cool that this block of ice never uh, is never gonna like uh, melt or anything. It's just gonna stay a block of ice forever. Never gonna melt. Oh, he never did stuff. That's that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks. Are you gonna stay up till we? Um... That is so awesome. No, it does melt. So over time, I guess once it once it melts, we're gonna have to find like a new. No, it melts. I was just saying, I hope that this didn't melt and look at what happened. It literally melted in front of my eyes. So we, we must have to like slide and find like a bucket or some kind of some kind of water. Uh, but I, I didn't see anything that we could hop into. Thanks, Firefly. I appreciate you so much. Stream is fine. I can't believe it's already Friday, guys. That's crazy. It's Friday right now already. This week, I feel like this week flew by really quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys were in general this morning, but in general, in general, this discussions in my discord, we had a really uh, interesting morning in there. <laughs> it was very, I've never seen my general chat as crazy and active as it was this morning. It was very active and very crazy. Oh, so that you know what you know what's making us melt? It's that thing. I think I think that's maybe like a heater, and that's gonna actually make us melt. So maybe if we're not, in, yes, you see, now we're not melting anymore. So it must be when you're in front of those, like when you're directly in front of those, and it, it makes the ice melt because obviously it's producing heat. So we have to limit our exposure to the to like the little heat things that make a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. That is so cool. We're on some random guy's desk. 
and we died. Yeah, it was Chris. It, the crazy thing is, I, I stopped in just to say, like, uh, I saw that uh, Sophia and Jess were talking about stuff, and I was just, I, I stopped in just to say hi and make a joke, and the next thing I know, it's just, it was like literally like the most, it was just insane today. <laughs> it was fun. I stayed in there a lot longer than I thought I would, though. I was like, yeah, I'll stop in to say hello. I see Justin and Sophia talking it up in there. Next thing I know, like, I just came, and, I came and process who's saying what and what's happening and who's about to, who's about to what's a. It was a trip, and then it was uh, more than a trip. Okay, so we must have to. Okay, you see how on the ground here, there's like a little pad. I think we're able to like slide on the ice onto the chair, and then once we're on the chair, we can slide. Once we're on the chair, we can slide on the ground, correct? Okay, perfect. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. This game is actually wonderful. This game is actually such a good game. I'm telling you guys, if you have an Xbox, this game is like six bucks right now. And it's a little bit challenging because some of the puzzles take a little bit of uh, like, you gotta do like, it can be a little bit tricky, like how you like traverse the world and stuff. But if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. Okay, we hit that. Who's there? You oh no. Here. I'm practicing. I'm doing mostly good. Oh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna come see me. I'm doing mostly good, Firefly. Every second you keep hiding, Bob loses more blood. Every second you keep hiding, Bob loses more blood. Oh my god, he's gonna see me. Do I have to hide in there and then come and then come this way? I'm guessing if that guy sees me, I'm probably going to be... Please come out. Yeah, mine does too, Draco. When I'm typing to Shay in Discord, it always it always says Shat. Shat Moon. Definitely not when I, what I'm trying to type. It's every time I try to say it's always Shat. Like, my, my, my phone... Like, my phone doesn't know that, like, Shay is an actual name, you know? Where do I go? The amount of times I, uh, for a little bit, I think she she changed her name in one of the discords I was in. Because I, I kept telling, I kept calling her Shat. I don't, I'm not trying to. Like that sounds rude, but I'm, it's like not intentional. But yeah, I for sure. I think so, Tony. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I, I think we're if we find like a bucket or something, we're gonna be able to actually. I don't know what that was about. I'm not sure what that was about or if that was even intentional. Okay. Yeah, we're supposed to be we're supposed to not get spotted here or caught here at all. So if we see anybody or we hear anybody talking, they're going to come try to stop us. The music reminds me of like uh, Disney. It's like very Disney esque, or maybe not Disney, but it sounds it sounds like I don't know what to, how to describe it. But it sounds it sounds like it sounds like very like cartoony music. That's why that's why I really like it. Oh my god, he's right there. After I fix Bob, I can fix you. After I fix Bob, I can fix you. Please don't fix me. That guy is terrifying. Oh, please don't see me. Why did he turn? Why did he turn around? That guy just actually turned around like that. Oh, he's gonna come back for me, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna. Bob, do you need surgery? I'm getting quite good. Oh, he's coming this way. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna get caught. I'm getting spotted for sure. Go in the room. Now we're good. I didn't think this game would have like many jump scares, but that feels like very like. I don't know if like it'd be a jump scare if he was oh he's right there again. I don't like jump scares, so if he if he came in like jump scared me, oh my god, he's gonna see me. 
Why is he like following me? Wait, did I did I glitch him out? Because I think we just glitched the. Do you need surgery? I'm getting quite good. Did we just like totally glitch him out? Yeah, I think we did. Here, oh my god, he's gonna come this way again. I think I'm gonna get caught here. Wait, he hasn't he hasn't caught me yet. What what is he doing? This guy is the way this guy maneuvers around is like. No, I'm not coming near you. Can I hide back here? This guy is horrifying. I'm not going near that guy. This area is closed. You're interrupting my important practice. I know, Steph. I have like I've never had a level where like someone's chasing. Well, I guess I there was one level where I was in like a, a nightclub, Steph, and like I was getting kicked around by people. I was like in like a like a nightclub. Oh, I'm gonna get caught here. Yeah, for sure. Yep, there it is. Don't run. And they were kicking me around. Yep. So he doesn't like grab you. He just he steps on you and he breaks the ice. That's what he does. So you you have to avoid him stepping on you. Yeah, there was a there was a there was a there was one part of the nightclub where some guy like I I landed in some guy's drink and he drank me and he was all drunk and he was like stumbling around the nightclub. But the way that I would swim in his stomach, like let's say I swam forward in his stomach, you would make the guy walk forward. If I swam backward in his stomach, he would like stumble backwards. And I was this guy was walking on the dance floor, drunk, with a fish in his stomach that was like guiding him. And he's like, I gotta use the bathroom. And he threw me up in the bathroom and then the fish went down the drain and we we ended up like in the sewer. It was really it was honestly a really well designed level, I think. Oh my god, it's actually creepy as hell. This is actually a creepy level. This is I've never had a level be this creepy before. It's like it's like a mental hospital. This is not like a regular hospital. This, this is like a mental hospital. Like this is it feels like a rundown like mental hospital. I don't know. We just gotta avoid him stepping on us. And I'm not even sure where I'm trying to go. Like I don't even know where like the I'm just scared. After I fix Bob, I can fix you. Like, what does that mean? After I fix Bob, I can fix you? What does that even mean? Like, he's gonna, like, he's gonna neuter me and, like, make sure to have your, your fish spayed and neutered? I don't want him to neuter me. I think the game plan here is we just try to fit into, like, these, like, oh, I'm gonna die. I think we just try to fit into these, like, small, tight spaces like this. He's gonna be right here. Every second you keep hiding, Bob loses more blood. Oh my god. I'm starting to think you don't want surgery. I'm starting to think you don't want surgery. I'm starting to think that you're a creep. And I'm starting to think that I don't want to deal with you. I'm actually really thinking you're a creep and I don't want to deal with you. you I think we can go this way. Maybe we can like just pick up I steam. To save lives. These doors might not be able to open. Oh my god. Oh, I hate it. You never know. Like, you never really know what doors can, op can open or not. You, th you think you find an exit and then it's just the door that doesn't even open. So you just like smash into the door and you die. So some doors are not able to be opened, which is a problem. Hey, Rossetti, thank you for becoming... I almost just knocked my coffee over. Rossetti, thank you for becoming a member again. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to put some massive hearts in chat for Rossetti for me, I would, it'd mean a lot to me. Yeah, it is, Maddie. This is giving, like, Outlast vibes. It's, it's like, Outlast vibes, but also, like, more, like, child-friendly Outlast, you know? It's like Outlast, but not as, um... <laughs> not... LS is a lot more like creepy and like a lot more like uh, um, inappropriate body parts that are dangling from the ceiling. Okay, this is a little more creepy than I thought it was. <laughs> when he walk, like when he walks that way, and then the, you hear the music play, like the little creepy chime, that was intentionally put in the game to be creepy. So they they did want this level to be creepy. It's not just me; like they're intentionally trying to make this level more creepy for sure. And the guy follows you, so you can't really escape him. Like, 
No matter what room you're in, he's gonna... He's kind of cute, though. Look at the Prano. Where are you? Where are you? I'm trying to avoid you, you creep. Oh, Draco. I've played some VR games before, and I get... I've gotten scared of, like, you know, VR games. You know what was funny? I used to have, like, a... Like a um, I used to have, like, a Samsung VR thing. Where like you put your phone in it and you put it up to your face and it like mimics VR. It was like kind of like a budget VR, like with your phone. And there was a, a jungle book like mu music video lives. where like all the characters and the snake were in it. I literally screamed my lungs out. And I was with some of my friends and I was like, Yeah, it's not that scary. And then they were like, Are you Don't sure? You it was horrifying. I gotta figure out where to go. Is oh, I wonder if this vent. Can we go inside this vent? Can we break it? I know you're around oh, come here. on. You've gotta be flipping my pancakes. I don't know where to go here, guys. Let's just let's I think I think the game plan is we don't really stop. We just keep moving until we figure out where we're going. Because we can kind of outrun him, but like also not really. And heaters and like lights and everything melt us. He's following me. We have to go this way. This area is closed. You're interrupting my important practice. This area is closed. Well, I'm not. I'll make sure I, I leave really quick. But I'm trying to find where I'm supposed to go. Is that the exit? Is, is that is that where I'm, is that where I'm supposed to go? There's no way. Isn't that where I entered from? Isn't that where I just came in from? Or, or am I crazy? You. Oh, he's following me. No, 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 we have to go, we have to go, go, go! Is that the exit right here, or am I, I think that's where I came in from, right? Or maybe not. No, it probably is. Because we, we came, we came down those stairs, didn't we? Yeah, we came down those stairs, that's, that's where we came in from, right? Please don't hide, I must get back to my work. See, Drake, well, uh, I landed in, like, this, like, frozen, like, cooler, like, like, a little cooler, and there was a heart, there was, like, a human heart that was beating in there, and for some reason, I think he thinks that I stole the, 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 the heart for the transplant. He must be giving some guy a heart transplant, and I was in the same container that the heart was in for some reason, and I think he thinks I have, he thinks I have the, the heart, or I think he thinks that I'm the frozen heart but instead of the heart being frozen in the block of ice i'm frozen in the block of ice so he thinks he thinks that i'm the heart running away from him that's what he thinks but i'm actually a fish and the heart actually didn't get him it didn't get frozen so the heart's just like you know pretty much not bob's gonna die he's there's no heart for him that's what i'm trying to say bob's trying to have open heart surgery and there's no heart because i i froze myself instead of the heart to stay alive so poor bob So basically, Bob's just gonna die. Please come out. Bob is in need of urgent surgery, and you're delaying that. So he thinks he keeps saying, "Please come out, <laughs> please." <laughs> so he's trying. He he's trying to catch the the heart that he thinks is frozen for surgery, or whatever you know. But there's no heart because I've yeah. You know, I'm over explaining. <gasps> oh, that, that's where I'm supposed to go. Like that's surgery. where I'm supposed to go. That's the checkpoint right down there. So, maybe eventually we'll wander into Bob's like surgery room or something. That's he's freaky. That guy's really scary though. I know. I don't even know what Bob's gonna really be struggling. Bob's gonna really be like really hard struggling. All right, so if I remember correctly, we we come in that door, we hung a we hung, we, we go down this this boy way right here, and I think we 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 just like we turn right, yeah we we have to kind of follow where he's going I think. Then we go down we went down this way, I think, and then we hung a left. I don't, I think I remember where that was. Boom, boom. Hey, Brissetti. Bro, Gavin, that's really nice of you, man. To come back to stream today and become a member and super chat. 
That's really nice of you. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> I like I like how this guy sounds. It's really oh he's gonna. Okay, I don't think he can catch me. Where did you go? <laughs> this guy's blind. <laughs> Dude, Remy, what are you, dude, Remy, that's really nice, dude. Th I think you just found my channel yesterday, didn't you, Remy? Please don't hide. I must yeah, we're, get oh, back to here. my work. Remy, that, that, dude, that, that's so nice of you, man. Thank you for becoming a Lighthouse member tonight, brother. Okay, so we're still in the hospital. So that, that room must have been like a... Uh, Remy, that means so much to me. I, I Like from the bottom of my heart, thank you. I, I said man, I'm not sure, if, I'm not sure if, that, if you're... I always say man, so if you're not a man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just use man all the time, I'm so, I, I apologize. Thank you for becoming a Lighthouse member. That means a lot to me. Can we hide under here? Come out, come out, wherever you are. Where are you? The fish in my ice block. Running from the doctor, doing surgery. St uh, sitting unsuspecting underneath the table. The sick, strange coldness comes creeping on, so haunting every time. I'm sliding around the floor here. I could do a remix for that song. Like low friction in the hospital. Hear your voice of reason. Will you come back and help Bob have surgery? Help Bob have surgery. Don't waste your time. You're already the fish inside my block. I miss you. He, he just always happens to be where I'm at. Like, he just always knows where I'm at. Hello there. Piranha in my ice block. I, see you again. I wonder if he's going to be able to spot me here. The fish that's swimming around. This area is closed. You're interrupting my <laughs> Next stop, I'm crying, bro. <laughs> I'm glad, man. I'm glad I can make your day better, dude. Sounds like you had a really, really tough day today, man. You can't hide. I don't know where to go. I think I think we go this way. Where did you go? I, maybe maybe this door's maybe this door here is actually able to be opened. We gotta pray this door can be opened. Oh my lord, we're actually lucky. We're lucky as hell. Now we gotta figure out. Oh, we can go down the stairs, can't we? Can he come in this room? There's gonna be a jump scare here. No way. But we have, we have to make sure we can make it into the, the sink. Wait, I think, is my game glitched? Uh, what is happening, guys? Yeah, my my, my game just glitched out. I gotta reset it. Do you guys see that? I, I literally beat the level, but my game just hard glitched right there. I didn't know what to do. Like, my game, like, legitimately just hard, like, glitched out so hard. I don't know what I could what I could have done there. Like honestly, there's nothing I could have done there besides. I think we just have to. Oh, I, I, okay, at least at least now I don't have to worry about like trying trying to figure out where to go. I just know where. We have to come in this little waiting area. Don't hide. You can have surgery too. Don't hide. You can have surgery too. That was so weird. I think you. I think the game you were supposed to. Um. I want to say you were supposed to just like automatically jump into the the sink. If it happens again, then I, maybe there's a way I can fix it. But let's just retry that. We'll see what happens here. We'll, we'll give it a redo. Mm -hmm. 
Because we like popped out. No. You have to just wait till. Oh, you have to wait till. Uh... What is happening? Are we supposed to like just like fall on the floor from this point? I don't know what's going on here or why it's not working. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Dude, thank you for the raid, guys. First of all, Jeff, thanks for being a member for 10 months. I appreciate you, man. 10 months with your very awesome community. I love you for it, man. I love you for it very much, Jeff. Thank you. Hello, Mudkip. Hello, Brobo Games. Hello, Ear... Ear... Ear Inksy? I probably got that wrong, and I'm sorry. Uh, hello to Anxious Christian. Thanks for the raid, guys. If you guys don't know Anxious Christian and you want to go over and show him some love for me today, I would very much appreciate it. If you guys are new here, my name's Nick. I usually do a lot of like uh, a lot of Nintendo stuff here, but with like people, well, I guess lately not, that's not really been the case, but I slid way too far. <laughs> but uh, my name's Nick. I stream a lot of a lot of cozy slash competitive games slash just I do a lot of like Lego Fortnite. I do a lot of regular Fortnite. I do a lot of like uh, like like puzzle games. I do a lot of chill, cozy games. I hope you guys enjoy your time here. And if you want to go, if you if you could do me any favors today, even if you're like, yeah, this guy's not really my kind of streamer. If you want to drop a like on the stream for me, that would be very awesome. Okay, so I think we have to sneak our way in here. He's still in the waiting area, so he's he's not even able to. To see us here but i don't know what we're supposed to do when we come down like the vents here and we're making our way through because it seems like we're supposed to jump or something when we get to the end of it because we're not making it into the sink which makes no sense let's try that again <laughs> see like it, it it's almost like they didn't program it quite correctly now we're in there that's so strange like, if the ice cube doesn't hit, the, like, the sink in the right way, you're just gonna, like, not make it in here, you know? Kind of crazy. I feel way better about that now. <laughs> Alright, I will call you Nixie, okay? I promise. If I get it wrong, like, just, just correct me, okay? Hey, Steph, thanks for being the best and dropping them the, the link for me. I really appreciate it, Steph. Okay. So you know what Piranha's like. Here's my thought process here. When you're trying to, like, find things that you can chew on and find things that you can actually bite, they always want you to bite things that are red. And I'm seeing some things on this shelf that are full of blood. Piranha's like blood. So my thought process is we're supposed to swim down and then swim up and then maybe grab. I can't grab it, though. You see how those, those things spin? I almost feel like you're supposed to grab onto those, spin around, and then fling off somewhere where there's more water. That's kind of what my assumption is here. Or we just land in the sink and there's no water in here. <laughs> we're just going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do anything. See, or maybe you, you can, like, break those bags open and fill the sink with blood or something. I don't know. Steph, I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Hit me with your best shot. There's no way that we... Like, there's no possible way that I'm not able to grab onto those bags. There's no way. We have to, we have to like, angle ourselves perfectly. And then we're going to come up. Or not. <laughs> At least we also have, like, a, we have a checkpoint right here. So the checkpoint will help. Is that not the solution? Yeah, dude, anxious. That's what I'm thinking too, man. Because looking at this, I don't see anything that could like that. 
And it looks like these things actually kind of like uh, spin around too. There it is. So they, they do. So you knock them over and then you can fill the sink with blood. That is really cool. Um, so if you guys are, if you guys are new to this game, the, the, the premise of this game is there's four fish and they all get separated throughout this big city. So you have to play as each individual fish and meet up at like this designated meeting point in like by the ocean. So this is the, the third fish we were doing it for. And the first fish was a goldfish. The second fish was a, um, like a puffer fish. The third fish is the piranha. And then the fourth fish we're going to do tonight, if we have time is like the flying fish. So it can actually like fly above. It's like, you know, so it's really wholesome and the game is like voice acting. It's got really cute cutscenes. It's really, really good. Ooh. Um, there's a lot of very suspenseful moments and a lot of moments where like it takes oh you have to probably you have to probably bite this bag too. So you see how the one bag filled it up only partial part of the way? We can probably bite this bag too, right? And then Look at that! You had to bite both the bags in the sink and then they filled the sink up. That was the that was the whole point of that. But I don't know what we do after this. Because you needed to have more more. Oh no, we have to get back in the sink. I guess I don't know what to do from here. Because I don't see anything that I can use to... Hmm, this is where I feel like we're going to kind of struggle a little bit. That was close. <laughs> I don't think fish can breathe in blood. Hey, Mudkip, you gotta sus you gotta suspend some belief, my dude. All right, your profile picture is a mystical creature that can shoot water out of its mouth. Okay, man. If a if a prana can if a prana can breathe in water, all right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're right, though. I don't think a fish... Well, piranhas like blood. I'm not sure they can survive in blood, though, because blood is way more thick than water is. So I don't think a fish can really swim around in blood, you know? There's got to be a way that we can... Okay, I'm guessing we have to swim all the way down. So like, we have to, like, swim down. And we can swim up. I'm not getting enough height. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. <laughs> not reaching enough height. Yeah, I think so too. I think Miji would also like this game a lot. Usually if I play something and she sees me play it, she ends up streaming it later. So I mean, maybe she will mudkip. I forgot you were part of Miju's community too. So that's really nice. Glad to have you here. I'm too scared to like fully commit because I don't want to fly off the table. And there's no checkpoint here either. He's a very cute piranha though. He's very, very cute. I don't know if, I'm gonna, if I'll make it back in the... I think I'm going to die, guys. No, I'll make it back in. If we're out of the water for too long... What's very cool about the game. So if you're outside the water for too long, the screen starts fading to black. But if you do make it back in the water, so it gives you like three seconds of the, of the stream being, or the screen being totally black. And sometimes you don't know if you're going to make it back in there. Like, let's say you're very close to the water, but like the screen goes black. It's very suspenseful if you make it in or not. And if you make it back in, this, the screen comes back to life. And then this is a really good game. And it was, it was $6 on Xbox. That's why I originally streamed it. Because I was like, that, that looks really fun. No. I don't know how to get more air. Like, I feel like we're, like, really struggling because we're not getting a lot of, like, height. What What do I do?
I'm telling you. And but the only thing about this game is a little bit challenging because the puzzles can be really hard. All right, we fell on the ground. <laughs> That's so hard, man. It's so hard. I, I know for a fact we can grab it. It's just a matter of like. They don't make it very easy on you. You have to be very precise. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Steph, I hope you have a really good night. I, I'll, I'll message you, okay? I'll message you. You have a good night. And I will... Um... Steph, do you, have, do you have a fever still right now? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to fly up. Hey, Nameless, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Okay, so we got that first part done. This is not Nick's first time jumping out of a sink and biting, and biting a bag into a pool of blood. Now, I've done it a lot in the past. I've done it a lot in the past. It's one of my favorite pastimes, is jumping out of a sink, biting a bag of blood, having it seep into the drain. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the the sink will fill up. Yeah. It's kind of a the game is kind of a rage game. This is honestly Loki a very, very rage game. <laughs> it's the the amount of times you're 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 doing something, um, the amount of times you're doing something, and like you can't quite get where you want to go, and you can't quite like you have to be very precise to, and for some reason this thing seems very difficult. <laughs> Please, <laughs> it's it's so hard, man. I'm almost better off just like restarting every time I do that this portion of the game. It's so hard. All right, we'll fill this up. No, I don't think it's the faucet. I think we do have to find a way to like uh to swim deeper in this thing and then we have to we have to swim up. And we have to like grab the bag of blood. But the thing is when we when we grab the bag of blood, I don't know how it's going to help us when we pull it into the sink with us. You know what I mean? I mean, the, I mean, I'm not saying the faucet's not the answer. Oh, what, what if we do this though? You might be, you might be onto something. You might actually be cooking here. I don't know. No, I think, I think the the bag of blood's for sure. What we have to do. It's just we have to be very, very accurate with our. I don't know. Hey, Doga, what's up, man? Doga is in the building. Um, with the, maybe the, with the sponge. I think that time that was, that was the closest we've ever came to grabbing the blood bag. <laughs> I can't get enough height. Like, I feel like when I'm swimming in this I'm like struggling to get the height that I need and I'm smacking into everything. Ah, oh, man. Doga, what are you doing, bro? Who womp? Doga, that's so freaking nice of you.
So good. Thank You're you from the bottom of my heart for the 50, brother. I absolutely love you so much, and I appreciate you so much. Thank you, Doga, for being the best, dude. What in the hell are you thinking? <laughs> Thanks for always being supportive, Doga. I, I really love having you around, and I value that very much. Thank you. If you guys can do me a favor, would you guys mind dropping some huge hearts in chat for Doga? Would you guys mind showing this man a lot of love? Can you guys show him a bunch of, like... You should. Dude, Christian, this game is really good. And I think right now it's like it's like $7 on uh, on Xbox, so it's really, really cheap, man, if, if it's still on sale. The first few levels that I was playing were really good, too. I, I really, really... Aw, oh man. I can't get back in the water. It's going... The screen's going black. Oh, no. Ah, we did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Doga, thank you so much for the $50 bomb. <laughs> Doga, what are you doing? Thank you. Doga, how have you been recently, man? Did you ever finish... Uh, I think you... Doga, you bought you bought a Xbox for Power World, didn't you? Did you ever finish playing Power World? I'm telling you guys, there's a way to get that bag. What if I what if I start way back here? And we swim forward. Uh, I think I went way too far. I, I fully committed. <laughs> All right, we're back in. I don't know what to do. Why, Doga? I haven't gotten an Xbox yet. Life's been pretty oof lately. Dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Katie, this game is really... Hi, Katie. This game is really anxiety-inducing. Like, when you're swimming... Like, some of the other levels are insane, Katie. Like, every fish in this game has, like, unique abilities. And, like, some levels you're, like, you're like running away from people. Some levels... It's, it's really good, but it's also really crazy. I can't figure out how to actually, like, get enough, uh, like, oomph out of the water to where, where I can swim up. Is there a way maybe just, like, just an... What if I do the other bag? Maybe it's not that first bag I have to grab. What if I grab this, the, the second bag? You think? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so at all, actually. This is so this is this is probably one of the puzzles they're talking about that's a little bit tough. I think it was close that time, but it's hard to see how close you're getting to because you never really know. I don't know why this this I don't know why this part's so hard. I think I gotta like uh jump out of the water. I gotta I gotta go back a lot further, I think. I think I'm I think I'm like jumping way too late. Maybe that's my problem. Or the problem is I don't know I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think we should probably jump earlier, though. That would probably help me a lot. Try to aim for the pole, you said? Just knock the whole thing over? No, I think I think we have to somehow, like... But the, the thing is, when I eventually do, like, knock it over and I grab one of the bags, I don't know exactly how, how that... Like, how does that benefit me, you know? Like what am, what am I supposed to accomplish when I grab one of the bags? I don't even really know. See? And we're not getting any height that way. Can I just roll across the, the desk forever and then just die? I don't know what to do. Okay. Doga, thank you again so much, man. I, I really love you. No, 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 Katie. Um, so the last stream I was playing, there was one level where we were like uh, on a highway and there were cars coming both directions and it was raining and storming and there were potholes and we had to jump from pothole to pothole 
and they're like little tubes but there, there's checkpoints so you can find a checkpoint and then you don't have to like restart the whole the whole thing and see like how is this so easy you know um the previous area there was like uh we were in a hospital and one of the guys thought we were like a uh a, a heart that was gonna get transplanted he was chasing us to the whole hospital it was really scary we were like in a frozen block of ice and he was like kind of a uh, it's a very cool game so once you pop both of those bags it makes the blood rise right but the, the checkpoints are really 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 fair i feel like in this game the puzzles are very hard but the checkpoints make it a little bit better in my opinion I just don't know how to swim out of here. That had to be so freaking close. That had to be so close. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I really don't. Can I somehow grab the other bag? What if we do this? Now I'm like grasping at straws, I feel like. I don't know what to do, guys. This has to be what I do next, but I can't even grab it. Maybe I just go straight up then, you said? Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Maybe if I just, maybe I just, maybe we just go straight up. I think you're right. That's a really good tip. Yo, anxious. You're, that's a, bro, you're, that's a really good tip. Oh my God, I love you. Oh my God, anxious. I freaking love you. I'm like, I'm going to get down on one of my knees right now. I'm going to ask you to marry me right now. Can I, will you marry me, anxious Christian? I don't have a ring for you yet, but will you marry me? That's a really good tip. I forgot uh, from last stream when you're like stationary and you, you go up. Dude, marry me. I'm going to get down on one of my legs, right, one of my knees right now. God damn, will you marry me? That was very helpful. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, and then we then we make the, the oh, we, we, make, we make the whole floor. Um, but I think I was supposed to probably grab both of those. Because I feel I don't think it's big enough. I think I, I messed it up already, guys. I think on the way down you have to grab both of them and pop both of them. I don't know for sure, but that's what it, that's what it seemed like. Or maybe my game is glitched right now. Or I think I actually I no 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 what I what I did I ch I chose the wrong controls. When I paused the game, I I, I hit the other control uh, option. That's what I did. Okay, at least we know how to do it now. If we have to restart, it's fine. Okay, well, let's just do the same thing we did last time. We're just going to kind of hop more just like straight up vertically. But I think this one, you don't want to go, you don't want to go vertically so much. You want to go, I don't, yeah. So the first one's more angle than the second one's more vertical. I think I could have probably salvaged the last, the last one too. I, I messed up. That was my fault. Yeah, you want to just go, you want to go all the way down and then just jump straight up. It kind of helps me if I, there we go. I love you so much. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Holy cow, that was so helpful. I think we can probably grab the other one from here, right? Or no, we can't. Now it almost feels like there's like nowhere to go. But they, they wouldn't like block you from making progress if you don't. Is there a way to pop them both? And we're also not even capable of like, uh, like jumping out of the water here, really. Yeah, but the thing is later, I don't know. Um, to reach the door handle, we're going to have to have a lot more blood be on the ground, you know? So do you see how, like, there's a blood bag right here? We need to find a way to uh, have the water level rise. 
So do you see how like these all, these cabinet handles also have red on them? We open those up. There's probably more blood bags. We have to flood the whole room. But the thing is, I got to find a way to make the... We got to make this rise even further. I'm not sure how to do that. It probably starts with, with this blood bag right here, but I don't know how to even... There's almost got to be a, a hidden... Th these boxes look really sus to me, but I can't even reach them. Like, the game will, like, physically won't let me go. Oh, I guess... Yeah, I can't even go over this way. It's like... Oh, is there, like, something blocking it in the water? No, you can see that. There, there's got to be a way to get in those boxes. But the game is, like, physically blocking me from going that way. Do you guys see that? Is that a glitch or something? The game is glitched, for sure. I can't go this way. But I'm, I'm assuming that one has to be where I'm supposed to go. Like, do you see how that one's like all taped up like that? It looks like a vent, but I can't go that way. It won't let me. I think this is like actually glitched. Like actually, unless somehow I have to. I don't know what to do there. Oh my lord, Nani. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Look at these. Can we bite the, can we bite the wheels on these? Wait, 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 wait. I think I see something we can bite. No, I'm full of it. I'm full of crap. See, it looks like there's probably a way that we can bite these boxes. Let, let, I'm going to restart this level, okay? I'm going to restart this level and we're going to just redo the whole thing. Okay. Now, I hope you're having like the best night ever. I'm grateful to see you. If you guys didn't, uh, if you guys want a daily dose of summer in your life, I got a really cute pick of summer when I was making dinner today, and she almost stole the food I was making off the counter, but she didn't. So I got very lucky. <laughs> so there's like a little, there's a little daily dose of summer for you. Nani, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. See, I don't know what to do from here. Well, we, we get this done. My thought is on the way down, there's going to be a way to pop both blood bags. Like, can I, like, 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 is there a way to pop both of them on the way down? And that would probably save me a lot of, you see this? And can we swing from this blood bag to that blood bag? Is that what I'm supposed to, no, there's, that's definitely not what I'm supposed to do. And this is still glitched. Ah, uh, this is so frustrating. Does that mean I'm not supposed to go in that direction? Like, do you see? There's like an invisible wall here. Why is there an invisible wall? Because those boxes have to have to have something to do with this. And I'm just being... Unless maybe they don't. I don't know. But why are there boxes there? Like, what... I'm so confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> I feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh, can we knock that off? You guys see that, that towel up there? What if we can knock that towel off? Is there a way to like grab the ledge of this and shake it or something? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I just can't help but feel like there's got to, that, that has to be something to do with it. 
I don't know what it has to do with it, though. I don't know. I'm so confused. Can you do a swim and run and then jump? I don't think so. The problem is, I think that the, um, that, like, the water's too shallow to do anything right now, you know? If it was a little bit deeper, we get, we'd be able to get more air when we're jumping. I don't know. Opening the cabinets, maybe? The cabinets look, look like they're openable. Like, they, they can be open, but I don't know. Oh my god, are you f what in the hell is the matter? Why would they put the door so high up if you could just open them from the bottom? That's really that's a great that's a great tip. Why would they put the okay the cabinet doors it, it, they, they like visually that's probably part of the puzzle. So you can actually open them without it you can as long as you're like uh biting the right thing, you can open them. That is and there's more blood bags in there too, which is huge. Bro anxious, I can tell you play the demo because you have that, that, that demo must have been the whole game, bro. You know exactly what to do. I love it. I'm, you, will, you, will you marry me? Dude, the, the marriage proposal is still standing. I'm telling you. Will you marry me? I guess the problem is, here's what we do. We can probably jump up like here, and we can grab yes. And we pull the blood bags in... Anxious Christian, you absolute smarty pants. No, I'm, I'm just kidding, Anxious. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I swear I didn't know that. No, I'm, I'm kidding, man. I'm kidding. That was a great guess, though, dude. That was a great guess. I'm not used to having the cabinets, oh, like, like, uh, function that way, you know? Where you can, like, just, like, it, like open them now, like, like that. I'm not used to that. So we must have to like just oh, like like uh just fl it's so gross that we're flooding a room full of like blood. Kind of disgusting if you think about it. Very cool but very gross at the same time. Can we pop this one open? All right. So I guess what we have to do is like eventually get the water level to rise enough and we're going to hit the door and then all the blood's going to flow out of the room. It's going to be gross. And then there's going to be like a doctor and they're going to be like, oh my God, now we got to clean this up, this whole mess up. I know. I don't like blood either. Do you guys know what blood type you are? Wow, Sky! I got an interview opportunity for a TV station as a programming assistant. Holy cow, Sky is the limit. <laughs> That's awesome, Sky. I'm really happy for you. Sky, you're finding all the good opportunities out there. As a programming assistant for a TV station. Is it for like the Today Show? Um, what, what's the blood type where you're able to, you can give your blood to every blood type, but you can't receive every blood type? Because I think that's the blood type that I am. I can give, I can give my, my blood to anybody, but I can't like receive any blood type. I don't, I don't even know exactly what kind of blood type that actually is. I don't remember. Okay, I, th I think that we've almost raised this all the way up. Was that every single bag that we already we opened? It's still raising, it seems like, right? No, it's not raising anymore. So I must have missed one of the bags. Okay. 
Isn't O the rare, the most rare blood type too? So Star Rock is O plus. Katie's O. Wait, is that what I am? O negative. I think I'm O negative. Or am I AB? I think I'm O. I think my blood type. Oh, there's one. It's the one bag that we forgot to pop here. That's that's the last one. I think my blood type is 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 O. Isn't it cool that as humans we have like there's like multiple blood types you can have? I think that's actually really cool. The idea of having multiple blood types is really fascinating. And some can give blood to other people, but some can't take others' blood. It's kind of just, oh, I think all we have to do is use the I'm gonna use the anxious Christian method. We're gonna go, we're gonna go all the way down, and we can just like jet up. And we can grab the handle. Is the water gonna flood out? Is the water gonna flood out of the room? Oh, it actually, it's oh my god, it's flooded the whole place. So we're still able to like, like, uh, we're still, but we can still like swim in the water here, but like. Okay, there's like a lip there, so that way it's not accessible. I'm nervous. Do do do, boo boo boo. This music is so ominous. I feel like we're going to be, uh... There's some containers right there. You know who I think is going to be down here? I think the doctor's going to be down here. And we're going to inevitably probably find him again. Bossa? Is that like a company here? That door looks like it. That door's open, right? There. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did that skeleton scare me? Dude, why did that skeleton actually scare me? Like, like, like legitimately. Bro, that was terrifying. Dude, why did that actually scare me? This is this is creepy as hell. I'm gonna I'll be honest that this is creepy as hell. Dude, that that's like it was just a regular like skeleton that you find in like a biology classroom. But I didn't expect to see it right there. Like it just like it, it they put it in front of your face, so it wasn't even like really a jump scare, but I just <laughs> That probably shows you how much of a wimp I am when it comes to like What is this music? It sounds like a it sounds like a classroom. I'm actually freaked out, guys. I thought I was playing a very cute fish game, but now I'm in the back rooms. <laughs> I'm playing fish back rooms. <laughs> I'm playing fish flooded the back rooms with blood, and now we're swimming through the back rooms. Oh hell no! Oh, hell no. Wow, I like that your name is Thine Wisdom Bestowed and you told me a fact. Animals have blood types too. Is that real? They probably do, don't they? So let's say like hypothetically, if a squirrel was dying and yet you were giving it like a blood transfusion, you had to find a squirrel that was the same blood type. So you have to like put like an like a like a an ad on like squirrel Craigslist and say we're looking for a squirrel that has blood type AB. Guys, I'm 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 like actually scared. I'm like 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 legitimately scared.
Dude, they picked the most horrifying music I've ever heard in my life. If there's a jump scare here, I'm going to like actually pee my pants. That's a breadcrumb. That means that that's like those are like so every level has a bunch of hidden things that you can like you can find that are optional. So if you want to like if you want 100 percent this game, it takes a lot of work because there's like there's like some areas that you're not like you don't even know exist and you have to find them yourself. Why is this music so absolutely freaking terrifying? Like, why would they choose this music? This is not hospital music. This is like someone doing lobotomies in the back room. Like George is like doing lobotomies on like, you know, like innocent people in the back room. And they're trying to make the people in the in the room a little more calm. Yeah, we'll put on some really calming, relaxing music. This is like lobotomy music, as disgusting as that is. And you know, uh, Miss Minutes from from Loki. That looks like Mister Milliseconds or Mister. That looks like Sir Second or something. Miss Minutes and Sir Second. I'm gonna call that guy Sir Second. He's like a freak. I don't even know what he is. Oh, this is the door we're supposed to go into, isn't it? Okay, we can bite this thing right here. Is this gonna like leak blood into the... I, bet, I think I bit the wrong thing, didn't I? Huh? There we go. Is that a blood container? Oh my god, that is so gross. I think we're now filling the room up with blood. Oh my god, that is actually disgusting. I'm assuming there's gonna... Oh, so I'm guessing that this is probably gonna allow us to access a, a new area and like the... So now we have to go retrace where we just came from because the whole the whole place is going to be flooded now and we'll probably have a new way of this is a very cool level but it, i just don't like blood that much so swimming around in like blood is kind of disgusting in my opinion and the back room lobotomy music is not doing me any favors either great more blood that's just what i wanted in my life mm-hmm <laughs> Hey, Dilly, what's happening, bro? I feel bad for this piranha. He got taken from his friends, and now he's forced to swim through the back rooms and find a way out. This guy's really going through it today. He's been through it. He's going through it. He's just struggling. Just a little fishy. He's like, he's like, he's like the John Wick of Pranas, taken from his friends and family, separated by everyone he, he loves. I, like, I don't understand why the music has to be this creepy. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. Where am I supposed to go from here? Do we go back in the same room that we just, we came from? See, the, this towel right here, you see this towel? That, that was actually not accessible before, but now it's accessible. And I guess there's a way to swim under the water too, so maybe... No, those are still blocked off. I guess if those are blocked off, it doesn't matter because we don't need to access those right now, right? No, it's not at all, Katie. Hey, hey, Katie, when you when you go to bed at night and you want to put some lo-fi music on, is this what you play? Let me look. Let me let me search YouTube for some nice chill lo-fi music. This, this is what Katie puts on when she when she wants some lo-fi at night. Oh, you know what we do, guys. You know what we do here. When here's my thought process. We can get in these laundry baskets now, right? These are now full of blood. So if I if I was to hop in one of these, right? I think we can move these around. We can now we can now push these, can't we? 
What? No, we can't push these. What the hell? I thought we were gonna get, we were gonna get one of those laundry baskets and we could push it through the door. This is lo-fi. Guys, tomorrow when I when I stream uh, more of Lego Fortnite, I'm gonna have this as the background music the whole time when I'm. It's just really chill. Okay, I thought for sure that guy was gonna be uh Yeah, this is the most horrifying music I've ever heard. One small step for fish, one giant leap for fish kind. Isn't this just where I was from, where I, where I came from? Can I bite those doors by chance? I think I'm just like really missing like a clear area where I can like keep progressing. I don't see anything though. Uh, hey, then wisdom. Hope you had a good birthday. I didn't have like the when I when the eclipse was happening, I didn't have like uh, eclipse classes. So I like just looked outside when it was happening and I watched the I watched the ground get dark and everything like the you know, the the world get dark for a, a little bit darker than it was. And then I watched it on on Twitter, which is like the most basic way to watch an eclipse. But that's how I will. Oh, the button. There's a button right here. See, there we go. That's what we could access. And now we can access the elevator. That is really cool. What the? I didn't expect this. You have got to be flipping my pancakes. Wait, how are we still in blood? Oh my God. How is there blood down here? Is this blood again? That was a really cool cutscene. I'll, I'll give the game that. But why is there still blood down here? <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to I Am Fish 2. This game is awesome. Okay, so I'm guessing that is that will we can bite that and then make more blood come out of it. There's also blood down here. This is the shining, but, but with fish. <laughs> this is the Texas Chainsaw Piranha. The Piranha Chainsaw Massacre. Wait, I'm, oh, I gotta make sure I'm not dying. I almost just died. Come on, little buddy. We're swimming back to freedom. Is all this blood gonna like, uh, just like pour out into the ocean and then we're gonna see like a, a big, like red goopy wave, like just flood the, the water or something? This is gonna lead it to the ocean, isn't it? No way! Yo, that's so awesome! That is so awesome! The piranha just finished his story. So we got the goldfish back to the ocean. We got the uh, the puffer fish back to the ocean. We got the piranha back to the ocean. There's only there's only one more fish to get back to the ocean and they're all back. That was awesome. So it says you did it a bit slow. Got to go faster. I don't care. We still did it, though. That's really cute. Wow. The pufferfish and the... Aww. 
Oh, it's so cute. They're still missing one of their friends, though. <laughs> There's only one more fish remaining, and they're all they're all back to the ocean. One more to go. And unfortunately, this fish is the farthest away from... This is my favorite fish. So the last fish that we have to do, there's going to be three levels for it. It's like a flying fish. So we'll see how that goes. Finding Nemo could never. I, I agree. This is like Finding Nemo, but like a better story overall. Like you take Finding Nemo and you make it a, a much better story. All right, guys, we're going to um, I'm going to uh, quickly use the bathroom. I'm going to take a very, 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 very brief pee break. And when we get back, we're going to start the cutest fish. I don't know what her name is, but this is what she looks like right here. And she has the ability to like fly or like glide over things. So this is what she looks like right here. I don't know how it works, but apparently we're going to be able to like glide or fly over stuff. I'm really happy we got through the piranha level because like. I think so far the puffer fish is my favorite, then the goldfish, then the then the piranha. Just the, the piranha was kind of gross. I didn't like that blood level very much. But this one should be a lot better. <laughs> you got to get the bag you've been aiming at. You got to finish the story. Cody Rhodes. I'm going to name her, uh, I'm going to name her Caitlin Rhodes. Finish the story, Caitlin Rhodes. Right, I'll be right back, guys.
we're back at it oh actually guys before we're back at it i need like half a second okay i need like half a second hold up give me a give me a brief minute minuto i have a really hilarious joke that someone i was listening to a podcast today i don't know if you guys know who theo Vaughn is but he said something on this podcast i was listening to that was so hilarious for no reason i'll say it when i get back <laughs> Give me one sec. Oh my God, Barb. Oh my God, I didn't even see Barb here. Barb, how the hell are you? I, I really miss you. I don't know what's been going on, Barb. I think you said you were like just dealing with some life stuff. I really miss you. Maybe you were lurking in my streams too and maybe life was just crazy, but I appreciate you very much. I'm so glad to see you back today. I missed you a lot. But uh, I got a really funny joke. Hold up. Da -da 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 -da. Um. All right, we're back in we're back in the hot seat. So, I'm listening to a podcast today, right? And one of the people on the podcast, Theo's wearing sunglasses inside. You can tell he's in a very goofy mood. And the the guy go, I think it was a girl. The girl goes, "Theo, what's a for you in a relationship? What's the biggest turnoff?" He's like, "You know what? I got to be honest with you. The biggest turnoff is can't swim." <laughs> And she goes, what? He goes, he goes, yeah, if there's a tsunami. He's like, he's like, honey, I am not your floaty. He said, honey, I am not going to be your, your flotation device. I, I was actually crying laughing when I, when I was listening to this podcast today, I was dying laughing. He said, my, the biggest turnoff for me is can't swim. He said, the earth is 80, he said, the earth is 80% water. If you can't swim, <laughs> I thought it was the best thing I've ever heard. He said, he said, the earth is 80% water. If you're, if you're not capable of swimming, I'm not your floaty. <laughs> oh man. It was really, it was really funny. It was really funny. I, I, I can't think of the stuff he thinks of. Like the way his brain's able to produce humor and the way his brain's able to think about things. Like my, I think my brain's like sometimes thinks of some stupid stuff and ridiculous stuff. But Theo Vaughn's on a different level, like... <laughs> the biggest turnoff for me is gotta be... Can't swim. So, um... I believe we're on a farm right now. So we got packaged up and we got purchased by a farmer. And I think uh, we have to escape the... Like, the first level is gonna be escaping his farm. And I know this, this fish right here is capable of actually, like, flying. So I don't really know how the flying aspect of this fish works, but that'll be fun to figure out. How do we top that? It's such an awesome guess. Isn't that great though? Oh, uh, Katie, you can't swim? Yeah, he did, Ash. Well, his dad was like, what, 70 years old when Theo was growing up? Theo's dad was like 70 and then he died like pretty early. And Theo, he would always talk about, he's like, he's like, yeah, me and my, my dad had a stroke when I was born. So we were both learning to walk together and we'd have like races to the kitchen to get cookies. Like, dude, he's just such a funny person. The, Theo is one of the most genuinely funny people that I listen to. Like, uh, it, it, the way his brain works and the way he talks about stuff just makes me really happy. His dad was like 70. I think his mom was like super young. So he had a really interesting way of like... But then like sometimes you listen to him talk and... It's like... Uh, he's a very sincere person too. Like he's a very good person, you know, like... But he just got a really funny way of thinking about life and some of his life his life stuff he's been through just makes you I, I just think he's a really cool person. I like to listen to him. Yeah, I, I did know that. I, I know pretty much like a lot of Theo's like whole like life and everything. I listen to like Theo talk about like his upbringing and his life and stuff and I've heard a lot of it. Oh my god, dude, this is he's like an actual well, we just we just died, but so this fish can turn into a plane We have to restart the whole thing. 
So if like he when he flies out of the bowl, this fish is capable of like flying, like he well like gliding if you will, but it's close enough to flying. So, who buys a fish as a moving in present? Dude, ah, oh my god, you've seen you've you've seen Theo Von live. I'm gonna go to one of, one of his live shows someday, Ash. I'm gonna see him live. I want to see him live, and I also want to see Duncan Trussell live. I like Duncan a lot, so he's a big on my list. That's cool you've seen him live, though. I think Theo would be, like, my number one comedian. If I could see anyone live, it'd be Theo. I think he'd be my, num my number one choice. I just think, like, Theo's the kind of guy, he, he you feel like he's just a very genuine person, too, you know? He's not a perfect guy, but he's, like, if it's, he's just a dude that just happens to be, like, super funny, so... I like to just listen to him talk. Like, I, I just, he makes me laugh a lot. Like, if I'm having a bad day, you throw him like a Theo Von clip and man, it just, he makes you so happy. Ah, oh, we fell again. I love him. Just like the, the question, what's your biggest turnoff? Biggest turnoff? Can't swim. Honey, the earth is 80% water. I am not your floaty. If there's a tsunami coming, <laughs> if there's a tsunami coming, honey, you're on your own. I'm not I'm not your floaty. It's so stupid, but it's just so funny, man. Yeah, what's what's the biggest turnoff for you? The biggest turnoff is can't swim. <laughs> just really, really funny. <laughs> and it's funny I'm talking about swimming and I'm playing a fish game. It's kind of ironic. There's been some very out of pocket things that Theo's talked about. What number of fish? Uh, this is the fourth fish in the game overall. Okay, so it looks like that the. Uh, there's a lot of puddles out there, right? And you know what's actually crazy? When, uh, when my grandparents were like maybe in their 70s, uh, my grandma's like 90 now. My grandpa passed away, unfortunately. So, um, that, but when they were younger, when they were like in their 70s, my grandma and, and him were up north in Michigan. They were riding, they were riding jet skis around. This is a horrible story. They were riding jet skis around, and my grandma was on the back of one jet ski, and my grandpa was on the back of another jet ski. They're at their friend's place, and my grandma ended up falling into the water, and she went under the water for a while. And as she was coming back up, the jet ski turned around to grab her, but the jet ski actually came back and smacked her in the head. Like the motor actually hit her head. So my grandma was bleeding in the water and she was like, ble she was like bleeding a lot. And then my grandpa was on, like, uh, was on the other jet ski. He jumped in the water and then, um, my, my, it was a horrible story. And then my, 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 uh, my grandpa's friend was like, Jack, what are you doing? You can't swim. And he's like, I don't know. My wife is in the water. She got hit by a jet ski. And it's like, a, it's a really traumatic story, but like he, um, he, he like jumped in the water. He couldn't even swim. So I don't know what he was thinking. And then they took her back to the house and she was bleeding a lot and they took her to the hospital and she was in the hospital for like two weeks. She had to get like stitches all all around her head because the motor like came back up. It was just horrible. I, I saw pictures of it and I, I couldn't even tell you guys how gross it was. Why, wait, 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 what, what am I doing wrong? I, gotta, I, I guess I'm like not learning how to fly right. <laughs> I'm flying very in incorrectly in this game, apparently. <laughs> Why is that kind of romantic? It was kind of romantic, because, I, I mean, my grandpa really loved my grandma. They were together for, like, 40... I think mean, they were together for, like, 55 years. Like, they really... They really did love each other a lot. So, like, for those of you guys that don't believe in love, I promise you it's real. They were together for a long time. So it was nice to see, you know, it was nice to see that, you know, they, they didn't always, like, I mean, they they, fought, they they did fight, but, like, you know, they, they made things work. They made it work. So they're, uh, the controls are inverted when you're flying, huh? Huh? What just happened? I didn't fly. Wait, I don't know what just happened. It, like, I... <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I don't... I, I don't get it.
Did you, you guys? I, 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 I feel like I should. I feel like I just cheat. I, I just cheese the system. I just cheese the system. Lizzie, Elizabeth, Lizzie Bell. So when you're flying, the controls are inverted. Lizzie, thank you for the gifted membership. You're the best. You're the best, better than all the rest. So you want to be a master of the fish game. You got to have the skills to swim around in the, in the field. We all live in an I am fish world. Yeah, it's weird though, Ash, because I watched my mom and my dad have a really, like my mom and my mom and my dad, like they were together for a, like, you know, pretty long time, like maybe 15 years. No, they longer than that, actually. They were together for way longer than that. My mom got married in 93 and they got divorced in like 2011. That was like 18 years. They were together for like 18 years and then they, my, my parents got divorced, like in a, a really brutal divorce too. My parents really, really, really had a bad, a bad split. I was like 14 at the time. I'd, it was really hard on me. I was maybe 15 at the time. I was like 14 or 15. It was really hard to go through that, man. So. Divorce is just rough in general. It's really hard. I think I still get, I'm still affected to this day by it in some ways. But my, my grandparents are both my, my mom's side and my dad's side. They're, they were both together still. But both my grandpas passed away already. So I just had both my grandmas left. Wait, Ash, you were born in 80... You were born in 88? I didn't know you were that much older than me. So you're like, uh, you're like what right now? You're like 35? 36? I thought you were like my age, Ash. I didn't know that. Yeah, my parents got... Well, my parents were... They dated for a long time before they actually got married. They were... They, were, they dated for... Oh, I'm gonna die here. They, they dated for a long, long time before they got married. I'm almost back to the water, please. Oh my God. I guess what I don't understand, is there a way to like, maybe like, okay, can we do this? There we go. They are inverted, thank you. That's what I was doing wrong. The flying is inverted. That's cool. Okay, this is the best fish in the game by far. <laughs> this is by far the best fish in the whole game, in my opinion. This guy's this guy's so cool, bro, bro, bro. This is amazing. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm a, I'm still a fish. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I might be I might be flying, but I'm still a fish. So I need I still need water. Oh, wait, I got a checkpoint somehow. Wait, how did I get a checkpoint? Did I did I make it to the? <laughs> I forgot I was still. I forgot I was a fish still. I thought I was like a flying a flying bird. Then I'm like, wait, why is the screen going dark? <laughs> it was like, why the hell is my screen going dark? <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, what's up, mops? <laughs> What's going on, Mops? Mopesque. Mopesque. Hey, Mops. It's really good to see you. That's so cool. And I'm guessing we can probably swim through this. Ash, did you hear today that they're going to be bringing, like, draft to, to like... Like like twelve. I think they lowered like the requirement to twelve hundred and unite right now. I don't like really play the game anymore, but that was kind of cool to hear that. God, that's so cool. That's so cool. You flew, but at what cost? It cost me everything. I'm still sweaty at Unite. I still play Meow Scarada like maybe a couple of games a week. That's about it though, bro. I'm 
I think I'm gonna die. I think I was supposed to. I think I was. I, I'm. It's like really hard to control this thing. I still play Meow Scarada, Venusaur, Mamoswine. I don't play as much, I don't play that much anymore though. I just I just play a couple games per week usually. The inversion's like a little bit hard to control. Oh no. This guy is so cute. What a cutie pie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey Sarah, what's happening tonight? Sarah Phillips in the building. I like doing the like the flips and the rolls. It's really cool. I'm gonna name this guy Parasail. I'm gonna name this guy. I'm gonna name this guy. What am I gonna name this fish? I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna name him. I wanna name him something. These fish might have actually like official names, but I don't know if they do. Okay, we're getting better at this now. We're getting a lot better at this now. Wow. This is such a unique uh like gimmick. Oh, I'm gonna die. Please, can we flop in the pool? No, I was right there. I, I'm right there. Come on. Come on. You got this. Oh, my God. If he was a centimeter higher, if we were like a centimeter or three millimeters higher, we would have probably hopped back in there. That is rough. <laughs> Ooh, any other May babies? Ooh, you know what? My dad was born the last day of May. It's crazy, Allie, because uh, my grandma, my grandpa, my mom, and me were all born in June. And my, my grandpa passed away, but my birthday is the 23rd. My mom's is the 30th of June, and my grandpa's was the 16th. So we were we were all exactly one week apart, which is really cool. And then my, my dad was born the last day of May, so he was almost a June baby. But my dad, my dad will, uh, he was born like May 31st, I believe. So a lot of my family has birthdays like around that time, like and like oh no. And like uh in like June. You're close to the June baby, but you're not quite a June baby. There's like water in there too. Can I go in there? Are you kidding me? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> this game has really cool physics, I will say. This game like they're a little bit challenging before you like you're like when you get used to the the physics system it's not that well i should i shouldn't say that i'm about to die again <laughs> oh my god i'm so bad <laughs> Dude, why am i so bad at this i'm like unbelievably bad at this here we go like i i feel like i'm doing good and like i'm used to like inverted controls too i played inverted in like call of duty back in the day so i don't know why i can't play inverted in this <laughs> I don't know why I'm so bad. Let's try it again. I was doing good for a minute too. I was like, I was like actually getting getting the hang of it for a minute. It's just sometimes like the inverted controls. Like if I just like if I'm patient with it, it's not that hard. Like like boom, that's easy, right? But like the flips and the rolls can get away from you before you know it. Like you're struggling really hard. There we go. You just gotta focus up. And it'll be way, way easier. <laughs> Undercooked. I wasn't cooked hard enough. I was cooked too lightly. Can we just like skip that first puddle and go to the to this one over here? Oh, I can feel I can feel the screen going dark any minute. We made it. We made it. So Ali, like, is your is your is your sister like a, a Padawan? Is she like a Jedi Knight? Is she like a Jedi Master? Is she like a regular Jedi? How strong is your sister in the Force? 
Does she know like force lightning, force choke, force pull, push? Like is she is she pretty good at the force or is she like kind of average? Like let's say me and your sister were gonna have a Jedi battle, would she beat me? I'm I'm a pretty good Jedi myself, Allie. Okay. I'm getting a lot more used to the controls. That's really cool though. I'm really ha I'm really glad to hear that you guys uh you have a May birthday and then so does she. Cuz yeah, my bro my brother's birthday is like November 28th and my birthday is June 23rd. So like we're like opposite ends of the year, which is kind of insane to me, you know. It was nice though, because like when I was a kid, for like my birthday sometimes, let's say my brother got something for like for himself, and I would be like, "Why does he get something?" And sometimes my, my mom would like get us both something for my brother's birthday just to, to, to be nice, you know, and vice versa. So, so sometimes I would get like two birthday presents, but not all the time. <laughs> like I think the one year for my brother's birthday, he got like a Game Boy Advance, and my mom got me one too. But then she told me that it was part of my Christmas present, so I guess that wasn't really true. He said, I'll get you one too, so you're not left out, but that's part of your Christmas present. I said, Mom! That's fair. That's fine. But Mom, why does he get one? Because she's like, because Nick, you, your birthday was in the summertime, and you got a present, and he didn't get a present. And I'm like, you know what? That's a damn good point. That's a damn good point, Mom. But Mom! Why does Nick get a present, and I don't get a present, Mom? Uh, what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Wait, was I supposed to stay in that? Wait, wait, wait. I think I was supposed to stay in that container, wasn't I? Can I fly back up there? Oh, I'm screwed. Yeah, I'm, well, I, I can just start in this container. And then I'm guessing we have to fly that way. Towards, like, the... Towards freedom. But, Mom... I love the music in this level. Like, compared to the, the previous level, this music is a lot more chill. I'm going the wrong way all of a sudden, please. Are you flipping my pancakes? You gotta be. Ooh, episode three? I respect it. I think my favorite is... My favorite movie is probably Rogue One. Rogue One at the very top. That's my favorite one. Then A New Hope. And then Empire Strikes Back. And then probably Return of the Jedi. Those are my those are my those are my top four. Then the other ones are good too. I don't mind the other ones, you know? I I, I like I think they're all good movies. And then the, the the new trilogy, I only like really like like even like uh, the new trilogy was just like I don't know, man. <laughs> there were some parts of the movies that I liked, but in in the it's fine if you guys like the movies. I'm not saying it's it's wrong to like them, but like when when um what's his face the pilot guy uh Poe when Poe it was Poe right Poe Poe Dameron when he said somehow Palpatine returned. I like literally was eating popcorn and I literally, like, I think I like literally threw pop some of my popcorn up. That line was so cringy. He's like, he looked at the camera really, really, he was like really passionate. He's like, somehow Palpatine returned. I'm like, you guys are going like, like, I don't, I just hate, I just, I don't know. I don't, I just hated that line so much. I just didn't like the new trilogy that much at all. It's not really my thing at all. Me too, Ash. There were parts of the movies I liked, though. Like, parts of the new trilogy were good. Like, some parts were actually really, really good. But overall, like, I just couldn't bring myself to like them. There, there were parts of the movies I was, like, thoroughly enjoying, though. Like, I kind of enjoyed seeing Luke again. I didn't enjoy everything they did with Luke. But some parts of Luke's Luke coming back was very cool. But not everything about it was really cool. There were, there were some things that I, I did enjoy, I gotta admit. But not everything. 
I think overall, I liked Rey as a Jedi. Rey's one of my new favorite Jedi's, and if they would have given her a better story, I think Rey could have been such a, f a phenomenal character. And she is a really good character. It's just, I don't, I think that the movies didn't do her justice, you know? They could have made her story so much better. They could have, they could have made the movies so much better. It would, my, the, the, with the new trilogy, my, my least, the thing that was the least problematic for me was Rey overall. I liked the actress that played Rey. I liked Rey's character. I, w I wanted to see more from her. I want to see her do a lot more and, and have more of a showcase. I thought she was one of, one of my favorite Jedis of all time. If that, if that says anything, but I just didn't like overall the movies, you know? Now I, now I think I, I'm, I think I'm like, do I have to glide over that bridge? Is that what the game's trying to get, trying to get me to do? I think so too. She should she should have been like actually like a part like an actual character that was like more notable. I agree. I think the game is trying to get me to fly over this bridge, isn't it? Is that the, is that the point? That the, that's probably the point in all this, right? No, there's no way I can't fly over that bridge. What is it trying to get me to do? Is it, can I fly over? Oh, that bridge. I have to go that way, don't I? That's where I'm supposed to go. That's what I'm. That's what I'm missing out. Okay, I'm going the wrong way entirely. Maybe. But how does one get through this? I'm still stuck in the same with the same problem. Unless maybe there's like an opening over here that is like I couldn't access before. Wait. Hmm. I'm still stuck in the same, just the same dilemma. Can I somehow fly through the grate? Maybe, maybe I can fly through the grate. I haven't tried that before, but I don't think I can. <laughs> I don't even know if I can. <laughs> that answers my question. Can I maybe hop through it or something? Can we like, can we like flop through it? I doubt it. Let me just maybe. Oh, you know what? I'm so, oh, I'm so dumb. There's literally a pool in front of me. I'm so stupid. You don't go left. You don't go right. You go straight. We're going into the city. That's where I'm supposed to go. That's where I'm supposed to go for sure. Because there's like, oh, that's that's for sure I'm supposed to go. We're supposed to fly into the city. That's That makes a lot of sense. The, the screen's going to go black here. I got to, I got to, I got to like make my way. Making my way to the city. Flopping fast. And I'm homebound. -na 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 -na. And I miss you. Maybe I just needed a better start. I'm going to like, yeah, this is a way better start, but the screen's going to go black here in a sec. Anyways, I, I can already feel it happening. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Fish is going to make it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, let's go. Little guys, little guy. I believed hard. I believed. I believed. I like listening to the people in this in the town. Like, you're like you're, I'm just like like listening to the, the chatters of people, you know. Luckily, there's water on top of these like tents. <laughs> don't call yourself stupid, Nick. I don't really mean it. I'm just I'm just kidding. I just feel stupid sometimes. I'm not stupid, but I have very stupid moments. That's for sure. I have moments where if you didn't know me, you'd think I was pretty stupid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think we all do. Chris, you know what the best thing about this game is, though? I haven't seen a sign or a, I haven't seen pixel toad 
anywhere. Luckily, that guy hasn't shown up in this game yet. Thankfully. If I ever see Pixel Toad, though, it's over. I can't play with that guy anymore, man. He's like really, he's honestly really unforgiving. That guy's my worst enemy. <laughs> I should finish uh, Captain Toad's uh, treasure tracker sometime. Wait, how am I supposed to escape this one? This it feel, this feels like impossible to escape. Oh no! I'm getting better at flying the planes. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting a lot better at it. I think comparatively. Okay, those uh, these signs right here, they seem like they're supposed to be like the guiding thing, like, like ooh, ooh, ooh. I feel like these are supposed, like, that's kind of where I'm supposed to go, right? Yeah, that kind of signals that there's, there's, okay. Bro, no, wait, I'm, I, I can still move around. I'm supposed to probably, uh, is there like a, is there a water source? I'm gonna die. I'm like, for sure, I'm like on the grill dying. Oh, I'm supposed to hop over there, aren't I? I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it for sure. Oh, dude. At least, okay, so at least I know now that the that tarp is going to give in when I get over there. It'll fall through. And then we have to basically just hop on the steaming grill. That's horrible. Oh, I didn't even make it. Wait, no. Whoa, guys, look at that. I didn't even break the top of it. I, 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 wait, wait, you know what, you know what I could probably do? What if I can, what if I glide into the container? So you don't have to break the tarp apparently. The, the, breaking the tarp is not a, a necessity. So can I just like glide into the, hear me out guys. I think I'm, oh, I thought I was cooking. So you don't, you don't have to break the tarp. The tarp is just there to get you onto the grill. So technically you'd be able to just like glide into the, onto the surface of there without ever having to, let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is, a, this is for sure a cheat code. For sure a cheat code. No, it's not. <laughs> Let's redo this. I'll try it one more time that way. But maybe, maybe it'll, maybe it will block me. Nope. I think, I think we just actually found a really, really awesome cheat. I didn't even break the. Look at that. At the end of the day, we all just want to be fish in a market that people want to buy. That's the nature of reality. At the end of the day, all of us just want to be fried on a grill. We want to have salt sprinkled on us and some spices. And we want to have people come over and want to buy us. We just want to, we just want to be valuable. We want people to spend the money that we're worth on us. At the end of the day, I just want to be on a grill, getting cooked. I want to have a guy filleting me, and I want to have my fish guts served to people that want to purchase me. And that's all I want with my life. I want to be cooked and served on a fish grill and filleted. I can't go through here. Wait. Is there a way to, like, fly out of this container? Oh, no, we can go this way, I think. At the end of the day, we just all want someone to come and love us and cherish us and appreciate us. At the end of the day, we just all want to be cooked and filleted and cut open and have our fish guts on the grill be cooked. Hey, oh my God, ma'am, 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 you get your tushy back here right now and you pick me up and put me back in that container, ma'am, ma'am. Oh my God, ma'am, you believe her? Can you believe her? Dude, like, oh my God, dude, she was so inconsiderate. She just like kicked the, like, if you were walking through like a, like a, like a park and, and somebody like, you wouldn't try to like kick over a mop bucket, would you? Like, she didn't even care. Like she was like, she was on a mission. Freaking, I'm gonna call her Madison. Madison was on a mission. She didn't care who she kicked over or what she did. 
She didn't care what she was doing. She ran right through me. Yeah, she, her name is Karen. Karen and... If her name is Karen, she's not Karen very much. She didn't care very much about... There she is again. There she is again. That's that's Karen right there. Hey! 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 Hey, Bruce. Chill. Chill. <laughs> oh my god, man. These people are... Bro, I... I, I... <laughs> I hate these people. Hey, Ree, it's good to see you. What's happening? <laughs> Ree, welcome to the stream this morning. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for Madison to get by. Let me roll under here so she doesn't knock me over. Oh, she kicked me. She actually kicked me the right way. There's stairs here. Do I attempt to go down the stairs or what? Do we, what do we do? Oh, we're like rolling already. The stairs might be a bad idea. I'm stuck. I think at this point I have to go down the stairs. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I learned how to go down the stairs with at the one uh, the, Oh, we, we, no, we, we have to go down here. We have to go down here. I went down the stairs in the one of the previous levels So it kind of helped me uh, learn how to do it And we got a checkpoint and We got a checkpoint big Bertha <laughs> Hey Ash, you have a great night dude, okay? You have a really good night Ash. I really appreciate you dude. I Really appreciate you Am I supposed to fly out of here? Huh? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm scanning the environment. I'm seeing that there's uh, there's some leaves. There's some stuff falling from the sky. There's a well right there, so. I'm assuming the well is where I should be probably flying to, right? The well seems like it's probably where I should be. So we're going to go fly to the well. No, we're going to flop like a fish. Oh, no. You know what I think I could, pro I could probably do? I think we can... What if we were to, like, not go in there and we were take... We're, let's go this way. Can we roll down here? All right, we most certainly cannot do that. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Nice flying. <laughs> Thank you. It wasn't very nice flying. It was actually really bad flying. That flying wasn't my, it wasn't my proudest moment. Okay. So when the, when the bucket tips over, you're supposed you're supposed to automatically fly onto the tarp here, but for some reason it didn't it didn't work that way. This has to be where I go, right? Wow. Why did he just hit the... He hit, he hit the sideball pretty hard. That guy is so cute. That guy is so cute. I'm only getting like two stars or three stars per level, and I know that's really bad, because I know... Um, the most you can get is five stars per level. So this guy has level one, level two. So we've done every level for the first three fish and this fish has three levels and now we're on level two for the last fish. And there might be an extra, like a bonus level or like a, maybe like a, a boss level we can do, but we're almost done with this game, which is kind of sad. We only have this level and then a third level and maybe like a final level and the game is pretty much over with. I will say, uh, I think they really did a good job making this game. And I think someone told me they're making a sequel. I'm not sure how true that is, but I heard they might be making a sequel to this game too. Hey, I, I'm pretty, yeah, you, I was gonna say you're, okay, you actually said you're new. Sometimes I see people in chat and I'm like, are you new here? But you actually told me you're new, so <laughs> welcome. I pronounce your name, is it Arianne? Ariane, Ariane, Ari, Ariana. No, you, there, if it was Ariana, you'd have an A in the last part of your name. I'm, I'm, I'm dumb. Sorry, your name is Ariane. <laughs> I think at least, Ariane, Ariane. 
this, this is like probably one of the most like chill cozy fun games i like it's really good and like the the levels are really well designed i think it's a it's a really good game oh i'm okay <laughs> i keep forgetting i'm a fish and i keep forgetting that um i have to be in water to survive mm. <laughs> i i'm so glad to meet you so i, I just hope you're doing wonderful airy or ari should I call you Ari or Ari? I'm so sorry. I have like a, I have like a million questions. I have like a million bajillion questions, so I'm really sorry. I don't know why I'm not able to This is so cool. This is like a tunnel animation, but we're like going through like rocks. <laughs> okay, Ari. Cool. Thank you for being here. I, I I really like when I when new people join chat for the first time. Cause I think we're like I wanna see how close we are to 30,000 subs right now. We're really close. I'm a little bit curious to see too. I don't really care too much, but I think we're very close. Yeah, we're like 10 subs, well, like 11 subs away from. That is so crazy. I don't think we're going to hit it today, but maybe like next time I, maybe tomorrow we'll hit it. Hmm. So this is like a cave level. All right, Ari, if you're new here, I like to ask people, what are some of like your favorite games of all time? Oh, let's say like, what's your top three favorite games of all time? If you have, if you have a list. Oh, I messed that up really bad. <laughs> I messed that up really bad. <laughs> oh Lord, he's a swimming. I think this fish has like a really cool color scheme. I like the red, the red fins and like the light blue like underbelly and like the dark blue top belly and he flies so I, I think this is my favorite fish in the game for sure so far no I messed it up <laughs> oh my god for the love of god can we still make it down there come on you got this buddy you got this keep flopping I believe in you I don't believe in you I believe for a, I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> it's probably hard to watch this. There we go. We're making progress. Uh, Ari, do you play? Do you play Lego Fortnite or like just regular Fortnite? Because I play Fortnite. Um, I know that Aang is going to be released, like, I think uh, this morning at, like, 9 in the morning Eastern time, they're going to have a battle pass for Aang coming out, and I'm so tempted to go live this morning and try it when it drops. I'm kind of tempted. I used to play Dreamlight Valley uh, for, like, a little bit of time, and then I stopped playing it for reasons. I don't dislike the game. It just didn't, like, really click with me. And then... I played Paleo for like maybe like three months pretty often and then I kind of stopped playing as much. But uh, I heard that Paleo introduced like a big, I almost knocked my coffee over. Like Paleo introduced like a big frog plush and I love frogs. So I was kind of tempted to play again, but I just never did. There was like some kind of like big frog plush and like they like did something with like the people that downloaded on Steam where it got bigger or something. And then, like, you could get, like, one for your your own house, too. I might play Paleo again. I thought about it. Because right now, I'm, I'm only really playing Lego Fortnite, regular Fortnite, some indie games that I like. I just, there's, like, not a game right now that's, like, really hooking me too much. I played the new Princess Peach game, and I'm almost done. 
I'm gonna probably stream the finale for it. I'm like almost done playing it. Wow, this is a really hard level. I think I'm stuck. <laughs> it's just really like right now, like besides Fortnite, like there's nothing that's really grabbing my attention too too much. Draco, I'm not sure. I, I wasn't around for Shredder's Battle Pass that I remember. Or I think I think I was. But it's gonna be like a mini battle pass, I think. I think I heard it's gonna be like a thousand V-Bucks for it or something. And you can unlock Aang. Op. Well, it, there's gonna be a free version and a paid version. And I think you can you can unlock Appa in both versions, which is really nice. So the even the free version will let you unlock Appa from what I heard. Which I didn't expect that, you know. I was like, they're definitely gonna lock Appa behind like a paywall, but I don't think they're doing that. There we go. I want to say that's that's plenty high enough. No, oh my god, I messed it up so bad. Oh, this is tough. I thought I had that. Can we just bypass? Good. We like bypassed all the, the first ponds. Oh, it's the, so it was wishlist Firefly. So if you wishlisted uh, Paleo on Steam, it would it'd make the frog plush bigger. We were talking about it last night for a little bit, but apparently Paleo, like, uh, they like, recently they let go of a third of their staff that made the game. And that doesn't really necessarily mean that, you know, things are going bad for Paleo, but it's, it's definitely kind of concerning. But maybe they just realized, and I think, I talked about it last night, you can probably attribute that to when you, when you get a new game started, you probably need a lot more help getting it off the ground than you do for actually making the game like, you know, better and improving it, but. So I'm not gonna be doom and gloom about that, but it is kind of interesting that they, they let go like a third of their staff, you know? That's a lot of people. Cause I think there was like 130 people that they were working on the game and they, they let go of like probably roughly 30 people that worked on Thalia. So, and there's not, I think there's like uh, some people that were saying that wasn't true, but I think that is true. I don't know. It might not be true. Wow, that's really freaking cool, man. Wow, that is really cool. Oh my god, the scream is like, the scream is like borderline going black on me. The scream is like borderline going black on me. I did make it. I made it up. Yeah, I made some I made some ground up. See, I I think it's possible like they'll like hire people back later or like they'll like find new people to like help them work on the game still. Cuz Paleo is still like in beta, you know. So I don't necessarily think it's like yeah, I don't think we have to be too worried about it right now, but you never really know. Does that card have water in it? Does that minecart have water in it? I think it does. My first question is, why does a minecart have water in it? <laughs> Maybe a leaf from the ceiling? Is that... But, like, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on, like, on fish. But I think this fish has to go in that minecart. That's not, that's what I'm assuming. There's a, there's also a new game coming out this year called, uh, Solar Punk. No, is it called Solar Punk? Solar something? Solar? I think it's Solar Punk. It's like a new Steam game. It's like a really, it's like a cozy game coming out that I want to play really bad. That game's on my wish list. Oh. 
So that was going to fling me in the cart without me even flying. <clears throat> I think it's called Solar Punk. Wait, why is that closed? It is called Solar Punk. Yeah, I want to check that game out really bad, Christian. Oh, it's, I can fly up there, can I? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Maybe. It's just so funny because, like, um, I don't play, like, Disney Dream Life Valley, Valley anymore, but, like, I still watch, like, Kato and Let's Play K talk about it on, like, their little podcast they have. I watch, uh, I watch Valley Talk every week, even though I don't even play the game anymore. So I, I, I can't tell you why I do that, but it's just, I like to hear their takes on the game. Because I love Disney, and, like, obviously there's a possibility that I'll play the game and in the future again but I don't necessarily like I don't have plans to per se but I, th I think Dream Life Valley is very fun it's just for some reason like I didn't like get hooked on it you know so it was fun to try for a while but I didn't that wasn't the game that really hooked me hooked me No, I don't think so, Knight. I think Korra is just gonna like be like an addition to Aang. So I don't think I don't think Aang's gonna replace Korra's battle pass. Cause I think you have to pay for Aang's battle pass separately, and then you can still unlock Korra over time too. It's not gonna be like a replacement, it'll like supplement what's already there, you know. From what I from what I've heard at least. I don't think it's gonna be like a replacement. Cause um I think I heard that they're gonna be adding Earthbending, firebending, and airbending this morning. And then they're going to have the Aang Battle Pass come out. There's going to be map changes, from what I heard. Someone told me they're going to be changing, changing the map a little bit, but I'm not sure if that's true or not. So don't take my word on that. I might be wrong about that. That would be very cool, though, if that was the case. What am I doing? Chicka chicka pow wow. Yo Ari, I mean you probably see like the like my blather thing behind me. I love Animal Crossing so much. When I was like maybe like uh, eleven or twelve, I stayed with my grandparents up north in I'm I'm from Michigan, so I stayed with my grandparents up north in Michigan. And before I went to stay with them for a while, because my my parents. Um, we're we're going to be working a lot and like they didn't really have it set where they could be like, you know, they'd be home a lot. So they said, you guys can go up north for the summer and stay with your grandparents if you want to. And I loved it up there. And then my, my mom came up on the weekends, like every weekend she, she would drive up there, obviously to be with us. It was just one of the times where like, my, my parents were working really hard schedules and they didn't want to leave my brother and me home alone every day in the summertime. And then that gave my mom re a reason to go up there more. So we pretty much stayed up there almost all the summer. And then before I left him, I was like, all right, you guys can each buy two DS games for the summer. And I bought Wild World and I bought, I think it was Mario Hoops 3 on 3. I played Wild World. <laughs> that game was like my whole, my whole childhood for a summer. I love Animal Crossing. When the new games come out, I'm, for, I'm definitely going to be streaming that a lot here. I, I hope the, the new games take what New Horizons did and they just make it better and they increase the lifespan of the game and they make it supported longer and they keep adding things for a longer period of time. I hope. Because I think that uh, that COVID really hurt the update cycle for Animal Crossing. So maybe the next game will have like a better update cycle and maybe it'll have like more frequent updates and a lot of things in the game that people want to see more, you know? I can hope, at least.
I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this level. See, like I'm, th I'm thinking that I'm supposed to fly through that gap, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there's a pipe over here. This, this pipe looks interesting. Am I supposed to like fly into this and break it? No, I'm not supposed to do that at all. But yeah, I really liked uh, Wild World a lot. No, I never did Draco. My island is still very unfinished. I'll have to stream that sometime. If you guys haven't seen my current island, I've been working on that on and off for like a year. <laughs> but I'm really proud of it. It's just I haven't finished it yet. Not yet, Draco. Hopefully I do. Uh, so I'll probably stream it again soon. Soonish. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to swim through? What am I supposed to do here? This is going to be one of those puzzles where like it doesn't tell you exactly what you're supposed to do. I feel like I don't really get this at all. Was it Christian? The middle section of the pipe is shaking. I saw that too. I just didn't know if like I was able to get like go over there and like interact with it. Yeah, New Horizons is one of my favorite times as a streamer. Like I did a lot of fun streams for that. I did a lot of things on this channel for New Horizons and I, I really, really, really love that game a lot. New Horizons was like really great. Oh, there's like an area over here. You see this? I almost feel like I'm supposed to go this way. No, no, no. This leads to the previous room, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the previous room. So where am I supposed to go besides this room? Let's go back this way and let's, I'm, I'm going to test something. If I don't fly, like let's just fly into this pipe here, right? And then let's just see where it takes me. Does that get me back in the bucket? That gets me back in the, no, it doesn't. Hmm. Well, this is a kind of a coinky dink. That pipe is shaking, right? But my question is how would I, that, that pipe has to do with something here in my opinion. I don't know what that would have to do with it because I've tried to fly into it, but it didn't work. I was like, maybe I just like, do I fly into it from the side or something? You think? And you know, you know, what's extra stupid animal crossing new horizons. They never added the splatoon villagers. They never added the animal crossing villagers. What the hell is animal crossing? <laughs> I don't know why they never did that. I would have loved to see those things added to the game. Because New Leaf had like some really cool. Uh, wow, we, we have some good air there. Do I fly this way? Maybe I do fly into that pipe. Yeah, you're right. It is that that, that pipe right there. That's for sure interactable. I, I hit the wrong section of it, didn't I? That's what I hit the wrong. I hit the wrong section of it. So maybe we can fly and hit the middle section. It'll burst the pipe. I think you have a, I think you have a valid, valid, that, that's exactly what I do here. So we fly this way, and then I'm supposed to fly into the middle section of that pipe, because it's, it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, oh no, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. Didn't I hit it? Dude, I swore I hit it. Is there maybe a rock I can knock down that'll hit it? This game is very puzzly, but in a good way. I like the puzzles a lot. Is there like a rock I can knock down or something? Let's just try it again. No, it wasn't. Maybe I, uh... 
Do you guys think maybe I should give the pipe a rock bottom and then do the do the people's elbow thing and then run from one side of the cave to the other side of the cave and then back again and then look at the crowd one last time and then drop my elbow on that pipe aggressively and then when the pipe lands on the water maybe I just cover it maybe I cover it and maybe a ref will run in and it'll go one two three and then I'll I'll pin the pipe and I'll win the championship Okay, let's try to fling into this. <laughs> hey, Christian, you're a wrestling fan, aren't you? Bro, I watched both nights of WrestleMania, and it was it was amazing, dude. I watched both nights. It was really good this year. Yeah, there's got to be something. I, I wonder if that rock abo above is... Uh... <laughs> Me too, Ari. I think that they're going to do a better job with the next Animal Crossing game. But I'm still nervous about it, you know? Because I think they know that as a community, we want a lot more for Animal Crossing. And I think that they um, they hopefully will deliver that, you know, to us. I, I just want like a much better Animal Crossing game than what we got on the Switch. And I like New Horizons. I'm not saying I didn't like the game. Yeah, there's definitely... Oh, you know what we can do? There's got to be a way that we can knock something into that pipe, and then we can make it so we can... Um, it's going to produce more of an updraft for us, right? Because um, I think above, you can see that there's, like, uh, a place we can go. We got to fly out of this cave somehow. How do we do this? There's got to be a way. I'm, I'm just like overthinking this or underthinking this. What if I go this way? What, what happens if I fly through here? This is my original question. No, I can't. This is so hard. Can we keep... What if we don't do that right away? Is there more to this cave that I can explore? All right, who's your favorite uh, villager of all time for Animal Crossing? Who's your number one villager or character, I guess, for that matter? If you had to pick. That's just so weird. Because you see, over on, on, like, maybe I can go, like, can I shoot myself up here? There's also an another mine shaft right there. Maybe, maybe I just got to explore a little bit more. Can we fly up here somewhere? Ooh, maybe I can. I can't imagine what, what would be up there though, you know? I have, an, I, have an, I have one more theory on this. I have one more theory to try. I think that those, uh, like the, um, the gates can be opened actually, hold up. Maybe there's like little buttons on the side of those gates and we can like fly and fly into them and press them and then it'll open the gate up or something. That's part of my that's part of my thinking right here. Can you fly into those? No, I, I doubt it, right? I don't know what to do here, guys. I'll be honest. I'm going to die again probably. Adrenaline in my soul, every thought out of control. Because I, I almost feel like I can like fly into these, right? <laughs> wow, you can fly under here though. I'm so confused. There's there's a way to get the, the next checkpoint is through that door. The next checkpoint is through that door. I saw the checkpoint. There's a way to get that open. I don't know how to do it though. There is a way to get that open somehow. Philbert, Lolly and Philbert tie. Marina, Philbert and Apollo are both hot. Why did I read that? Like, why did I read that? <laughs> Apollo is pretty hot. I'll give it to you. 
I don't know why I read that. I don't know why I just read that. <laughs> oh, so that doesn't even turn on. I think I like Molly the best, Apollo second, and then I like, uh, I almost didn't even make it. Then I like, and then I like, uh, um, Dobie. How would we open this? There's gotta be a way that this opens, right? There's got to be a way to open this, but how? I can't believe I just said Dobie's hot, or Apollo's hot. <laughs> oh my god. Is it, is it the lighters here, maybe? Maybe it is the lighters here, I don't know. Wow, I'm like really stuck on this. They did not make this very simple, did they? I'm free! Free falling! Yeah, I'm free! Free falling! I'm free! Yeah, Molly's the best. Molly's the best. Molly's number one in my heart. Yeah, I'm free! Free falling! Oh, you know what I see? Do you guys see that thing shaking right there? Do you guys see that thing shaking right there? Do you guys see that thing shaking right there? I think we just hit that. We just, we just, we just fly into that, don't we? There, there's a, like a support thing shaking right there. Do you guys see that? Do we just fly into that caution sign? Hold up. I see, I see something shaking in the middle of that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I think we just fly into that caution sign. That's what we do. You've got to be flipping my pancakes. I saw a stick shaking in there. Wow. Dude, I didn't see the I didn't see the stick that was shaking in there. Like, I, I, here's what my, where, where my mind went to. My mind went to... That pipe is obviously trying to guide you to shoot in the air somewhere that's probably relatively close by. There's a big yellow sign. I saw a stick shaking. I'm like, that makes a lot of sense. This game is beautiful. This game is actually beautiful. <laughs> You're okay, anxious, dude. I, I I know how it is, man. I completely understand how it is. You're all good, dude. <laughs> how do I how do I uh, get the cart through here now? Sometimes when you're watching someone stream a game and like you know what they're what to do, it's like so hard to not say, you know. It can be like sometimes, I guess. But how? Oh, can we now? Wait, what is what, what's the, what do we do now? Oh, maybe we go back to the first room now, right? No, the, the checkpoint's through the first door. Do we have to... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I'm not supposed to go this way. Or maybe I, maybe I am, I don't know. Oh, look at... I think I am. There's water up there. I'm gonna die. There's water up there. I think I, I think I'm supposed to stay in the first room, and I just I might I'm not understanding what to do. But there's actually water up there. Let's go back to let's go back to the previous room. The answer's got to be in there. I think. I'm gonna name this guy Skinner. I'm gonna name this guy Molly. This or this. Hell yeah, Rebecca. That, that fish is moving. <laughs> that fish is moving. 
This fish is actually moving pretty quick, Rebecca. Big hammerbacks. Rebecca, it's really good to see you. It's really good to see you today. Wait, is that open now? Am I crazy? No, it's not open yet. Why is... Oh, I get... Oh, you know what I do? You know what I do? Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm not stupid, but I didn't see that you can now swim underneath the door now. Oh, you're supposed to flood it and then swim underneath the door. So the door never even opens. You just swim underneath the door. That was tricky. I'll admit, that got me. But it, it was the knowledge that I saw the checkpoint the first time. I knew exactly where I was supposed to go. Fish are friends, not food. Unless you're playing Lego Fortnite, then it's their, their food for sure. All right, that didn't work so well. Nailed it. Almost, kind of. <laughs> we nailed it. Hello, everybody. My name is... My name is Glider. I'm a fish. I live in the ocean. But I'm trapped in a mine shaft right now. And I'm trying to glide my way out. It is so good to meet you guys. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello, Beacon of Next Stream. My name is Glider. I'm trying to glide my way out of this mine shaft. Hello. Tap, tap, tap. Hello, people in Beacon of, Beacon of Next Stream. Hello. Hello, Beacon of Next Stream. Hello, Beacon of Nick. Hello, stream. Hi. Guys, he's saying hi to you guys. The least you can do is say hi back to him. The least you can do is say hi back to him. Hello. Hello, Big Hammer Bex. Hello, Draco. Hi, Draco. My name is Glider. Hi, Draco. Draco, hi. Hello, Chris. Oh, Chris, it is so good to see you. Oh, Chris. I'm so glad you're here today. Hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. You got some really big energy. I keep calling it a she and a he. I don't know. I don't know who it is. Hello, Ashley. Well, hello, Ashley Clark. My name is Glider. It's so good to see you. <laughs> well, hello, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Can you bring me a big old McFlurm hole when we escape this mine shaft, Jordan? I'm going to glide out of here. We'll, we'll get a McFlurm hole together. I like this fish a lot. I think we're about to die. Unless I can get back in that water. I think I just made a mistake. Wow, we survived barely. Well, hello, Jordan. Oh my God. Is that who I think it is? Is that, is that, is that, is that Big Hammer Bex? Is that Big Hammer Bex? Is that Big Hammer Bex? Bex, Bex, I'm your biggest fan. Big Hammer Bex, I'm your biggest fan. I'm swimming to you as fast as I can. Oh, we got stuck. <laughs> I had a fish when I was younger and admittedly, I struggled to keep that fish alive too. I had a goldfish and I felt like it was always unhappy in his tank and I did everything I could to try to make it happy and it was really hard. And then I decided, like, I'm like, do I even want to have a fish? Like, what's the point of having a, f like, uh, if you have a big fish tank, I, I think it's cool to have a, you know, but I had, like, a really small fish tank, and I'm like, I don't even want to have a fish. Like, I, I'm good on that now. It's a, it's a responsibility. I like having fish. I, I just, I just want to have, like, a big fish tank for them, and then it takes a lot to clean it all the time, and it, it can be a pretty big obligation to do that stuff, you know? Keep it clean and everything. It's not always easy to do all that stuff, you know? I mean, I was like a lot younger. I wanted to have a, at one point I wanted to have like a turtle. I wanted like a red slider turtle, but I never got a turtle. 
So I'm like, those are probably a lot of work too, you know? Because you got to have the right temperature for them. Oh, no. I wanted a turtle really bad, though. Ari, you're a Molly fan? I knew you seemed cool. I think Molly is my favorite Animal Crossing villager by far. The fact you like Molly is awesome. I'll have to show you my Animal Crossing Island sometime. Maybe next week I'll stream Animal Crossing one night. Because my island is like very far from being done, but I, I've... It's come a long ways. Why is there like a, like bubbles emanating from this? There's bubbles right there. Why are there bubbles shooting out from that? Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep, just keep swimming. They are a fan. I, I thought like, I remember when I was like looking up how to take care of a turtle. That's what kind of made me not want to get one. Cause I was like, if I if I'm like gonna, you know, get a get a turtle, I want to make sure I take care of it, and I want to make sure I, I'm confident that I could take care of it and not have it go wrong. And I was like 12 at the time, you know, I was like a 12 year old kid, so I'm like, I don't trust myself to get a turtle and like not, you know, I want to make sure I was gonna, you know, be capable and. To, like take care of it and everything so I, I never got one it's cool too Ari because I have a, a capture card for my 3ds and I recently bought new leaf I was streaming new leaf for a while I should do like a vertical stream for new leaf sometime that'd be really cool actually maybe I'll do that next week I'll, I'll get I'll break up my capture card again and we'll do like a vertical stream for new leaf I haven't played that in a hot minute but I was I was enjoying it a lot for a, for a while. We got it. Barely. <laughs> that was really sketchy. That was sketchy as heck. Okay, that was a checkpoint, right? Ooh, so I'm assuming we have to... Can I potentially fly out of the water and still hit that without gliding to it? Got it. Oh, and then that is going to make all the doors open up, right? So when you do that, that'll make all the doors open up, if I'm correct. The ones that are like were previously shut should now all be open, I believe. Oh, wow, we just... Okay, that didn't go so well. That's really cool. I'm flopping around. Flopping around like a fish. I like the vibes from these caves. No, they're not all open. So the, all the all the gates did not open. Just some of them did, huh? This one opened up right here, right? but not all of them. So was every single one of those gates all connected to a different button we have to press? Oh my God. They're all gonna have a different button to press. And then once you get them all opened, the minecart will flow through the mine perfectly. It'll be a minecart ride. And then you're gonna fly off the minecart and that'll be the end of the level, I'm assuming. I'm understanding how this might go now. Yes. This is a really cool level. I'm liking this a lot. I was like just thinking, I'm like, where is this going? Like, what, what's the what's the point of all these wires and everything? But now, I, now I'm getting it. I'm understanding it now. Because there's one of the power buttons right there that we're gonna have to find a way to press. But the water level is too low here. I don't think I'm capable of like flying out of the water here, right? And hitting that. 
No, I am. Oh my lord. I didn't even know I was going to be able to do that. We did it though. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so I guess you can, I guess we have a lot more height than I thought we did just by. So it, theoretically, I could probably do that same thing again over here, right? Oh, we can totally do that over here. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I wasn't totally understanding how far I could fly just by myself. Well, I think we're going to die. Hey, Sophia, it is really freaking good to see you today. It is really good to see you today, Sophia. Welcome. Sophia, what was happening in general this morning? I, I don't really even remember what was even said in that that chat this morning, and I <laughs> I don't know what happened in general today, Sophia, but it was a it was a trip. So if you, I stopped in I stopped in the general today because I saw you and Jess talking and I was just gonna say hi to you guys and then before I knew it it just all turned wrong. Like I, I literally saw Sophia and Jess talking and I was like, ooh, I can make a funny joke really here. I'll say hi to both of them. And then before I knew it, I was just like, then it just went really wrong. <laughs> I had the most innocent intentions today, and then yeah, it all went. <laughs> it took a very weird turn today, but at least at least it all ended up. All right, nice. Mm hmm. There it is. I missed it. Got it. Huge. I know, Draco. I really wanted to I really wanted to get the male Coachella guy for myself, and then Steph wanted to get the female one, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna buy those. I've already gotten so many skins recently that like uh that I, I just Toph and the tune meow schools that becca got for me like i love that tune meow school so much and i like toff so much like i don't want to buy like new skins till i start using them. well i thought about it but at some point i have too many skins and i'm never going to use all of them so why, why why get more you know i already have so many skins that I, I will never even use so so for now i think i'm doing okay in fortnite but those coachella skins are awesome i saw them today they're pretty cool Rebecca, I love the Toon Meow School so much. I hope you know that. Like, I can't even overstate how much I like that skin. It's like my favorite skin I have. Wait, is this for the... Is this... This isn't the end of the level, right? Wow, this is so cool. Oh! <gasps> No way. What is this place? This is like a like a settlement, like a house that's built into the mountain. Are those slurp juices? Those are Fortnite slurp juice cans. How did Dr. Robert not predict this? He should have known Bob's would eventually gain sentience. This seems like a this sounds like an evil lair, like an evil. Is this like an evil villain slayer? <laughs> that was really cool. Maddie, I agree with you. I love the Coachella wings, but I wish they were like two or three times bigger. Yeah, they're kind of small, aren't they? I wish they were bigger too. Oh, is that is that like a broken window? I saw him, Maddie. They're pretty cool. Hey, Sophia, Bellamy has a great taste in games. Will you tell him that for me? This game is amazing.
I'm so glad that I actually decided to, to buy this game and play it because it's really good. It's really good. Is there like a... Wait, can I swim underneath this? No, I can't. The music is like really crazy here. Bum, 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 bum. Um, oh, I have to go up there. We have to go up. I didn't see a... Uh... Wow. How am I supposed to glide up there? That's... Come on, help me. Help a brother out. I'm so close. I wonder if they're gonna like have us like go back to the hospital in this one. I hope not. This looks very like hospital-esque to me. Oh, I see now. You go to this tray first, right? Yes. So we gotta hop from tray to tray, huh? Exactly, Dra Draco, this music sucks. This this music really sucks. Ah, I failed. And it's like it's like reminiscent of the the hospital music that we heard. So I, I don't know. I don't understand. This music makes me feel very uncomfortable. I feel very scared. It, yeah, it's the, it's the same music from the room with the blood. I don't know why. It makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, I feel very uncomfy here. Well, hello there, guys. Hello there. My name is... My name is... My name is Simon the Fish. I'm trying to fly into, into the... Into the little bin on top of that little shelf over there. Hello, everybody. Hello, Beacon of Next Dream. Hello, everybody in Beacon of Next Dream. Hello. My name's Simon. Hello. I love this fish. This fish is literally so cute. Hello. Ah, I almost had it. Wait, why am I like stuck on that? Oh, and I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, Sophia. Well, there's certainly a part where you get there and there's a little, there's a little bit of blood. It's not like really gory, so it's just, imagine the water, but it's very dark red. That's all it is. It's not like really gory or anything. Like you don't see like open wounds or anything. It's just like, you find like these like 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 packs of blood and you can like bite them with the piranha it's just water but it's it's red so it's not like super super unsettling it's a little bit gross if you don't like blood but it's not that bad just imagine the water i'm swimming in but it's like a it's like a it's like a red tint that's basically what it was it, it is kind of creepy though so i wouldn't say it's like the it's like the most gory thing i've seen but i can see how people would get a little bit unsettled by it you know I'm like struggling really hard on this part for like no reason. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help me! Oh, we can almost bypass that entirely. Maybe, maybe the plan is we just fly in that top one right away. Oh yeah, that's for sure the plan. Oh my gosh. This is really challenging. Like, I'm surprised how much I'm kind of struggling on this. But then that's that's for sure what I'm supposed to do, though. I'm supposed to fly into that container. I'm supposed to container hop, you know? 
I'm definitely supposed to do that. But I, oh, maybe, maybe we can fly over that container. No, we got it. We got it. Finally. Finally. There's also a piece of biscuit in that other side. Do I risk it for the biscuit? I don't think I should risk it for the biscuit. Okay, now we're cooking. I knew I wasn't gonna make it. Like, you, you gotta get like a good like a good like underwater start. You can kind of tell when you're gonna make it versus not make it. It's it's tough though. It's tough. Can we have a summer cam? I can I can show you a picture of summer. <laughs> I'll put her in the corner of the stream for one second and then I'll move her. If you guys are new here, by the way, that's that's my dog. Her name is Summer. Can we have a summer cam? <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? Bup, bup. Hello! Hello, Big Hammer Bex! Hey, Big Hammer Bex, I'm, I'm your biggest fan. I like it when you hit stuff with your Hammer Bex. Hey, Big Hammer Bex. <laughs> you have a really big fan in this fish, Rebecca. This fish loves. Hello, Big Hammer Bex. I love your hammer. I can't fly out of this bin. <laughs> Oh, big hammer Bex. I love when you swing your hammer. Your hammer swinging is so exceptional. Got it. I think swimming from this one to that one is going to be a huge challenge, though. You got it right here. Oh, my God. Oh, big hammer Bex. When you swing that hammer, I just start feeling all kinds of positive emotions. Ooh. Wow, I'm like failing big time. I feel so happy when I see big Hamelbex swinging that hammer around. Ah, we're we're right there. See, like I can fly, Rob. Like flying for sure is like should be like the solution here. But sometimes I feel like if you you can kind of fly. Well, maybe what we do here, maybe maybe I can skip that second that first bucket. And we just go right to the second one if I fly. You know. All right, that didn't uh, that didn't really work out that time that that well, but we got it here though. That's okay. That's a good idea. That was a good idea. It's just sometimes like you you can overshoot it if you fly, you know. All right, we still failed though. You wanna you wanna skip some buckets then. That's kind of like the whole idea. Um. Ah, uh, can I, can I get back in the bucket? Is it too late? Wait, wait, wait. Are we? Can we fall back in? Come on, you. Please get back in the bucket, please, please, sir, please. I think I failed too. I think you failed. I think I double failed. I'm back in the, the water. I got my swim trunks and my flippy gills. Okay, I'm not, you gotta make sure you activate your wings after you're in the air. That's the that's the main thing. What is happening? I was doing so good, now I'm doing so bad. No! This is really hard. This is like actually challenging, which I like about the game. They don't make it super easy on you to like, to win. I like that it is kind of challenging. Nice. Okay, we're in. We just have to make it into the door, into that door now. And I'm just gonna warn you guys. If I know this, how well big Hamelbex? I'm gonna. Warn, I'll warn you guys. There's gonna be some kind of cutscene probably, and there might be like a guy on the other side. It might be the same guy that was doing the heart surgery. So I don't know if there's gonna be like a weird. I doubt there's gonna be a jump scare, but I, I can see there'd be. There's probably gonna be some kind of cutscene when I when I enter that place. Well, there's not gonna be.
or there's not going to be. Oh, I, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to hit that, aren't I? Okay, let's go back. I'm supposed to actually probably hit the pipe. And we're back in the mop bucket. <laughs> this is such a phenomenal game. I'm like thoroughly surprised how good this game actually is. This is like an evil villain's lair. Dude, this game goes from innocent and cute to creepy so fast. Am I the only one? This game goes from, oh yeah, this is very wholesome to being like the creepiest thing you've seen in your whole life very quickly. Like it just, the it deviates so fast. It's just, it's a game about fish too. Like that voice is so ominous, you know? Oh, dude. Christian, if they had those options, but what we got like flat, like, yeah, I couldn't do it. This game would be so hard to win. You'd have to like practice playing this game so much to even like have a good idea to what you're doing, you know? There's just no way I could play that way. Okay. I was wondering if you could like smash through that door, but that w that's not an option. British. I'm British. I think you failed. Find me in the club. Bottle full of bub. I got what you need. We're in this little mop cart. So come give me a hug. Find me in the club. Bottle full of bub. So that's probably like a fuse. And we got to knock that fuse back into place. Or like a... There's got to be a fuse, right? Or like a battery or something. Got it. Wow, that was perfect. I that, that was a perfect jump. Find me in the find me in the bucket. Got it about half full. Got a bunch of water in the bucket. That's the remix. Find me in the bucket. My my rap name's gonna be 52 cents. And my first song is gonna be Find Me in the Bucket. Find me in the bucket, swimming through the evil villain layer. My mom, I got what you need. I just put the fuse back in place. We're swimming in the. Wait, what's happening? Why can't I get in? Why can't I go in here? Huh? Why am I not able to, like, roll my car in there? Do I have to get some more speed or something? Okay, that was complicated. That was the, that was the whole level, guys. <laughs> I only got one star out of five. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> at one star out of five stars. That is horrendous. That is pretty bad. So, what's the last? Where's the. Um, I think there is still going to be a final level after we get this fish back in the ocean. There might be one last level, but I'm not sure if there is or not. It's an airport. So it starts at it starts at the uh, the farm, and then you go in the mines, and you go. This is an airport right here. That is amazing. All right, guys, give give me like one sec. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a brief second, and then we will finish this game. The game itself is probably gonna be. I'm not sure if it'll be over after this level, but this is probably the last level in the game. I'll be back really quick. I promise it will not be very long. <laughs> True, Jordan, but some great stream interactions with the glider fish. I'd rather have a one star out of five and then have some have some fun than have a five star out of five and not have fun. <laughs> Rebecca, Summer is a big dog. I don't know if, if you guys can understand my like little space back here. Like it's just enough for me to fit back here. If I had Summer on my lap, she would be knocking over everything on my desk. <laughs> like I, I have like, like this is how far I can move my chair back when I'm sitting at my desk. It goes back this far. <laughs> There's like no way I could physically have summer back here with me right now. 
Because like behind me, I have like a I have like an L-shaped desk that like that's like on the on the back wall, and then this desk is in, is in front of the L-shaped desk. So I kind of have like a little like triangle cubicle thing in my streaming area. So like I'd have to like carry somewhere in my arms like this, and she would be very unhappy. Then she would start kicking all my stuff off my desk, and then she like kicked me in the face. That wouldn't go very well. Mm hmm. I would love that. Yeah, it, there's there's barely any room back here. I don't know how she would she would fit. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll do it for you, Rebecca. I'm gonna go. I'll go give her a treat, anyways. I'll be I'll be right back. Treat the summer sparkles cherry blossom.
Be free. Neon light. Nobel Prize. When a leader speaks. Oh, I'm actually good. Actually good. Big Hammer Bex. Thank you. Rebecca, I bought Summer some treats. <coughs> I bought her like these, like, uh, they're not raw, they're like beef hide, like little strips. They're like, like, it was like, it was like beef hide, like chicken. There's like, there's like blueberries in them, like blueberry extract in them or something. They look, they look very healthy. Like, read the ingredients. I've been giving her those recently. And they, they take her like probably like 10 minutes to chew. Because Summer's kind of like a gremlin. Like, you give her a treat, and she'll eat the whole thing, and, like, f she eats f treats so quick. So I try to, like, buy her treats that take her a while to eat, because she just eats so fast. Like, you put food in her bowl, and, like, she eats it so quick. And I want to, like, just, like, get her, get her, get her to under understand, like, I'm not going to take the food away from you. You can just eat the food. Like, don't, you don't got to, like, slurp it down. Like, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> but, like, in her brain, I think she thinks that, like, the food's going to go somewhere. She's like, I gotta eat it right now while it's here, because it's gonna go somewhere. She eats so fast. Ooh, Sophia, do I have the, the emote of Summer holding a heart? Somewhere. I don't know if I do anymore, actually. I don't think so, Sophia. That's a really good question. I don't think I do. Because the last time I remember having that emote, it was a long, long, long time ago. I don't think I have that emote anymore. I think it's gone. Hey, Loopy, thank you so much for being a member for 22 months. I really appreciate that. I'm trying to think who even made the emote for me. I'm trying to think, Sophia. It might be on my old computer. I can't hold up. Let me see if I can find it really fast. I might know where it's at in my PC. I'm trying to think. Um, I think I'd have to like really look for it. Yeah, I'm thinking that's probably not going to be the case. Because I have an, my old PC that it might be saved on, but if it's not there, I think it's just gone. Louie, thank you for being a member for that long, man. I really, really, really appreciate you. Because I remember the emote. Like, I remember the having. I remember the emote pretty well. But I just it's been way it's been way too long. I'm really trying to think. But this is the final level in this game. <laughs> so once... I don't know that for sure, but this this is the final level for this specific fish. So once we beat this level with this fish, the game might end. Luby, thank you very much. I really appreciate you, dude. Okay, we can go that way, but is that where I'm supposed to go? Something tells me that there's going to be more to this room that I could explore if I wanted to. Hey, Katie, you have a good night, okay? Have a great night, Katie. I'm just thinking, like, some of these rooms seem like they're really big. Wait, 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 wait. Is this like a continuation right away, like right from the last one? I, we're in that guy's house, aren't we? We're in the guy's house that had that 
Was that connected to the mine shaft? That room? So are we in like the secret villain's house right now? Or like some kind of villain's house? I don't know where we're at right now, but I, I don't know. I guess we, we'll just wait and see. <laughs> hey Katie, much love. Thanks for always being here. I really appreciate you. Fuck. You see a big look at how big that fish tank is. That's a really big fish tank. That's a really, really, really big fish tank. <laughs> I almost had it. <laughs> at least there's a checkpoint right there, so if we fail that. There is a checkpoint. I can't fly. There we go. Perfect. There's no fish in this fish tank. There's no fish in this fish tank. What's the deal with airline food? Yeah, maybe I can make I, I can get one commissioned. I think my my emo artist, I think she's got like a full I think she's not taking commissions right now, but I could always find somebody else too. All right, it's certainly not that way. If I had time, Sophia, I could probably find that emo, but I don't think I I, I don't know where it's at right off the top of my head. I have another PC like behind me right now, so it might be on that PC. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, given more time, I could probably find it. It even might be in my Google Drive. Maybe I saved it to my drive too. It'd probably take me like maybe an hour to find it, depending where it's at. It's somewhere though. I can, I'm sure I could find it in some way, shape or form. Why is it so hard to fly out of this container? It's so hard. Yeah, I don't know exactly where it'd be at, Sophia, but it's probably it's probably here. I just don't know where I put it digitally. Because I think it was uh, I think it was Testu that made the emote for me, but I don't have her as a friend on Discord anymore. That's why the problem. That's why it's a problem. I think she originally made that for me, and then she sent it to me in D DMs. But we're not friends anymore on Discord. So I think there's, I don't know what happened with, uh, with the emote then. Why is this so hard? Why is that so difficult? There we go. See, like, you have to, like, activate your wings right when you... Here, let's get the bucket a little bit closer. Let's just drive it a little bit closer. That should help a little bit. Okay. But now from here... There's gotta be like a way. I don't know where we're supposed to fly to. So something in the distance, there's gonna be some kind of water source or an open window or something, but it's, it's really hard to like take off and fly when you don't know where you're going, you know? So I don't know exactly where we're gonna be flying to here. But we're gonna send it. Oh no, can we get back in the tank? <laughs> this is hard, man. Yeah, I think the solution here is to just drive the drive the bucket closer to the fan. But then I don't know where we go from here. There's gotta be some kind of water source. There's a water bottle. Is there some is it the water bottle on the desk? 
There's no way that water bottle is what I'm supposed to fly to, right? But I think it is, because on the ground it looks like that. No, there's no way it's a water. Can I can I go inside this water bottle? No, it can't it can't be the water bottle. That, there's no way it would be. I don't know where we go from here. <laughs> no, I'm not sure if she, it was either her Sophia or somebody else that I'm thinking of. I don't know who made that emote. It was somebody a long time ago. It was her or somebody else. So I don't want to like, uh, I can find it. I'm sure it just, it, I, I don't know who made it. I, I like legitimately, I couldn't even tell you where the emote came from, but I, I think I remember. I don't, I don't know for sure. It's been way too long. She's one of the many people that could have made it. But I, I don't know for sure. So. It's around. It would, it'd just take me a little bit to find it, I think. You know. It might have been her. It might have been her. But it also might have been like 30 other people. So. I'm not totally sure. I wonder if it's, oh, it's that, there, there is, there's a water bowl in the window. That's what I'm supposed to go to. There's a, there's a water bowl in the window. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I didn't know exactly where we were supposed to fly, but now I see it. I think we're gonna get it. No! It's so hard to... I feel like I didn't, I didn't earn that. Like, it just kind of gave me the... I honestly feel like I didn't earn that at all. Like, I flew close to it, so I just kind of counted, you know? I'll take it. Man, I, I really, I really didn't earn that though. <laughs> they gave me a freebie there. All right, let's keep rolling this way. Can I land on the chair? I was thinking I could like roll the chair around, but I think I think we just fall through the right side. Perfect. What I don't think you're able to fly if like let's say like I go off like a jump or something here. I don't think the flight of this fish is actually gonna work. I don't think we can fly with this thing. But that door being cracked open tells me that they're trying to hint that I should go this way, so we're gonna go this way. Hey, Kieran, thanks for noticing that, man. You noticed my pun in the, in the... I'm sure people probably noticed that too. Thanks, dude. I was making the thumbnail and I was like making the finale. I'm like, wait, the word fin is also like a fish part. <laughs> thanks, Kieran. Why is there like a, a kitchen? Why is there like a house that's connected to the airport? Was that like a like a like a hotel room or something we were in? There's no way. I I think there's like an actual like story associated with this game that I'm like supposed to pick up on and I'm kind of picking up on it and I have some theories as to what's happening in this game. There's like a story that's playing out in the background while you're while you're doing the puzzles that I'm kind of like picking up on that's kind of cool. We're going, wait, oh, please, for the love of God. Oh, my God. 
That was a long fall. That was a long drop. <laughs> that was a very long drop. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I thought you were trying to get my attention. No. Ben Alley. Ben Fen. Ben Fen. Ben Fen. Fen Fen. I pronounce Fen like Finn a lot. It's like my Midwestern accent, you know. No! Oh, he had it. I had it. Did we just glitch into the map? I did. I think I just fell into this thing. Yeah, I just glitched into the map here. Do you guys see this? That's crazy. No. I want you to spill my, all my coffee everywhere. Give me one sec, guys. I spilled like a, like a tiny, tiny bit of coffee on the ground. I'll be right back. I need to get a towel. Give me one sec. All right, luckily it was like two drops. Thankfully. The nails that hold up there. Don't hold me up now. I can stand my own ground. All right, guys, we're back. I spill coffee all the time. Way too much. I know, Jordan. I always see the uh, those unspillable cups, ones you can like knock over and like they they never like tip over. I see those unspillable cups all the time, dude. I see them advertised still in the states sometimes. I still think those things are like pretty spillable. I'll keep it a buck fifty. I think I think I could probably find a way to spill those. This is cool. Like, this is honestly kind of like how the airport looks where I live. I think every airport is kind of, you know, the same layout, but oh, I just completely beefed that so hard. We just overly beefed that. Do, 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 do. Mm 
<laughs> Ooh. Big Hammer Bex is meeting up with the girls later. Girls day. What are you guys doing, Rebecca? What are you guys doing for girls day? That sounds so fun. Are you guys playing Fortnite? <laughs> you having a Fortnite land party? I can't go that way. <laughs> exactly, Jordan. I don't know if you like if we're just repeating what I said, but we had the we had the same idea. Is it Fortnite land party day? I can't I can't even go that way. That sounds so fun. Eating, drinking, and playing games. That sounds really fun, actually, Rebecca. Oh, no way, Jordan. Did you really? So we we just had the same the same brain. We just, we're on the same brain. Oh. There's no way. I can't fit in here, right? If I try to... You literally hit send as I said that. Can I go this way? What happens? I mean, I can kind of roll on that for a hot minute, but I'm going to still die. So maybe we just go this way. Girls day. Girls night. My God. He's... This level is going to give me like. We just got to be patient. Slow and steady wins the race. Stop. Good job. Um. But no, I, I came. I just came from this way, didn't I? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I think we just came from this way. Or no, I didn't. I don't. I don't know for sure. Um. I think I saw Chris was leaving for the night. So Chris, if you're going to sleep, man, have a really good night. Okay. I think you said that right. Oh, you, we have to drop in the fountain, don't we? That's what we have to do. Um, Chris, if you're still here, man, have a good night. Okay. Wow, he does like a little front flip if he, when he when he comes out of the water. He does like a little. I didn't even know you could do that. You might just have him do like different flips. Or kind of, kind of. Yeah, you can. So you can swim underneath the water and come up, and then. I mean, he kind of does a front flip. Yeah, you you can you kind of it kind of works. But I'm kind of curious here. Chris, you were awake really late tonight, man, again. I just realized that. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning for you, dude. You gotta get some big sleep, my friend. Chris, go to bed! <laughs> Chris, it's already... Dude, it's so late for you, man. What are you doing? It's so late for you! <laughs> Chris, go to sleep, dude. Thanks for hanging out so late, man. I know it's late as hell for you, Chris. You need to get some sleep for sure, dude. I just realized you you, you stayed up again really late tonight. Okay, I messed that up. <laughs> it is too late for you. You kept saying you were tired the other day, Chris. You're you're like, I'm a zombie. I'm like, go to bed early, Chris. Here you are late. Late. I appreciate you, man. Oh, I almost almost had it. We're gonna get drained. Girls night Draco I'm gonna get I'm gonna buy a blue wig and a blonde wig and then I'm gonna like pretend like I'm two different girls and we're gonna like I'll like do a skit where we're both having girls night girl I we've been waiting to hang out together for so long we've been talking about it for like months but we we're always so busy I know we're finally gonna get to, to spend time together ooh -hoo. we can get our nails done we can do all we can catch up with all the all the tea and the gossip oh girl I can't wait to hang out with you have a couple of have a couple margaritas. Oh, we're gonna have that Fortnite land party. Oh, girl. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> girl's night. I want to experience a girl's night one time, but I'm a boy. I'm a dude. 
Yeah, girl. You go, girl. <laughs> girl, I've been waiting to hang out with you for so long. We're just both so busy. Life is just so packed full of stuff. I know. How are the kids? You know how the kids are. They're kids. Oh, yeah, tell me about it, girl. We gotta do this more often. I know. And you just you just keep saying we gotta do it more often again, and then you just, it just never happens. Girl, we gotta get together at least once a month. Yeah, girl. <laughs> not like I'm sure not every girl gatherings like this, but sometimes my mom would have her her girlfriends come over, and they would all hang out, and my dad would like leave the house because he couldn't tolerate it. And I would like be in the other room, like playing video games or playing with my Legos or something. And I'd be playing board games with my, with my brother or something. Or we'd, be, we'd be playing our, we'd like be playing our Game Boys or something. We'd just like be doing our thing. And like, I'd like listen to what they're talking about. And it was pretty hard to listen to. I'm like, I, I know why my dad leaves the house. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure not every girl party is like that. There's probably some tolerable ones and some fun ones. But my, me and my, my mom and her girlfriends were like, I, if I was my dad, I, I would have left the house too. I would have went to do anything else because it sometimes it was just they would they would like start having wine and stuff and I'm like I can't I would just be in my room and I would like just ignore all of it I'm like this is so I just it's hard to listen to hey girl hey see I don't know like uh I don't know like I haven't experienced a lot of girls nights because I'm a guy. So like, I'm not saying every girls nights like that. I'm sure there's probably some very, very, very fun girls nights and some very productive and, and you know, entertaining ones. But my mom and her friends were not that, that way. Yeah, pretty much when, when boys have a boys night, we have, we get pizza. We kiss the homies good night. We play Madden. We play Mario Kart. We play Super Smash Bros. We arm wrestle. We play. We work out. Play. We play with Beyblades. We. Uh... You always gotta go ahead and kiss the homies goodnight, though. You gotta make sure you give them a big kiss on the cheek before they go to bed. Mwah. When your homie's laying on the bed, and you just go up to him. Mwah. Good night, honey. Good night, cutie pie. Good night. Good night, my homie. I love you, homie. I'm not sure where to go from here. Oh, there's a mop bucket over there that I have to swim to. But there's a guy mopping. Mwah. I love you, homie. Mwah. Gotta kiss. I gotta kiss my hand. Cause just know, guys, if if uh, my homie's cheek was here, I would kiss the, his, his cheek right now. But since his homie, my homie's not here, I'm gonna kiss my hand in, in his place. Mwah. This is taking the place of my homie's cheek. You gotta kiss the homies goodnight though. It's just part. It's just part of having a sleepover with your friends. You gotta tuck them in. No, there's no way. I think that still counts though. I flew directly over the checkpoint. How did how did that not count? I flew directly over it. Do I have to actually land inside in, in the mop? This is the coolest fish though by far. I love this fish. Oh my god! Can I just flop into it? Okay, that one counted. That was that was huge. At least it still counts, even if you get close. You know, that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Firefly, I'm so sorry. Going to try to calm my mind a little bit more. Have a wonderful stream, Firefly. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's always okay though. Like you, you never have to worry about like if you gotta leave stream early, Firefly. You can always come and go as you as like you have to. You know, you don't ever have to be here like the whole stream or anything. I'm just make sure you're okay. You know, that's the most important thing. Just make sure you're okay. If you want to lurk too, you can just lurk. God damn it! You can always lurk here too, Firefly. If it makes you feel better. You don't ever have to worry about that either. 
I wonder if we have to, we have to take this up the escalator. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Hey, Christian. Dude, thanks for raiding and then also like staying here for like hours, dude. <laughs> it was nice to chat with you, man. I really appreciated that a lot. So if you guys don't know Anxious Christian, you guys should go drop him a sub. He's, re he's really awesome. These people are savages. That guy had a very flat butt too. That flat butt dude just ran me over. Him and his flat butt just came and completely destroyed me. Yo, Remy, thank you for becoming a Lighthouse member earlier today. One more time. Thank you for becoming a Lighthouse member. Guys, give me one sec. Hold up. My alarm's going off. I accidentally set my phone alarm for 4.14 in the morning for, like, no reason. <laughs> I don't know why I was going off, but it was. Why is my phone alarm set for 414? I'll never know. Please leave me alone, sir. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that guy did not have any manners. I think we're doing better. Are you telling me we're supposed to get this thing? We're supposed to take this thing up the escalator without spilling? This sounds impossible. Actually, maybe not. I think that's a, it looks as wide as this container is, right? Okay, luckily the, these escalators are like three times the length of a regular escalator step. <laughs> I've never seen an escalator that wide before, that, that long. Hello, Big Hammer Bex. Hello. Hey, Big Hammer Bex, I'm in the mop bucket. <laughs> Hello, Big Hammer Bex. I, I, I have a weird. Oh, no, we can go. We can go in. We can go in here. I love how it's so convenient that the all the vents are open right now. That's the most convenient thing ever. The vents are just open for us. Oh no, not toe bread. Don't bring up the toe bread. I can't believe he said that. Not the toe bread. Ew! Ew! Can't believe this guy brought up toe bread in my stream. I would rather eat toe bread. Oh my god, where are we at? What is this place? Oh, this is the airport, isn't it? Yeah, it's still the airport. I would rather eat toe bread than banana bread. Ah, we're gonna fall off here. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't like to eat toe bread. Toe bread sounds gross and disgusting and feet are nasty, but I would like to eat that over banana bread. And I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I'd rather have bread with, with toes in it than banana bread. <laughs> I can't believe it was a it was a long story. Okay, we were we were in general today talking, and Sophia said, "I'm Sophia said I'm having a great morning, Jess. I'm baking muffins with Bellamy, and it's going great." And I made the mistake of asking Sophia what flavor the muffins were, and she said, "I don't want to tell you." I'm like, "Oh, you're making banana nut muffins. Awesome!" And I said they were gross, and something happened where some somebody brought up. Uh, I don't know what happened. Someone was talking about. A, the foot cam stream or something. I don't know what it was. And I'm like, I'd rather have bread with toes in them than have banana bread. And then uh, I don't know. I, it was a weird. It was. It was a weird morning in general discussions today. That, that's that's what I'll tell you guys. I don't remember exactly how it got brought up, but I basically said I'd rather have. <laughs> the impression. He said, "Oh, Jess, I'm having a wonderful morning. I'm having the best morning ever." I, uh, I'm baking muffins with Bellamy. And just said, oh my God, this sounds so nice. 
aren't our kids the cutest? And I, I, I proceeded to say I ate so much food. Okay, what was, what was actually pretty funny though, Sophia and uh, Jess were talking about how cute their kids were. And I was like, guys, I just had so much food for breakfast that I might pop out a kid any minute. I feel pregnant. That was, that, I was laughing when I posted that. And that's exactly what I, I was gonna leave General this morning after saying that. I was gonna tell you guys to have a good morning. And I was gonna leave General. And I was gonna leave it at that. But then people started coming in and I started like, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm like, this is a kind of fun. And before I knew it, I'm, I was just like, before I knew it, it was like 45 minutes of talking in there. I'm like, oh my God, this is too much for me. So I closed this court and I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that today. <laughs> <laughs> I did though. I felt like I was gonna have a. I felt like I was gonna have like a baby. I had like uh, so much for breakfast. I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna have give birth any minute. I looked pregnant this morning. I had so much food for breakfast. I looked like my my, my belly looked pregnant. I almost went to get a pregnancy test. I had so much food for, food for breakfast. I almost called my doctor. I almost asked him if I was supposed to like. I'm like, hey doc, I think I'm pregnant. Why? I had a lot of food for breakfast. I look like I'm pregnant. I almost bought a test. You just have to skate along. Can I just dump the whole bucket in this thing? Can we... Holy frick, we did it. I almost just spilled my coffee again, though. My coffee is so close to being spilled. You have no idea. You should have stuck to your plan. I really should have this morning, Sophia. I was going to just pop in and, and wish you guys... You guys were having a very, very, very wholesome conversation. And I was like, oh, it's a very nice conversation. I was going to make a joke and tell you guys to have a good morning. And the next thing I know, I'm, I stayed way too long. And then I started talking about toe bread and eating toes in my bread. And then I realized I was like, I should not have stayed that long. I, I, those conversations got way too crazy. Can we can we move this thing? Is this thing, is this thing movable? Let me respawn. Where, where do I go from here? Oh my god. Do, do those luggages have water? Oh my god. The, lug the luggage has water in it. I forgot that I can fly too. Draco, I'm pregnant with Dilly's child. He's pregnant with my child, okay? And they're gonna be twins. Oh man, that didn't work. I gotta fly him on. Ah, oh, it's too late. No, wait up, wait up, wait up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Nah, too late. <laughs> How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Ain't no way a man's carrying a baby for nine months. You're right, Jordan. I wouldn't carry a baby for nine months. I'm, 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 I would have to have someone trade off with me and take it for like half the time. I'd carry it on the weekends. Like every, every other weekend I'll be pregnant and then not during the week though. Why isn't that suitcase opened? That's kind of crazy. I'll make a deal. I'll be pregnant every other weekend, not during the week. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. This is really tough. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it. I was talking about it the other day. Being pregnant sounds so... It's the most amazing thing that could ever happen to you, but also it sounds very challenging. I almost had it. I like can't even understand like waking up in the morning and having a child growing inside of you. It's a miracle, but it's also like scary. Nothing short of a miracle, but nothing short of terrifying.
How am I supposed to like actually do this? Can I just can I just fly into this one here? No way. Am I gonna make it? No, we were right there. We were right there. What do you mean, Rob? That's not how I get my luggage, dude. I know how to get my luggage, Rob. I'm doing it right, right here, man. I'm doing it the right way. You're doing luggage the wrong way. There's gotta be a luggage coming, but it's too late. Come on. I can get, I can, oh my gosh. It is surprisingly hard to get this fish into the luggage. It is surprisingly really hard. This feels, this feels so much more challenging than it looks. Cause like, it's so easy to like not have this fly right. It's really fun. I like, I like the, um, I like the challenge of it though. This, this is a really fun level. Am I playing Toy Story? I'm playing Toy Story Fish. I'm picking, I'm playing Fish Story right now. Finding, finding Big Hammerbacks, Toy Story. This is still winnable. This is very still winnable. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got this. No, I, I forget that they stop right there. So if they like, all we gotta do is land in one of the luggages that have, has water in it and we win. I can still win this one. This one's still winnable. It's gonna move in a second. Come on, we got this. I'm trying to think, like, I'm trying to figure out if I'm like, like just bad at this or if it's like actually pretty hard or both. I think someone that had like some experience with this would actually not struggle that much. We're gonna win right here. This is it. This is it, this is it, this is it. We got it. We got it. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I don't know where we go from here though. Maybe in there. I can't see anything. Am I supposed to go in there? Oh, it's shooting us this way. Wow, it shot us through here. That was the right way. You see in the desk right there, there's like a bowl. That's a that's a fish bowl right there. So we have to fly out of this piece of luggage into that fish bowl to win. Hey Lizzie, honestly, Lizzie, I'll be honest with you. I think you're such an awesome person and I enjoy having you so much. If I made like seven slices of toe bread, I'd give you at least two slices. I, I actually would. I'll, I'll, I'll level it with you. Uh, it didn't work out. I would give you for sure two slices of my toe bread. <laughs> so weird. Sorry. I wonder if that's going to count. Ooh. So if we, if we just get close to that, it'll, it'll count as us winning. We don't have to like really like get inside the fishbowl. We just got to get like close to it. That might count. No, it's not going to count. Sophia, you have a good night, okay? Have a really awesome night, Sophia. I appreciate you very much. I'll catch you on I'll catch you next time too, Sophia, okay? I'll catch you next time too. You gotta can you smell what the rock is cooking? Can you tell what the toe is? David Tobrick. Oh my god. This is stressful. Toe bread with I like I love everything bagels. The the here's here's the best bagels. Onion bagels and then everything bagels. That has to count. That has to count. Got it. That was very challenging. That was so challenging, it was not even funny. Did 
but uh, I'll keep it at buck fifty with you. I don't know where we go from here. <laughs> Draco, I was waiting for someone to react to that. I was like, that's the that's the first thing that <laughs> that's the first thing that popped in my head. I was thinking of someone that had like toe in their name. I'll be honest, I I don't even know who David Dobrik even is, but. I like heard the name a lot. I, I think I know who he is, but I don't want to say because I'll feel dumb, but I just thought of David, David Tobrick. <laughs> Not David Tobrick. <laughs> David Tobrick. Like, why did my brain just think of that? I don't know. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh my God. What is wrong with me? We're supposed to go down here. Oh, I'm supposed to like uh, get caught in one of these, right? Yeah, so we have to just like stay on this thing, right? My favorite actor of all time. Hey, Ladar, I appreciate you. You're so nice, Ladar. You know, you did a good job when Ladar says good job. You know you're playing your video game well when Ladart herself, the queen herself, says good job. Hello, Ladart. Hello. Hello, Ladart. Thank you for saying good job. That is so cringe, but so funny. Well, hello, Big Hammer Bex. My favorite actor is David Tobwick. I love David Tobwick. I love, love, love David Tobwick. I love this. I, ooh, we have to roll down here, don't we? I love. Oh, poor fish. Poor fish. He's going through it. We're going to crash and break. The The fish bowl is like cracked right now. It's not broken yet, though. Well, hello, big hamelbacks. You can see the cracks in the fish bowl from us. Luckily, it didn't like crack all the way, though. This fish is moving. We're, mo we're getting places. Ah, failed again. Joe Togan. Joe Togan. Toe Togan. Hmm. What are some more celebrity toe names? <sighs> we're going to break open here. Yep. How do I not break open there? Like, what do I... Is it even possible to not break open there? Here, I have to roll down here, right? And then just not... See, I, cr I crack every time I do that, though. Here, here. How... how what the hell? Uh, dude, dude, I spawned on top of the luggage, and it shot me in the air, and I came down and cracked. I wonder if I, if, if I can make that happen again. I just made that piece of luggage fly by respawning. Dude, that was unbelievable. I must have hit the button at the right time. It like sent me flying in the air. Okay, I didn't crack this time. It's not. Oh, well, no, I'll just, I'll just fall. I must have hit respawn at the right time because it made me. I think what I have to do is I have to. Um, I got to hide behind a piece of luggage or something. And it's got to stop my, my momentum, right? Go, 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 fishy, go, go, fishy, go! He's gotta stop my, moment, my momentum. Okay, we didn't crack this time. Ah, uh, we're gonna crack again, though. Please, please, please. Ah, oh, we're for sure gonna shatter. Ah, oh, dude, who's Toebred? That is so gross. Toebred? I don't know who you are, but you're just, you're disgusting. You disgust me. Toebred. David Toebred. David Tobrick. You've got to be flipping my... you got to be flipping my pancakes. Can we, like, just, like, go fast and avoid everything and then not break open? Oh, my God. It's so hard to control this. It is so hard to control this. 
we're rolling they see me rolling they're hating they're trolling they're trying to catch me swimming dirty trying to catch me swimming dirty my fishbowl so loud we're climbing hoping that they don't catch me swimming dirty trying to catch me swimming dirty trying to catch me swimming trying to catch me swimming dirty i think we can probably knock oh i forgot that we can crap oh i could have won the first time i forgot for some reason i wasn't thinking that we could still swim after we cracked open so the i didn't really have to even restart that level at all wow we clipped the top of that by accident barely hello well hello everybody and then beacon of next stream hello you want to see me fly into the luggage hello like there's no luggage to fly into right here ah oh, i missed it we'll go for this one no it's hard if you like if if you start like getting unstable a little bit, you're just, you're just not gonna make it. This one, this one's a winner right here. We got this. That one's for sure a winner. No way. I can't even believe it. Oh, whoa. We missed the luggage like four times. We missed the luggage like four times. I'm never gonna make it. I'm gonna be in this little fish tank forever. All right, we can get, this is the winner right here. We got this. Oh, no. Yeah, it's cool, young minded. This is like the last fish in the game, too. So I think we're almost done with this game is pretty much all, all the way done. No way. I can't believe that. We've actually almost beat this game, which is really cool. I'm trying to stop i think the game plan is we stop okay we we deactivate our fins when we're above the luggage and it'll probably that's probably the best solution ever and i'm just not doing that i could for sure do it oh my gosh this is gonna be such a stupid solution but it's gonna work so well watch this we're gonna win it here that's all i had to do all i had to do was like just deactivate my wings and that would have solved all my problems i was trying to be like super try hard and like land in there with with the wings activated and I didn't even have to do that. I was being way too try hard with that, I feel like. This fish is on an adventure. We're in the airport luggage place. Does it matter though which door, which door we go into? I wonder. So if we go in this door right here, does that matter? <laughs> huh? 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 I thought I was doing it right. Does it matter? Does, like, does it matter which one I go into or what? I thought like I was doing everything right. Why did I die? What like what like what happened? <laughs> Toman Reigns or or Cody Toads. I was pulling for uh for uh <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny, Jordan. I was pulling for Toman Reigns. I was pulling for Toman Reigns. I wonder if it actually does matter where you go here. If this one does kill me too, then there's probably somewhere I'm, Oh, I think I see a checkpoint, don't I? Yeah. I'm, I'm supposed to fly out of here before it's too late. 
Yep. So we, when, when you get in the area, you have to, I guess, like fly out of the, the luggage. I was pulling for, uh, I was pulling for Solo Satoa. I really wanted Solo Satoa to win, but to, it, uh, we were right there. <laughs> Solo Satoa. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Even Roman Reigns real name Joe He'd just be called Toe Oh of course Ben I'm a, that, that movie's gonna be great dude I'm gonna go see that movie First weekend it comes out for sure man uh, X-Men versus er, Deadpool Wolverine I gotta make it still? Wow, I made it still. No, I didn't make it still. Bro, I was in that luggage and it just kicked me out. That was so, 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 so stupid. I'm not making that. This is tough for, for like no reason. This is a really hard level for like no reason. But I like that it's tough though. I like that it's they, they made the puzzles in this game hard. Or like kind of hard at least. I'm still gonna win this watch. Nope, I'm not. I was gonna wait for the luggage to come out and then try to land in it, but it wasn't gonna happen. Where's the luggage? Oh my god, no way. Got it. So there must we must have to fly out of this luggage once we get up there and then there's going to be some other luggage we have to fly into so it's going to be us flying in and out of luggage i just don't know exactly where, where, where that's supposed to be at but we have to go but do we have to fly into the kind of fly fly into this luggage here and then fly out of it right before it's too late oh my lord i don't know where we go guys I like legit. Maybe we have to wait till it's in the middle one. Maybe the middle one's where I'm supposed to go into, right? Have I tried all of them except for the middle one yet? We'll figure it out. At least we are going to make it this time. <laughs> Kevin Towins. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, why did that luggage actually get stuck for a sec? Did you guys see that? I gotta wait. I think I think I see where I have to go. The, that luggage is going down right there. See? I have to find a way to get over there. And can I get in that luggage right there? Is it is that possible? Come on. We, we're at, I've been out of water way too long. Come on, we got this. This is rather difficult. This is probably the hardest level I've, I've had so far. And it might just be because I'm bad at flying this plane. Or it might be because this level is just actually inherently very difficult. I believe I can fly. That was pretty good. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. Yo, do you guys know the song Airplanes Part 2? I love Eminem's line in that song. I thought I'm hearing like summer barking right now. I'm trying to think if I hear Summer barking or if I don't. I think everything's good. I thought I heard like a weird noise. Let's pretend Marshall Mathers never picked up a pen. Let's pretend things would have been no different. Pretend he procrastinated, had no motivation. Pretend he'd made excuses that were so paper thin they could blow away with the wind. 
Marshall, you're never gonna make it. Makes no sense to play the game. There's no way that you're gonna win. He made it in here. Pretend he just stayed outside all day and played with his friends. Then he even had a friend to say with his friend. It wasn't time moving schools and changing again. He wasn't socially awkward or strange as a kid. He had a father and his mother wasn't crazy as... That's where I'm supposed to go. I, I, I'm going the right way, actually. That's huge. That We have to make it into that... This is a super difficult level. I want to make sure that I'm not going to fly out of here and like just like hit my head on something. Oh man, guys, this is this is all this is all all the marbles right here. We're gonna we're going in. We're looking good. Oh, I feel so happy. I feel so vindicated. After all the struggling, it actually paid off. We made it in. Now where do we go? And we that was that was the checkpoint too. So. Who? I love Tony Khan from AW. Tony Khan's my fan. <laughs> you don't even gotta change his name. Like his name's just literally his name literally just has toe in it. Tony Khan. Where do I go from here though? I'm guessing we have to go somewhere up top, right? I'm getting better at uh, figuring out what suitcase to go in. I got to fly out of here before it's too late, though. I don't, I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, did you see the, you see the green one? The one has the green light on it. That means I'm supposed to go to that one. That one has a green light right there. The green light means go. Green means go. Let's go! Let's go! Dude, I thought for sure I was crashing! I thought for sure I was gonna crash there! Oh yeah. So we have to go into the green light. Oh my god. I was like, yeah, I'm probably gonna crash here. The way I whenever I turn like that, I never can like readjust myself. That that felt good. That one felt good. That was a hard level. Dude, this fish is going home to his friends. We're going to reunite all these fish. There we go. We did it. We're on the plane. We're in the back of a plane right now. Bro, this is such a good game. This is such a good game. Like, this is actually one of the, my, my, my favorite games I've played in a while. In terms of, like, just, like, sheer fun and, like, I know it's a little bit hard because the puzzles are kind of tricky, but it's fun. I, I messed that up. <laughs> toe way you did that? Oh yeah, toe way. Toe way. Wait, there's a, there's a checkpoint right there. How is there a checkpoint and there's there's nothing that I can go inside of? Wait, what? I was supposed to move the whole luggage. That's what I was supposed to do. I didn't understand that. I was supposed to push the whole luggage. I I was flying, but it still counts. That one didn't go so well. This game is very close to being over, guys. We're almost done playing this game. So I, I guess I wasn't like really thinking about that you could like actually push the luggage when you're in it. Because that, like, you haven't really had to do that for any level so far. This is the first level where I had to actually push the luggage around like this, so it's kind of interesting. I'm just gonna do it this way. I'm just gonna fly it. Oh, <laughs> I like doing it better where I'm like just like I like just hop out and fly, and then we get there by those means. Oh my god! It's oh, oh no! I know I can do it though. Oh man, I thought, well, I thought we could do it. It's a lot more fun than just like, like just pushing the luggage up, you know? It's a lot more fun that way. Draco, I'm so proud of you. Did you really? You know, um, like, uh, that's a really good first step. So maybe like what you should do, Draco, is like just like start working out like at home a little bit. Get like a nice base. 
learn some basic things to do and then if you ever want to go to like an actual gym and then also you'll have like a way to work out at home too you know that's awesome i'm really proud of you happy for you that's like the first step to really like starting your fitness journey is like just having i think it's nice to have like because here i have like a i have like a bench press i have like a squat rack they're not very great, but like they do the job. Like my squat rack is very, very basic. My bench press is pretty basic. I have uh, I have like some dumbbells that are adjustable and that's pretty much all I have here. And like uh, for working out at home, I have like this like 35 pound slam ball. So what I do sometimes is like, I'll like uh, do like 20 reps. So I'll, you take it above your head and you throw it down as hard as you can and you pick it back up and you throw it down as hard as you can. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll like do like five minutes on the treadmill and I'll walk uphill like I'll like walk like kind of like a speed walk up an incline then right after I do that I'll do 20 reps where I take the ball above my head and I slam it down like 20 times and then I get like maybe like a two three minute break and then I repeat it that's like one of my favorite cardio workouts that's good though I'm, I'm glad you decided to do that it's a good first step proud of you Yeah, you should do that. Like, just, like, slowly, like, go to the gym or, like, slowly, like, start working out at home. You know, get some dumbbells, get some stuff like that. And then eventually when you get, like, more equipment, you can start, you know. Or when you start, like, not equipment, when you get a better feel for how to do things and you feel like you're a little more, like, you know. It's a good confidence booster to, like, start working out at home, you know. That's really cool. Now, I think what we're supposed to do here, guys, this is going to be amazing. So I think what we're going to do here, we're going to fly out of this luggage. We're going to hit that red button and all the luggage from the plane is going to fall out. I think. And then we're probably going to, there's probably going to be a cool cutscene with us flying out from the back of the plane. That has to be what happens here. That button is going to release the back of the plane. We're all going to fly out and we're, we're going to have to land in like a, in the ocean probably. And then we're going to be reunited with our friends. That's exactly what I think is going to happen right here. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't, Draco. Dude, oh my god. I used to take pre-workout powder. I used, I used to take... Uh, I've tried like NO Explode C4. I've tried like uh, my my favorite pre-workout was Performix. But then I started like after a while, I realized that like most of the ingredients in pre-workout aren't super effective. And like the two things in pre-workout that are effective is caffeine and creatine for men, at least. Because there's other things like there's like uh, citrulline that they put in pre-workout. There's like beta alanine they put in pre-workout. There's like uh, L-carnitine they put in pre-workout. There's amino acids like... So they put like, a, there's some th good things in pre-workout that can be helpful. But I think for the most part, um, you're, I just take, a, I take a multivitamin. I drink coffee before I work out. I have a banana. I have some peanut butter. And that pretty much is like just as, and I take creatine too. So creatine and caffeine are really good for you, but you can buy pre-workout. It's just kind of expensive over time. And a lot of times, like it's not as effective as like you think it probably is in a lot of cases. Because for me, I had better results when I was just taking creatine and caffeine than I than I was with pre-workout. Like, it's not the worst, but sometimes you get really jittery, and there's like a lot of caffeine in pre-workout. I, I I think it's nice to have for the days you don't want to work out because it does really pump you up. Like pre-workout really pumps you up for working out, and it can make you have a lot of energy, which is good. But the crash is pretty bad too on it. I, I used to crash really hard when I was taking NL Explode and C4. I, I would like work out and I'd be super hype. And then the rest of the day I would crash and I'd be like, oh my God, this is rough. And not every pre-workout has a crash afterwards, but a lot of them do. I thought I hit that. Yeah, I would do research, uh, Draco. If you want, if you want me to recommend you, I I think I've tried like probably like seven or eight different pre workouts throughout my time working out. Performix Ion was my my favorite one. 
they have like these uh these like these coated beads that like slow dissolve in your stomach so it kind of tapers off the crash a little bit and it kind of gives you like a nice clean burn off with the energy and i, n I never crashed with that pre-workout and it tasted really good so i would recommend performix if i was recommending you anything it's a little bit expensive though but i would recommend that if i could say if i was gonna recommend anything i'd recommend that one how am i not hitting that button i'm like coming so close to hitting it but i'm Bro, Jordan, creatine is is like really good. If you're working out with creatine, there's a it's a big difference. It makes you gain a lot of weight though. Like I gained so much weight taking creatine because my body's holding so much more water. The water the water retention is really crazy on creatine. I can move this luggage closer, can I? Should I do that? Got it. No freaking way. But wait, how do I, how do I, um... Wait, maybe I'm supposed to, oh, maybe I'm supposed to, I think I have to move this. I have to move this, because if I don't do this, if I don't move it, then, um... So we got to move this right next to the button, right? Because then we have to, like, we have to, like, find, okay. So I think I have to actually have the luggage right next to this. This is tricky as heck. Yeah, because when I don't take creatine, I feel like I, I... There we go. That's perfect. Got it. That's what I was supposed to do the whole time. This is so cool, man. What, am I, what happens, though? What am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I can just fly out, can't I? I'm a free fish. No way, dude. No, there's the ocean right there. I'm gonna die though, aren't I? I'm actually gonna die. What'd I do wrong? I guess the luggage also falls out, so maybe I'm supposed to like, just like, what'd I do wrong there? I can't for the life of me figure out how that wasn't successful. I like the music. Th the music there was really good. That was great music. <laughs> I, I just, I just still died. I would be. I can definitely help you, Draco, in some ways, like with working out and stuff. I can definitely help you. Give you some advice and everything, at least. Just be careful what you buy for supplements, because obviously, like. The companies that want to sell you supplements will tell you anything that will get you to buy them. So be very skeptical when you're buying supplements. That's what I'm going to say. But I can tell you that creatine, caffeine, like a coffee and creatine is great. Or like a, like a multivitamin, B vitamins are great. But there's some pre-workouts that are really, really good that I would recommend. But a lot of, a lot of pre-workouts, like they just want you to buy them. So they'll, they'll like tell you anything they... they like, oh, this will help you burn so much fat. This will help you burn so many calories. This will help you, you know, become a lot stronger and build more muscle and everything. And then, like, and a lot of times that can be true, but, like, they definitely over-exaggerate. Where am I supposed to go? I don't see any water here. Am I supposed to wait until the plane? Oh, you're supposed to wait till the plane is over the water. I didn't know that it would actually, like, I thought, like, it. okay, you're supposed to wait till the plane's over the water. That, that makes a lot of sense. Got you. I think, I think it, you can wait till it's over the water, which would help. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm supposed to do, for sure, Draco. 100%. 100%. I wasn't even, I wasn't even realizing that. That's a, 100. 100. 150 and more to see to be a fish trainer is my destiny and also here's my here's my advice too uh draco if you go into a supplement store 
Like, let's say you go into, like, GNC or, like, a vitamin shop. The people working there are, like, they're, like, told by the company to pretty much tell you things that are not always 100% accurate. Like, they'll, like, they'll kind of exaggerate and upsell stuff. Like, I would look online and look up, like, actual, like, good reviews for stuff and not listen. Don't listen to the people at GNC because they will upsell you to hell. Like, they'll, like, and, like, a lot of stuff there is really expensive. So I would find stuff online to buy, too. GNC is really expensive. And so is, like, other supplement stores. So be very weary of where, like, where you're getting your advice from. Because when I was, like, 20 and, like, naive, I would go to GNC and listen to what the guy told me. And a lot of times the guy doesn't even know what he's talking about, you know? They, they're, like, they're told by the company what to do and how to sell things and everything. So I would listen to people that actually do work out and, like, see what they use and what works for them and stuff. And that's, that's probably, like, the best advice I can give you, too. I, uh, I'd imagine we're supposed to wait till we're over the water. That's exactly. That's probably the best. No, no, don't, 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 don't. There it is. There it is. There it is. <gasps> it's the, the the door shutting. No! 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 <laughs> I didn't know the freaking door shuts. I didn't know the door shuts. <laughs> I I like I like heard something. I'm like, wow, that sounds like a door shutting, but there's no way the door's shutting, right? And I look and it's shutting. So I gotta wait, I gotta wait, you gotta wait till the actually perfect moment when like because once you hit the ocean, the door starts shutting, and then that's when you jump. So I'm gonna wait for the, the door shutting is gonna be my cue. That was hilarious. I was like, wow, that sounds like a door shutting. There's no way the door's actually shutting. Oh, it is shutting. It for sure is shutting. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna, we're going to push it over this way. That was such a close moment of us almost being successful and it just, it just got ruined. This is really challenging. This game, this game in general, like the reviews, there's a lot of people that complain about the puzzles being really hard, and that's why the game kind of got bad reviews when it did get bad reviews. But I like how hard they are because it makes the game super challenging, but not in a bad way. Like when you fail and you keep, when you die, it's kind of funny though. Got it. Okay. When the door starts shutting, that means we have to jump. That's our cue. I, well, yeah, when I, when we're like above the ocean, I'm just gonna hop out. That's that's the plan. I was gonna get a drink. So the, the oh, there's the okay, the door shutting. The door shutting. There we go. Is that water right there? That's gotta be the water right there, right? No, the water's down there. The water's down there. I'm not gonna make you guys. Oh, I, I did it. Oh yeah, baby! I didn't even I didn't even know there was water. Dude, every time today, I can't get over like one or two stars per level. One or two stars per level. It took me 139 respawns to beat that level. So 139 times I had to like restart the level. Now I think that's the last level. It is. Ah. Oh, it's really wholesome, man. Is there, there's one more level? Wait, 
The finale? That wasn't the last level! There's still one more! There's still one more level! Oh, it's so cool! There's one more level! They're all together, so this, this is the finale right here. This is the finale. I wasn't sure if that was the last level or not, but it's so cool they're all back together. That's so cool they're all back together again. That level slapped my... That level slapped my butt. No, like, you can go to... Uh, Drake, you, you can go to GNC, but what I would do if you go there, one, first thing, take what the guy says very lightly. Second of all, price match anything they sell you in that store online. Like, if you can find it cheaper online, get it, get it online. Because I, I just had some good and bad experiences with GNC overall. So you can... There, there, there's... They just overprice their stuff a lot, in my opinion. And you can find better deals online. You can like go in there and see what they what they have, and they have, they have some good sales sometimes though. I would buy things on sale there because their sales are pretty good, but their regular prices are really bad. And a lot of like they have, okay, I think they have like a like a membership, and I don't know, like they they kind of like try to upsell that and stuff like that, which is like good or bad. I think there's some good value there. But I would just be careful. I haven't been to GNC in like five years, so maybe it's gotten better. Maybe it's gotten worse. I don't really know. <laughs> we have one more level. Because before before we start this level, I'm gonna go get a, a, a bottle of water, a bottle of water, and then we'll start the level. Okay. And we're gonna finish this game today. We're gonna see the finale. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. And then we're gonna see how this game ends. But uh, Remy, Big Hammerbacks, Little Draco, Snowstorm, DJ Buttersnaps, Ben Solo, Earthling, uh, Genki Colleen, uh, everyone that's here right now, I love you so much for being here. I'm gonna get a bottle of water, a bottle of water, a bottle of water. I'm gonna get a bottle, a bottle of water. Ava, do you have like a British accent for real? You have like a like a pretty intense British accent. You say bottle of water. You say Momsy Popsy. Momsy Popsy. They, they ask you what you're doing. You say Momsy Popsy. I'm playing Pokemon with my bottle of water. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm not. laughs> they, they ask you what you're doing for the weekend. You say Momsy Popsy. I'm playing Pokemon with my bottle of water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Ava. I am British and I pronounce my T's. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you 100% positive? No, I, I literally love British accents. I think they sound so nice. Like, it, it might sound weird, but like, if I was watching a streamer and one had a British accent and one didn't, I would pick the British accent. Just because I feel like you guys sound so fancy and proper and you guys like, uh, I don't know. I like British accents. They sound very cool. Bottle of water. I please have a. I please have a bottle of water with my Pokemon, Mumsy and Popsy. Mumsy Popsy. Mumsy Popsy. Have I watched Game of Thrones? Not the whole thing. I've seen the first season and the last season. I saw like one episode from like season three, I think. That's all I've seen. Blim, blimey. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, bloody hell. Oh my god. Feeling mighty knackered. 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 Oi, oi. Bloody hell, mate. Papoose. All right, I'll be right back.
Why is Toe Bread in my chat right now? I, uh... You ever have, like, a water bottle? Well, you ever have a bottle of water? And they fill it a little bit too high? Like, sometimes, like, some some water bottles, if you buy them at Meijer, they're, like, overfilled. I wasn't ready for it, and I spilled it all over my shirt. So that giant wet spot right there, I went to, like, drink the water bottle. It literally spilled all over my shirt. The bottle of water... Just went all over me. Quick little bottle of water on my shirt. On my shirt. Little bottle of water. Remy the doggo, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of my channel and gifting a membership and being awesome. Thank you from the bottom as part of my heart, like the very bottom of my heart. I really appreciate that. And look at Earthling scooping up that membership. Would you guys drop some big hearts in chat for Remy? Remy, you're the best. Like, the best. Here, before I forget, I gotta do this too. Remy, thank you very much for being the best. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> thank you so much, Remy. You're so awesome. I really appreciate you. That bottle of water has made you look like a plonker. I am a plonker. That bottle of water makes you look like a plonker. Honka, honka, tonka, tonka. Little bottle of water. One more time, Remy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we go. The last level is in an aquarium. And I wonder if we're able to like, uh, if we're able to like, maybe we can play as all four of the characters. So yeah, I'm assuming this has to be how it is. We play as all four of the fish. We probably have to make them escape all separately. And then they're gonna meet up in one final area. And then we're gonna all escape together. And then we'll go back to the ocean, I'm assuming. Hopefully, we'll see what happens here. Tony, I love you. I'm so grateful. If anyone's getting a membership, you deserve one. Not plonker, plonka. You, you're a, someone, you're a plonka for stealing my bottle of water. Plonka. How do you say plonka with the British accent? Plonka. Bottle of water, you plonka. You're a big old fat plonka, you bottle of water. You, you big fat plonka, bottle of water. To the mighty knockered. Bottle of water, Plunka. That's the guy that's been following us this whole game. He's been following us pretty much the whole time. Wasn't he the original guy that we... This is so sad that we're back in this aquarium again. Like, I feel like we made no progress because now we're stuck in the... Ooh, look at that. That's got to be where we get where we leave out of. Hey, Wyvern, what's happening? <laughs> what's up, Wyvern? We gotta escape through there, right? Huh? How do we escape? It's gotta be through there. Like, why? It is. It is. Wow. I, I didn't even... I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. Wow. I was thinking, I'm like, I don't know if that's going to be capable. Wait, I think it is the mop bucket guy. It wasn't that the guy that said, oh, my stomach, I got to find the toilet. That was the guy that had to use the bathroom. He had to, he had to throw up, right? That was for sure the throw up guy, wasn't it? I don't even think I'm, I'm oh, we have to find the right way out of here, don't we? Is that an eyeball? That's not an eyeball. It looked creepy, though. So I'm guessing we have to swim through the drains until we find all, all of our friends. Am I even in the right place right now? Well, hello. Hello. I got to have, a, I gotta have a, a different voice for him. Well, hello there. 
My name is George the Goldfish. I'm getting the hell out of this place. My name's George the Goldfish, and my god, this place sucks. I'm going the right way, thankfully. I'm not even sure if I can jump that with this character, with this guy. Who? Let's freaking go! That was awesome! Hello. Hello. <laughs> that was not the voice I expected. Jordan. I'd love to sell you a life insurance package. Meet me in my office later today. We'll talk. Shoot. Oh my god. I would have gone with Carl from Jimmy Neutron. Oh man. This is a really, really, really bad place to be. Oh man. I'm looking really orange today. Ah, oh, I came in. How do I get out of this stupid thing? <laughs> if you think I'm going to make toe bread for hitting 30,000 subs, you're crazy. I'm not doing that for 30,000 subs. I'm not even... I'm rather... Man, getting in that other tank from here is almost impossible, it feels like. Is that really the way out? How would I do that? Is that really what I'm supposed to do? Is like... Is that possible? This feels actually impossible. Like, like, wait, what if I do this? What if I just like, uh... Wow, this, this actually feels impossible. Got it. Okay, it was for sure not impossible. <laughs> I was just not doing it right. How did I miss the bowl? Like, there's no way. I'm oh, there we go. Oh, those are random fish, aren't they? I don't want to knock him off the counter, but this guy, I can't. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to kill this guy. <laughs> I, 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 I think I physically have to kill this one to actually make it through the level. This is so morbid. I, don't, I can't make it across the counter unless I kill him. Oh, dude, I feel so bad. Oh, my God. I feel so horrible. Oh my gosh. I just had to kill that fish to have a chance to survive. I'm not sure how else to, uh, I, like there's just no other way. I don't know what else I could have done. Cause like to get around these fish, it feels like I have to hit them. Like, I guess I could have, I guess maybe I could have had, maybe the one could have survived. I don't know. <laughs> Murder. Maybe, the, maybe that one could have survived. Maybe that was possible. I'm not sure. That was karma. That was karma. Okay, we can get around this fish. <laughs> Rough. Rough. Steph, I can't believe you're awake right now. <laughs> Steph, <laughs> I'm glad to see you though. This is the final level of the game, Steph. We're almost done. Whoa. I'm not supposed to like be able to fall on the ground and survive. And unless this is like maybe this is like a different way to, to to win. I don't think I was I was supposed to be able to do that. I mean they, they did say there's like multiple ways to win levels, so maybe maybe that was actually Oh no. There's my friends. Wait, are those, are those the other my the, the other fish? No, they're not. No, they're not. I didn't think that was supposed to be like even possible. I gotta restart anyways. Let's just restart. I guess we'll never know. Yeah, this is the final level stuff. There was a really cute cutscene after the last um, part that you probably would have liked. There was a really cute, really, really cute cutscene that uh, I played. Wow. 
getting across that is going to be really tough. We, we got stuck on some level tonight stuff for a while, like a, like, a, like a good while. We just have to hug that wall so hard. That's really, really tough. Can I save the other fish? Yeah, let me go save him. He's already, he's already gone. <laughs> no, it's too late. I can knock this one over, though. Should I knock him over? I shouldn't do it. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, no. I actually didn't mean to, like, fully knock him over. I, it's just the momentum. Well, honestly, he's better off. He's he's better off dead than trapped in this really awful aquarium. I'll tell I'll t tell you that much. Okay, he's back. I didn't kill him. Now I saved him. With the way this aquarium treats their fish, I think he's better off dead than being here. I'll be honest. How do you even get across this one? Like I can't. I can't, I like I like physically can't get. Oh, I think we we're okay. We got it. 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 Oh my goodness. Look at what we have to do here. Don't be a serial fish killer. Okay. Stop. 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 Please stop. Please stop. That was, okay, that was a checkpoint. So even if we if we die here, we can at least start back there. Is there water in that? In that? There's a drain right there. Look, I want to see what happens if we go down the drain. This is not what I'm supposed to do, I don't think, but can I make it in the drain? Come on, go go in the drain, but oh, is it, it's, it's plugged. Oh, 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 poor guy. Oh my God, poor fish. We can start back up here at least. I didn't realize it was a plug. I, I, I thought there was like, a, uh, it was like an opening, but it was like not open. <laughs> we can fall in that though. I wonder what happens if we go in here instead. Oh, the, the checkpoint's right in there, actually. But do we go for that checkpoint, or do I, do I go this way towards like their desks? No, 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 no! Please. I want to see what's over here. There's like, there's like, there's like stuff on their desk. I want to explore this area. There's like a commu computer monitor here. There's a. Uh... There's a printer, there's a key, some keyboards, there's some papers on the desk. There's another fish right here. But what's the point of going over here? What is the point? I can go off that chair. I'm going to go back where I came from, I think. Let's go back this way. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to drop in, into oh please I'm supposed to drop into that tank right there These turns are so nerve-wracking because like the the moment oh no no oh no Okay, at least I start back here. This is not a huge problem Did you Ava I lost a couple goldfish when I was younger I had a couple goldfish in one of my aquariums and they They didn't pass away they didn't pass away like Obviously right away, but they did they did, they all kind of passed away over time. Yeah It sucks to lose fish. I get attached to fish too Come on, buddy hop into the hop in there. Come on. You got this good boy. Oh That's my friend He's in this tank. Oh My god, and we can switch which one we're gonna use so now that when you find them you can switch between them now So we're trying to find everyone that's trapped here so the, with the right stick, we can be, we can become this guy, and with the. But how do we escape this thing now? What do we do? Oh, we can roll. That's what we can do. We can roll. That is so cool. This is such a cool level to like wrap this game up. Am I supposed to go down here? Wow, this is a really cool game, man. <laughs> if you become like the big guy in the pipe, he just takes the whole pipe up. 
I guess not really. I guess there's still a lot of room, but it looks like he does. Come on, we got this, buddy. We got this. Are we stuck? And then I guess the other the other guy can just stay in that tank for for now. So wait, can can this guy lift this up by swimming upwards? Oh, so he can he can lift that. Oh, so what we have to do we have to lift this up probably right. Then we swap to this fish. Oh no, I was supposed to. I gotta I gotta respawn myself. I'm uh, so we, there's a way to keep these guys together. So what we have to do is we we okay. I'm I see where I messed it up now. We we have to swim up here. And then we have to open the, the door for the other guy. So then the, the goldfish can be with us. That's what I, what I was supposed to do. And then he can. Oh, I, I restarted the level by accident. I pressed the wrong button. That fish looks very dead up there, though. There's nothing in that guy's eyes. That fish looks hella dead. I would love a sequel to this game. This game needs a sequel already, and I, I'm not even done playing it yet. I Am Fish 2. I'll, I, if they announce an I Am Fish 2, I will play that game. Oh, it's going to be closing. Okay, now we switch back to this fish. So this way we all stay together. The goldfish and me have to stay. We have to make sure we're, we're together. That's how we do it. It's so cool. Yeah, I forgot my friend, actually, Becca. You should have saw it, Steph. There's a fish that can actually fly. So when you jump out of the water, you press a button and his wings come out, like his, his like fins come out and he flies. So all four of us got kidnapped and we're, um, we all made it back to the ocean separately and then we all, we got, we got captured again. So we're all in the same aquarium now. So we, we're trying to all find each other and escape. This game is like, honestly, one of the cutest games I played in a long time. It's like playing a Finding Nemo movie. Okay, so we open this up. Look at how big this aquarium is. It's that same guy. That's the same guy from before. What is his deal? What is that guy's problem? I don't know what his deal is, but he's, we got to figure out what his deal is. There's a vent right here. It's it's really hard though cuz a lot of the a lot of these rooms they're like mini escape rooms. Like you have to figure out what to do in these rooms to actually to win. It's not always easy. There's a lot of it takes a lot of like trial and error to figure out. It's got something it has to do something with this tank right here, right? There's a vent right here. Like how do, how do we access it? What do we do? There's something that filter has to be for something, you know. What is that filter for? Do I switch back to the other fish? Maybe can I swim upwards and maybe can we swim through it? I just reset my progress. I didn't. So when you press the Y button, it actually makes you. Oh, it's so that's so sad. I'm so sorry, guys. The Y button makes you go back and uh, restart your your uh it's so hard to not press the y button sometimes but you go back to your previous checkpoint that's all right we'll get we'll, we'll get back there fast it's really crazy because i wasn't doing that until recently and now i feel like i'm doing it all the time by accident there we go that's unfortunate <laughs> my bad Luckily, I wasn't. Well, and the good thing is, like, there's a lot of checkpoints throughout the game. So if you, if you like, do that by accident, you're gonna find a new checkpoint really, really quick. There's like a ton of checkpoints throughout the game, which is nice. So you don't really have to worry about making up progress too much, because like, I'm sure I'll find another checkpoint like in the same room. 
Okay, we lifted this up. That side's already lifted up automatically, right? No, that's, that's glass right there. This filter for sure is what I have to work with. There's something to, with this filter that I have to do. But what do I do with it? No, I pressed the, oh my God, no, no. Oh my Lord, I'm, gonna, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. You know you know why I'm pressing the Y button? Because you see on, 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 on the D-pad, the Y button is the same button as the top button. So when, when I when I want to transfer to the fish, I, I keep wanting to press the top button on, I died. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, dude. I wasn't doing that all stream and all of a sudden now I'm doing it every. See, like it's it's like top on the D-pad right now. So the Y button's the top on like the right side. So I just, it just seems like that's what I should be pressing, but. <laughs> that's so stupid, man. Oh, it's so stupid. Let's swim back to the first area. Come on, buddy. Let's swim back to where we were. Ba -da 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 -da. I think you really like this game, Steph. If you played it, I think you'd really like playing this. It seems like a game you'd really enjoy. Okay, that's already open. Oop, I closed it. I opened it again. I closed it again. It won't even stay open though. Wait, what? I thought I opened it. Why is it not staying open now? Now I switch back. I'm not pressing the Y button ever again. So wait, why was that stuck open before? Is there a way to make it uh, stay open? Wait, did you guys see the last time it was like, it was, I felt like it was, uh, now I can't keep, now it won't stay open. Isn't that weird? And now do I, do I switch to my friend here and maybe, Maybe that means that this fish has to figure out what to do in this room. Isn't that weird? I don't know what we have to do here. Yeah, that's not staying open all of a sudden now, which is very strange. Because it was staying open before. Can I press the button? Is there a button here I can press? No. Remember, the, the, we, we came in here last time, and it was, like, open. Yeah, I think you'd like this game a lot, Steph. If, if you saw some of the levels, you'd really, really like this game. Like, you haven't seen any of the cool levels. Like, the nightclub level is really, really cute. I think you'd really like it. And it's funny because, like, you're, like, when you're playing through it, like, sometimes, like, the game, like, it's, like, really goofy, and, like, it's very, it's very funny to play. Where do I go from here? There's something, there's gotta be like an opening or something we're supposed to find or something, right? Or maybe I'm just wrong. Hey, Paul, thank you for the $5, dude. I appreciate the hell out of you, man. Paul, what is happening, my dude? What the hell is going on, Paul? Thank you very much. If you guys wanna put a big fat heart in chat for Paul for me, I... I... Paul, thank you so much, dude, you're the GOAT. You're for real the goat, Paul. Like, actually, you're the goat among goats. So what, what's cool about this game? So, like, I'll, I'll kind of play it out for you quick. When the screen starts going black, that means you're about to die. And it'll go, like, I'll, I'll kind of show you really fast. It'll start going black here really, I think it'll go black, right? Yeah, it's going black right now. If you make it back in the water in time, it'll come back to full color again. And it'll stay black for a good maybe two seconds. So the, the suspense sometimes of like you making it back in the water is really fun. Cause like the, the screen's going black and you're like rushing to get back in the water and sometimes you don't make it and sometimes you do make it. But when you when you do make it, it's like if you feel so accomplished. You're like, yes, I didn't die. And then you just can it's so it's so rewarding. I I that feature is one of my favorite features about the game overall. 
I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do in this. Like this room, is there something above the water that I'm missing too? It's just, it's just that, right? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I like have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Like I thought maybe I'm supposed to get one, like some of the fish stuck in the filter or something. But that doesn't see that does not seem very likely to me right now. What am I supposed to do here? The the fish is really cute at least though. He's very cute. But see, the problem is, the problem is, yeah, that's the guy that threw me, yeah, this is the guy that, he's doing everything in this game. I don't understand what he's supposed to be doing. Dude, Paul, you're the GOAT, brother. You are the GOAT, brother. Thank you for the super chat, my man. I don't, I, but uh, part of me feels like, thank you so much, Paul. I, I appreciate the hell out of you, man. Now, this fish is now trapped in here, though. Like, he can't, like, he can't do anything. He's, like, he has, to, his only job now is to keep that open. Because remember the last time we came in here and the game was glitched? The the door was already open, but that should not be the case. That door should always be shut. So this guy's main job right now is to keep this open. So I don't know what I can do. I just think this vent has to be something, right? Am I supposed to come back in here once I... Once we have different fish or something. Can I like talk to the other fish and tell them to help me? <laughs> wait, is, is that an el wait? Did I just see an algae eater in this tank? Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you guys see that? Or that was just that fish, wasn't it? I thought I just saw a big fat algae eater in this tank. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. Is, the, is it? Maybe not. I think I think I'm wrong. Why? Why did that one fish just seem so big? Yeah, I'm like out of things. I'm like out of things to try. I don't know what to do. Yeah, you're kind of right. The rock here does look kind of suspicious, doesn't it? Oh my god, that is a great point. I didn't notice there's a rock there like that. Do you think the rock could get... Oh my god, that is so smart. What I'm supposed to do probably is maybe... Dude, if this is the, if this is the solution and we have to push the rock in front of the... There's no way, right? You push the rock in, 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 into the vent and then it sucks it up and breaks it. That's exactly what we're supposed to do here probably. Or is that supposed to wedge the door open? Maybe not. That's, that's probably just supposed to wedge the door open, right? That's That seems more likely. We wedge the door open with this. Is that going to work? Yeah, that'll work. And now, we, and now we switch back to our friend. And then he can now... Okay, so that was that's to wedge the door open. That makes a lot of sense. But then... I, what I'm assuming we have to do here is we just puff up then that's how you do it that that was my that was my plan from the start I was like all we got to do is puff up and then I'm sure it's gonna it's gonna break open the vent but I didn't know how to get the puffer fish back in here that's exactly what I thought we were supposed to do huge now we keep swimming let's go I didn't know how we're supposed to keep the vent open or keep the door open that makes a lot more sense we are the fish that could now, I'm guessing our other fish friend's gonna be in here. Oh, yes, guys, it's the piranha! It's the piranha! Yo! Oh my god! It's a reunion! All three of us are back, baby! <laughs> hey, Paul, I love ya. Paul, you're the goat. I love ya. I appreciate ya. God damn, Paul is the goat. Dude, we found our third friend. We're almost all back reunited. We're just, why is the piranha kind of freaking out though? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna imagine that 
the piranha is going to help us get through here, right? So we use the puffer fish to pull the door open. Then the piranha can shoot. Yep, the piranha can shoot through the vent here, right? That is so cool. And then, oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. <laughs> okay, we gotta make sure he's not the the vent door is not on top of him. And then, can we use the can we use this to wedge the door open? Then, then we use the door that we just opened. Now we use this to wedge the. That's gotta be what we do, right? We just we push this in the door and then it wedges it open. Why is it so hard to push this though? It's crazy. There might have been a, there could have been a different rock, but I, I don't think there was. We got this. Thank you so much, Paul. I appreciate you so much, dude. And now we go back to the puffer fish. And we de-inflate him. And then now he can swim right into the tank. That's exactly what we're supposed to do. That's exactly what we do. And now we can keep on swimming. So the, the last fish is going to be probably in this in this tunnel. We got this. Ah, that's awesome, Steph. You dreamt you were eating pancakes. <laughs> so thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming back and I think you can probably see now why this game is so good. You you would really like this game, Steph, if you played it. You would really like this game. I just I literally know you would. You have so much fun playing through this game. Look at how cute the fish are. Like you can't tell me that like they're so cute. And they all like serve different purposes and stuff. Go finish your pancake, Steph. Are you feel are you feeling better too, by the way? Oh, this is, we're stuck in here. Wait, 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 wait. We can't. Wait, wait, wait. We're stuck in here. We're stuck. Is there a way out of the... Is, can we get out of... Oh, we can, we can... The top can open. The top can open, but that, what? how is that going to help us? Then we have to use... We got to use my good friend, Bottle of Water. There it is. We can... We can now, now it's popped open. Oh my god, that was difficult. That was actually really difficult to like... Well, if they follow me, if these guys follow me, then they're going to probably die. You don't feel better, Steph? Steph, go get sleep. You don't feel better for real? Honestly, no. Wait, how did that... That didn't even help me at all. That did not even help me a little bit, did it? Oh, I see now. No, I see. I see now. There's a there's a mop bucket over there. I see now. There's a mop bucket. Okay, I fell on the floor. No, I just reset the progress a little bit. It's okay. It sucks. That the, like ah, I didn't mean to press the Y button like that, but it is what it is. We're we're gonna die anyways. There, so it's fine. Paul, thanks again for being awesome, dude. You're the goat. You're like the goat for real, Paul. I appreciate you so much, dude. Oh, and instead of pushing it, we can just drag it. That, that's so much easier. Do you still have a fever right now, Steph? Do you have like an actual fever? Okay, I think we can we can all swim inside here now again, right? Follow me. Follow me, everything is all right. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you want to swim through the tunnel, yeah, yeah. You won't find nobody else like this puffer fish. It's, an, it's kind of annoying because the, the other fish get in your way a little bit, which I don't like that very much. But I think we, what we're supposed to do is roll this guy all the way to the sink over here, right? Checkpoint. 
Wait, yeah. Then we come out of the water here and we puff up. And then we 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 have to fall into the ooh, we have to fall right in this mop bucket here. Got it. Got it. So now we can bring our fish friends with us, right? So now our, we can drag this over here, and then I think they can probably hop in here too. And now we can all be mobile together. So I can switch to I can switch to this guy. I'll switch the piranha and we can open up the vent here, right? Help! And I think we can just like hop out into the bucket if we get lucky. And the goldfish is just pinned under here, which is not great. It's annoying when they get like stuck like that. It's kind of it's kind of annoying. Okay, we get, now he's free. So we have to we have to hop out of here and just land in the bucket. We have to get lucky. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> and now we now just now one more, one more. Let's go. No! No! Get in the bucket! Get in the bucket! No! Oh my god. It's too late. He's dead. He's blacking out. All it takes is one fish to like... It just takes one fish. It takes one fish. We were right there too. We, we like had it in the bag. It's tough, man. Let's wheel this thing back over. It's not over. It is not over. Get in this bottle of water. Get in this little ves vessel of water. If I, if I put it long ways like this, I think we have a better chance of them actually popping in here. You and your little bottle of water. No, this he he's gotta stop following me in there. Like this thing, it, it's just like okay. Well, let's just swim back this way. Come on, follow me. Follow me, little fish buddy. Okay, I'm going to jump first, and then you follow me. You understand? Uh huh. We got one in. Two in. <sighs> okay. We gotta find a checkpoint. I need any kind of checkpoint right now because I don't want to have to do that all over again. Like, I, I'll, I would literally take any checkpoint that I can find. <laughs> the, only, the only problem is, here's the problem. I know for a fact we gotta use the piranha, I think, to, to move that valve. And then maybe that'll flood the place. That's what I'm thinking. I think we have to, we have to use this here. That makes a lot of sense. But I gotta position this right below I think the prana can probably, I don't know though. You think the prana can bite that and like. Yep, oh my God, I was right. I was freaking right. I was really, oh my God. I didn't know for sure. Oh my God, we did it. We figured it out, well, kind of. Now the place floods. I, I was like, not sure. That was so cool. That was such a dope way to do that. Oh, and there's actually more valves. We have to flood this whole place. We got to flood this whole place. So cool, man. How, how are we going to reach that? We just got to we just got to go right below it. Got it. I'm getting like stuck underneath, but uh, that's the one problem with this character. Like you, like you, like break something off and you get stuck in it. There we go. I gotta get my, I gotta get my friends out of here too. They're they're kind of stuck here under there. And then we're gonna switch to the goldfish, get them all out of the, out of there. 
This is really awesome. This is actually really awesome. There's gotta be one more valve though, right? Maybe the maybe where you wash your hands. Can we can we like just rip off the sink too? I mean, what else could I do? It's gotta be the sink, right? No, is it not? Is not the sink? What is it? Because we can't reach where I'm trying to go right now. Dream destinations for like vacation, New Zealand. All right, from from most from where I want to visit most to least. New Zealand number one. Japan number two. Paris number three. Costa Rica number four. And then Brazil number five. That's that's my top six. My top five. Top six. <laughs> that's where I'd pick. I think that's what I'd pick. If I had to pick my top five travel destinations. I'm not sure where I'd want to go inside those places. Those are like kind of kind of it's kind of generic, I know, but generally that's what I'd pick if I had to pick. No, I think I'm, I, I'm like still stuck a little bit. I don't know what to do from here. What about you, Rebecca? What would you pick? What would you choose right now if you had to pick? I don't know. Canada is cool, but like I wouldn't. It's not like one of my favorite places I want to go. It just if Canada feels like Michigan, but like just more hockey and maple syrup. I don't think so, Colleen. I think that thing is like maybe like stuck under here. I was thinking that too, like the my little vehicle I had, like the mop bucket. I wonder if I could actually make, like, traverse. We can try to push that up there. I don't think so, though. We can try it. You might be right, Calvin. You might be right. I think being in Michigan is basically the same thing as Canada, but, like, we're basically the United States version of Canada. No, I we can't go up there for some reason, Colleen. Well, I maybe it will let me. What if we all push together? Maybe it'll work. I'm, I, it's worth trying, at least. Oh, you know what? You know what? I probably have to, you know what? You know what? I can roll up there. Is there a, is there a way that I'm supposed to roll up here with this character? Can I can I come this way and then roll? This might be the solution here. Hold up. Maybe not. I don't think maybe it's not the solution. I don't know. I just don't know what's up here that I could maybe no, I think I think not. Is there a way that I could shoot up with this thing? I thought maybe it would like shoot me up. I think there's gotta be one more valve I gotta break or something. There's gotta be there's gotta be something else I gotta break. To raise the water level a little bit, I think. We can we can try to go back in this thing though. Let's let's try to get everyone back in here. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. And if we all push together and we all roll up together, it might work. Oh, what? You guys see that? The thing fell in here. The, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The, the handle fell in there from the, from the one thing. Oh, I think I figured out what to do. There's, uh, this looks interesting. Why, are, why is that even there? What does that even do? What does it even do? What's the point of those? Does that open? That probably opens the door, doesn't it? That probably opens one of the doors over there. Aha. There's something here, probably. There's something here. Can I open this? Oh, I can't open that right now. I can't open that yet. What 
What about the what about the cabinets here? What about this pipe right here? I can't help but think there's one more thing I have to open with this fish. I can't help but think there's one more like And it's not the sink. Unless, what if I could, is there a way to get in that pool up here? There's nothing in there, right? Because the water level is a lot higher. There's got to be for something, right? I just don't know what that could be for. I guess I'm going to, I'm going to take this opportunity to roll up here one more time with this guy. We'll see if I can find anything up here. Let's go. Uh, that, that can't be the solution. He can barely make it up here, like, let alone, like, do anything up here, you know? There's pipes here, though. Like, I, I feel like there's a way to shoot up with one of these pipes. Where does this pipe start at? Down here. Hmm. And it's for sure not the sink, I don't think. Wait, does that open one of the pipes? Hold up. What if that opens? Oh my god, that opens. Okay, that, that does. Okay, those open something. That's what it does. You open. I didn't even realize that. We're opening. We're opening a valve. That's what we're doing. We're opening like a. a did we get that? That's what we do. That's what that's what those doors are for. They're they're like little doors. So you have to you have to you have to open those up and then turn the switches. And then I'm assuming. Ooh, I don't know if we should both go down here or just one of us. Where does this go? I'm afraid this is gonna go somewhere we don't want to be. Maybe it, maybe maybe we'll go somewhere we have to be. I don't know. I'm a, this might take us to another tank. No, this is this is the tank up here. Okay, this is the tank. This, now now we have a checkpoint. Where does this go now? Okay. Can we? How do we get this guy up there then? How do we get this guy up here then? He's he's gonna be, he's gonna be stuck down here for now. <laughs> wait, what what do you wait what what are your what are your places you want to go to? Hold up. New Zealand is my my top as well, but I'm scared of the spiders. Are there spiders in New Zealand, Rebecca? Then I want to visit the U.S. and maybe the Maldives. The Maldives. I honestly know nothing about the Maldives except for like in one of the TV shows there was like a meme about them, Rebecca. The Maldives? The Maldives? I don't know. The US is really nice depending where you go. My left my, my eye is itching. I'd say the US is definitely worth visiting for sure, but like depending where you go is like the most important thing, you know? Oh the right one. Wait, wasn't I just open a second ago? This was open a second ago, right? This thing. So maybe that's what he that's what the other one's for, too. I think this one also opens the other valve, doesn't it? Or was that not open a second ago? No, that was never open, apparently. What? I guess the, the top part is. The top part's open. Nice. Do we have to bite those? What is this thing right here? What 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 the hell is this? Oh, that raises the water level, doesn't it? Is that what it does? So, wait, huh? Does that mean we have to keep the piranha back? Do we have to... Maybe we, maybe the piranha stays back as well, huh? But he, he can't stay back. He can't stay back. Oh. I know, I know, I know how to beat it. This is going to take a... This is going to take a... Uh, maybe I know how to beat it. I don't know if I do for sure. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I don't want to say I do until I feel like I do, but I think I know exactly, guys, what I got to do here. 
We have to lower the water level, right? I think we came in through this pipe right here, right? Guys, I have a crazy idea. You wanna hear this crazy idea I have? I have a freaking crazy idea here. Like an actually crazy idea. I think we have to close the piranha inside that area. Like we have to let it... I don't know what else to do. I think that might be this, one of the solutions. Wait, this is a brand new room, isn't it? No, this is, a, this is a brand new room. No, it's not. Now we have to... I don't know what to do here, but now I think we... This this takes a little bit of a little bit of brain in. But I think what we have to do is we swim out we swim out of here now, right? Can we trap the piranha? Can we trap the piranha in this room here? So we can turn that switch on and off that controls the water level up there, right? I'm just gonna try this and see what happens. Let's leave the piranha in here. And the goldfish stays out, right? Can we do, uh, maybe we can't do that. I don't know if that's even a solution. Because they, they want to follow each other all the time. No, no, no. You stay in. How, how would we have him stay in there? Can we just have him, like, chomp that? There we go. Then we then we close that, right? So now he's not following me anymore. This probably is not what you do. This is probably not the solution at all, but I've, I don't know. Then we leave him to do that, and then now we swim in here. I don't know if this is a solution or not. I don't know. <laughs> That's just what my brain's kind of cooking up here. Because now I feel like we can we can control the water level in here too, you know? And But maybe we need that fish. I don't know if we do or not. I feel like we're going to need that fish. Because now, what if we can drop the water level in here, right? You think? Now we switch now we switch back to the piranha. Oh, it dropped. It actually dropped. Dude, no freaking way, guys. No freaking way. Guys, it, that worked. That actually worked. That look, guys, that, that actually worked. That actually legitimately worked. That was the solution. That was the solution. Now, now we we gotta raise it again. That was actually the solution. Now we switch back to him. I am freaking shocked. That was a solution. Can we move this, bro? I cannot even believe we figured that out. That is freaking awesome. So he had to stay trapped in there while the other guy just closed the door. I wonder if the last fish is gonna be in this in this aquarium. There it is. That's our last fish. The gang's all here. The gang's back together. Oh, we I think we needed the oh we needed the other fish though, didn't we? Wait, we we just gotta we just got so if I if I do this, oh shoot. Uh oh, we need the big fish back with us, don't we? Can I swim up and then maybe she can escape? Or maybe she can escape. How do we open this now? We need to have the other fish with us. What the hell do we do? I mean, this one can fly, right? She can fly, but. There's got to be a way that we can, like... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Maybe this is gonna... Okay, this is what we do. We knock that... That's that's how we do it. Now we can get the whole group back together. That's exactly what we do. I was confused for a minute. Now the whole group is back together. That's exactly what we do. This actually does take a little bit of, like... Not a lot of brain power, but, like, you can't... Like, you gotta, like, for sure, like... It's a lot of trial and error for sure, which I like about this. That was a cool puzzle, man. I really like that. Lizzie, I'm so glad to have you here. I, re I really am. So glad I have this stream to enjoy. I'm so bored at, bored at work in the moment. I'm always here. Well, not always here for you, Lizzie, but I try to always be here for you. <laughs> I'm grateful. I appreciate you, Lizzie, very much. 
They always get trapped underneath that stuff. How? There we go. <laughs> That's a great solution. And then we have to have, and then this guy has got to swim down here and then he's got to open that for us, right? These fish are 100% like, dude, these are our real friends. These guys are, these guys are real, real friends. What is this? That's not even a door, is it? Now we can, do we just swim down here now? But we have to leave our friend behind? Wait, why, do, why are we leaving pufferfish behind? <laughs> Boobies! Oh my god, Rebecca. Rebecca, have some dignity. Have some class. Where's your class at, Rebecca? You're having you're having tea time with your with your girlfriends today. You're having a girl a girl's night. And you're Wait, why how is the pufferfish gonna be left behind? Oh no, wait, yeah, how is he left behind? This is so stupid. Guys, come back for him. Was there nothing we could do to Was there nothing, how, it's that guy again. He must be the one that, he, he must want to like, get us back or something. Must stop the fish. He said must stop the fish. From doing what dude? We're just trying to be free, you, you. Save furniture. Hey, what is he saying? Must stop the fish? This guy's a psychopath. This guy's an actual psychopath. It's, I don't know what he's, I don't know what his deal is. What the hell is his problem? And what are we, what are we supposed to do in this tank? Must stop the fish. Must stop. Oh, there's like that's where we came in from, right there, right? Yeah, I see something right here on the on the ground that we can probably can I push? Can we push this rock? This has to be movable too, right? Yeah, this is movable here, right? Hmm, this is movable. Oh, that, that's what we broke off to come in this tank, I think, right? Yeah, that was the vent I think we broke off, wasn't it? Was that covering that that opening? We just broke. I think we just broke that off when we got in here, I think. But what do we do from here? And how do we get our other friend to come back with us? He's like he's like left behind right now. Oh my God! There's no roof on this tank. Oh my god, there is zero roof on this tank at all. We I can fly out of here with this with this with this guy. That's what I'm supposed to do. There's no roof on this tank at all. How do I know where to ooh, how do I know where to go? How do I know where to go? There's no water sources outside that I'm that I'm seeing right now. Where would I go if I get outside this tank? <laughs> There's got to be something that I'm I'm not seeing, right? I, I don't I I don't want to. Oh, the, the, I think I see it over there. Is that a checkpoint? No. That's as far as I can go. Do you guys do you guys see anything that I can I can swim to? Is there a mop bucket somewhere they can swim to? Where in the heck would I would I go? There's no I don't see a mop bucket anywhere, do you guys? This might just take a leap of faith. I don't know. Maybe I can't even get out of this tank. I don't know if I can. Let me try it. I can get out of this tank. Uh, but if I die, it's going to be so bad. 
This is the craziest leap of faith of all time. I don't know where, I don't even know where I'm flying to. Yeah, this is really bad. Wait, we're all, okay. We, we respawn and we're all in this tank together. So there was a way to get him. There was a way to get that fourth fish back in this tank. I don't know how to do it. I didn't, he, he was holding up that last area, but now, now we're all back together, which is nice. Okay, that's huge. That is really huge that we're all back in this tank together. Gnarly, dude. Gnarly, dude. There must, okay, now that I know I can just, I can just like fly back, like I'll spawn back in here. I got to figure out where to. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Is there, is there a different, oh, I'm going to die. It's so confusing though. But I don't, I don't see a checkpoint though, Jordan. Do you not fly and jump? I, do you see a checkpoint though? I don't, I don't see a checkpoint anywhere. Because that, 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 there's like a yellow thing right there, but that's, that's not a checkpoint. I'm not sure where, where I don't see it though. Do you? Because I'm trying to find the checkpoint, but I don't know where it's at. But it, it looked like it though, Jordan. It's just like a maybe that maybe that is supposed to represent something though. It did look like it though. I, I was thinking the same thing as you, because it looked just like a checkpoint to me. But I think it's not a checkpoint. Where do I fly to? Now I was thinking the same thing as you, Jordan. They don't don't worry about that, man. It looked just like one, you know. Freedom. Is there a map bug in here? I don't know what to do. Do we, can I fly out and just hit the, like just hit the guy? What if we just fly out of the tank and just smack right into the guy? Ah, oh, he's right there. It's hard to get out on this side for some reason. It's like, it's like, it's like blocking me in that side. That's, a, that's mildly frustrating. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, e it's easy to get out on some sides of the tank, but not every side. I don't know, man. This level is just, oh, there's a vent right here. Oh my God. I was flying all over the place. I was flying all over the place for no reason. There's a vent right here. Oh my God. I was flying all over the world. All right, friends. I like, can I even believe that was the case? All right. Uh, so Larry, you, you saw like that little thing that was on the whale. Those are like little breadcrumbs you can find throughout the levels. And like, that's how you like hundred percent the game. So I'm guessing you had to like fly out of the tank, go fly to get the breadcrumb and fly back in. But that wasn't like a checkpoint. That was like a little breadcrumb. I saw that too, but like, it's really hard to hundred percent this game. They make some of like the stuff you got to fly and grab kind of hard to get. Come on guys, we're swimming to freedom. Whoa. This is obviously a brand new room. Here, let me try something with this guy. Is there anywhere that he can get to that has water? He can swim over this side, can he? Yeah, he can swim over this side. It's probably gonna be one of those like lifts on this side, right? Maybe, maybe? That was very pointless. <laughs> that did not get us anywhere, really, but it's okay. 
I think what I'm supposed to do here is we're supposed to like swim up through here. Oh, uh, maybe not. I just died. Oh, no. <laughs> it's going black. Guys, it's going black. I can't. Oh, that's too late. We died. Oh, my God. Is that Co Clementine? Um, you joined at a very good time. Oh, we there was a, we got a checkpoint here. I didn't know that. Clem, this is such a good game. I don't know if you ever heard about this game or anything. This is a really good game, Clem. This game really is awesome. I don't know what to do here. Oh, there's another there's another event. Isn't no that's the same one I just opened. It is. Clem, you should have saw the previous levels. There was like a... So, the levels leading up to this, every, the fishes were by themselves. By, by by themselves. And like, the story is about reuniting them. And the, you, you get them all to the ocean. And then we all got captured again. So now we're trying to escape as a group instead of like playing individually. But one of the fish can fly. There's a piranha that can like bite things and rip things. There's a... There's a... There's a puffer fish that can like puff and like... Every fish has like their own unique abilities that, you know... You kind of have to utilize to win. It's a really awesome game, Clem. So, like the the, the first part of the game, you're playing like with the fish by themselves. Oh wow! I'm just trying to get a look around to see if there's any water. Like, what can I do? He's gonna die. Please, no, no, get get, get in there, get in there. Good, good job, buddy. I feel like this has to be part of the solution here. We have to... Are one of these buckets the answer? Like, what do I do here? Can one of the fish shoot up into that other pool? I have a flying fish. I'm so stupid. This guy can literally fly. Of course I'm supposed to do that. Oh, okay. I, I forgot that I, I had the flying fish now. Of course I can fly. That, that's what I'm supposed to do, probably. There's no water in there. <laughs> Dude, that pool looked like it was full of water, man. All right. That's not the answer. Bro, that pool 100% looked like it was full of water. 100%. How was that just not... How is there no water in there? Well, there's no water in there either, so... I don't know what to do. This is the last level in the game, too, Clem, so the game is just about over. Oh, we're getting buried. Help, help. See, I, I can't help but feel like there's got to be a place I'm supposed to fly to, right? There's got to be some kind of water source that I'm supposed to fly to. I just don't know where that's going to be. Yeah, that's not the answer. Until I figure out where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Mm-hmm. The one thing about this game, the fish kind of get in the way of each other sometimes when they're when you're playing all together. That's a water tank right there. Can I get in here? There's a sink right there. Okay, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to fly out of here and go that way. We're in the sink. This is progress. Even if it's not the right, ex the exact right way, we're making progress here. Nice. There's gonna be a way to like probably flood this whole place. I think that's exactly what I was supposed to do first. Now we're gonna fly to the other one. Oh my god, we barely made it. 
we're barely making this. I got, I got so much better at like using the, the wings on this guy. <gasps> no, 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 oh my God. Oh boy, uh, I like, <sighs> In the middle of that flight session, I was yelling, yelling at myself to like not use the wings. Like I was like in my head, I was like, Nick, don't use the wings. And I, I pressed the button. I'm like, Nick, you moron. Nick, you stupid head. Nick, you're so dumb. <laughs> I like knew yeah. we can skip the sink this time. Like I knew the wings would make me would make me far overshoot it. And I was right. And they totally did. <laughs> this game honestly Clem this game is super cute but it, it's a little bit ragey like I probably failed on every level like close to 100 times before I beat it but it's it, it's really easy to mess up like it's easy to mess up and it's really easy to to fail and die very easy to die we can still make it I think no I can't <laughs> I got so much better using the wings on this guy and then I just die. Wow, I'm so much better at the wings than I was. And I just like, I just totally die right after. <laughs> oh my God. This has to be the answer though, right? Like what else can I do? There's going to be something over here that I'll. Come on, flop in that tank. Get in there. Get in there. No, dude, come on. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, I almost just had an aneurysm. I want to get away. Nice. Nice. We're making a lot of progress, okay? This is good. I'm, I'm happy with this. There's a checkpoint right there. No! Dude, the checkpoints and this this level specifically, the checkpoints are really unforgiving. They're like really unforgiving. Here we go. We got this. I know, Remy. That was like actually the worst. I'm getting better. I, th I think we're getting better. I want to fly out of this thing straight. There we go. Huge, 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 huge. And there's a checkpoint. That is so... Oh my god, I feel so relieved. Now I think... Oh, you guys see over there? There's a water bucket! There's a water bucket! We can get the fish to jump in there! So what I have to do... I have to jump out of this water source, get in that water bucket, and then I have to drive it down and then get the rest of my fish friends. This is one of the, my favorite games I've played in a long time. We just gotta make it over there. We have to get in the in the bucket. Let's go. Let's go! Oh my god, that was awesome! Let's go! I think you could have also jumped in that bucket right there, just in case you wanted a closer one. And then now we have to make our way down. And then the boxes should stop us, right? That was so awesome. And there's there's another checkpoint too. There's the, there's the rest of our friends. So now we have to drive this bucket. Now we drive this up against the edge right here. I believe you guys called for an Uber. I believe you guys called for an Uber. And then we use the Piranha guy to open up the grate, the vent. Come on, come on, come on. He gets stuck under the vent every time. That's the that's the worst part about the piranha. He gets stuck under the vent every time. <laughs> Here, I'll just use the puffer fish. Here, here's what we're gonna do. No, 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 no. There we go. That's the best way to do it. If like he gets stuck every time and it's so annoying. But now we have to make sure they they all have to hop over this thing and they can't land outside that container. They have to. Oh my god. One in. One in. Alright, I'm gonna go next. On the off chance that we don't make it, Goldfish, I always loved you. You're my brother for life. 
If I don't make it in that, in that mop bucket. Get out of here with the other friends, all right? I might not make it. Woo! All right, three down. It's all up to... All up to... I, called, I think I named this guy George, right? I think I named him George. One more left. Things are going real good. <laughs> Nick speedrunning the game? Kind of. Can we actually climb back up there now? I don't know what to do. Oh, there's an escalator, isn't there? That's what we do. There's an escalator. Whew. Remy, we are cooking right now. After a large, after a lot of failures, I think we're actually starting to cook a little bit. Okay, I'll wait till the next one. It's so nice these escalator steps are like four times as wide as a traditional escalator. Because they really are that wide. See, now the game's being really generous with checkpoints. Where was that like an hour ago? Not like maybe like 15 minutes ago when I was struggling. Come on, guys, push. Wait, why can't we get... We can't get over the hump. Push! What is stopping us? There we go. Ooh. You see... You guys see the lever right there? I think we have to... We have to... Have this next to this. And then the piranha is going to jump up. I think he's got to grab the lever. He, he, oh, he's out, he's outside the thing. He's going to die. How do we do this? I mean, we have a checkpoint, but like you have to hit the lever and keep him alive. That's so hard. How did he just like randomly like spawn outside the... That's so fr That's so annoying. <laughs> You gotta like, you gotta have him go down and then jump up and then hit the lever. There we go. And that turns on the escalator. Oh, we are cooking. We are cooking. We are cooking. <laughs> they make it really hard though, because like the grates here are very hard to have the thing go across. Ah, useful snowstorm. I think they've all been useful. See, the, gold, the goldfish is the most useless. Not trying to be mean, but, like, he's the starter fish. So the first four levels, he doesn't really have any, like, gimmicks, you know? So he's the worst one. But the flying fish can fly. The puffer fish can, like, puff up. And then the piranha fish can, like, bite things and, like, you know, grab things. So the goldfish has no utility besides just existing. Which is, you know, that's fine. Sometimes all of us just need to exist to be happy. But he doesn't have, like, any special powers, you know? The goldfish is the, is the Sokka of this game, like... If this is Avatar of the Last Airbender, like there's a flying a flying bender, a puffy bender, and then like a, a bitey bender, and he's just like Sokka. He has he has no bending abilities, but he's still part of the friend group, so we gotta make sure he survives. They're all very useful except for the goldfish. He's just kinda he he does like the basic stuff. He swims, he can push stuff around. But he doesn't have like anything that's like super, super special about him, you know? And this game's nice because there's cutscenes and the cutscenes are voice acted and it's real like I really like these fish. These fish are awesome. Like they're a, a really awesome friend group. And we're gonna we're gonna escape and we're gonna survive and we're gonna go back to the ocean together. Uh oh. Uh oh. I guess what we have to do here is we have to jump off here, right? We have to get out and get in this tank. I don't know what we do here. <laughs> the goldfish is me in real life. I'm great at existing. Yeah, let's... I think, we, I think all of us have to hop out of here, and maybe except for the flying fish. And then the piranha jumps out next. I want to swim to this side over here and see what, see what happens. Yeah. I guess even the flying fish can come in this tank. 
Because I think that we have to... Yeah, I see what we have to do. I guess even the flying fish will come in this tank. We'll all jump out and come in here. Oop. Hey, Zeno. Thank you so much, man. What's going on, dude? I'm at the gym before I head to work, but I saw you around about to get on the treadmill. Yo, Zeno, this is a really cool game, and I hope you have a good time on the treadmill, my dude. See, we, we land in here. Can we move this around? We can push this around. Oh, I push this up to... Okay, we push this to the um, the other the other thing, and then my the, all the fish can hop in here, right? So I think we're supposed to push this over to to the this area, right? And then maybe all the fish can jump in here together and we can we just kind of upgraded to like the new Or can we not? Can I not push it that far back? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. But can they can they even make it in here? <laughs> it's so <laughs> Oh my god, that is so that is so crazy. Yeah, they, they can make it, but and we just have one more. We have the piranha left. Okay, the gang is all here. I just don't know exactly how we're gonna get through that door. There's got to be a button we have to press or something for this gate to open, right? Oh, it oh it opens because we're oh it only opens for these. That's what it, that's what it is. So those gates open when there's like something in front of it that we're trying to get through. Because this game is about to be over. We're about to beat this game here, I think. I think we're about to beat this game. Do we take this thing all the way down? No way, that is so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. Trust me, these fish are up to something. Oh, oh no! Bro, no freaking way. Dude, that is so cool. That whole time the guy was so sus of us fish being up to something. We're just trying to escape and go back to the ocean, bro. I'm not trying to do anything to you. I'm just trying, we're just trying to get back to the ocean where we can be free. We're not locked up. That that this is such a dope ending to this game, dude. I'm this is a, one of the best games I've played in like the last like five years. Like le, like legitimately, this is one of the best games I've played in the last five years. This game this game was deserved all the hype it had. This is such a great game. We got That was the last level. That was the last level. Wow. You did it. Wow. <laughs> They're like the fish avengers. They kind of are That's so cool, man Please don't please don't get caught again. Can you guys just like not get caught? Why is why are his eyes black you guys see his eyes why, why are his eyes black? Wow. Wow. I paid like six dollars for this game. I paid six bucks for this game on on Xbox. That was the best six dollars I've ever spent on a video game by far. 
dude i'm i don't like i don't really ever like take time to like put my review in for a game i'm, I'm gonna like review this game i'm gonna give it like my actual review and make it a very positive one that was such a good game wow very impressed by that game so good i enjoyed every bit of it i enjoyed every level in this game there wasn't a level that was bad even the blood level the level with blood was a little bit like kind of gross but it wasn't even that bad that was just wonderful i know shelly it does suck that it's over i will admit it it's one of the worst parts as a streamer is when you're enjoying a game on stream like like these games that i, I like to stream like this one it sucks when it's over because then I really miss it and I miss it already. It's hard because you, I really do start, I, I do fall in love with the games that I play here and I fell in love with this one and the fact that it's over sucks. But you gotta smile because it happened. I'm gonna look up if they're planning on making I Am Fish 2. I Am Fish is the official sequel to I Am Bread, which was itself the prequel to Surgeon Simulator. Is I Am Bread good? Is that game good? I Am Bread? I could try to play I Am Bread. Is that game worth playing? Is it fun? I just don't know if I can if I can play a game called I Am Bread, but I'm, when I played a game called I Am Fish, because I Am Fish was so fun. It's good. All right. If Remy the Doggo says it's good, then I probably will try it. If I got the okay from Remy the Doggo. I'll probably give it a try. No, Diesel. I think it's I think it's dropping in like uh like in like two hours and twenty minutes. I might even stream it this morning, the Avatar update, or the, yeah, I might stream the Avatar update in Fortnite. I might stream that. It's going to be tempting for me to stream that today. So I might wrap up my stream and then come back in a couple hours, depending. I got to get a couple things done this morning, but I, I might come back and play the that update. We'll see. I'm on the fence about it today, at least. It wouldn't be a long, long stream, but I, I, I might. Just to try it out. We'll see. Yeah, it drops in a couple hours, Jordan. I might even stream in. I might even stream like a movie in Discord. Maybe. What if we watch like the like the um, the, like the the bad Avatar movie? <laughs> I think I might stream it in a, in a couple hours because, like, dude, you know, it, the Avatar update does not come around come around all the time. Maybe I'll maybe I'll, we'll do like a movie. I gotta get a, I gotta get a few things done before I would do that, but we could probably figure that out. This game was just awesome. Yeah, there's a really bad Avatar movie, like a really bad one that came out. I saw it one time in theaters. Ooh, Remy, am I going to play Splatoon anytime soon? Yeah, I'm going to play this Blatfest next weekend. Are you, are you a Splatoon fan, Remy? I love Splatoon. I took a break from it for a while, though. Is is the are they are they gonna make I am Bird? Was that was the whoa 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 was that was that? Wait, what what is that? Wait, what is that like? What does the bottom right say? Level one. Wait, is that is that a secret level down there? Requires 15 out of 40. Is that a secret level down there? What is that? Are you guys seeing that down there? What is that? What is that bottom right level? Level one. That's not like a secret level, is it? Why is there like why does it say why is it spacey? What is it? What is it? Is that a secret level? Is that a secret, secret level? You need 40 stars. You're right. I do need, I need 40. That must be a secret level, isn't it? 
Yeah. No, we need 40 bread and we also need 40 stars. 40 bread, 40 stars is what we need. Dude, Skullface, please don't spam, man, okay? Please don't spam, dude. I want to try... I want to try... I wonder if we can find the video for that level. The secret level I am fish. There's a bonus level. Guys, there's a bonus level and the fish are in space. It's an astronaut level. You're literally in space. I can't unlock it today, but maybe I'll stream it eventually. Either way, that was a really beautiful game. It's like fish in space. Yeah, time, time to speed run it for stars. Time to speed run it for stars. Time to speed run it for stars. <laughs> I will, Colleen. Maybe you can play Flipping Death this October. <laughs> definitely, Colleen. Definitely. Probably before then, actually. Probably before then. No, they... They they don't actually. I can show you a screenshot of it. There's not they're like um you know okay, do you know in space XJ when like how water like the, it, obviously it's, it's it floats because like there's no gravity so like it clumps up and floats. That's kind of how it works. There's like water that's spilled in, on the space station and it's like clumped up and it's floating, right? So you can like kind of go from water source to water source. It looks like a very unique level. So it's, it doesn't play like any other level. So it's just like, there's like clumps of water and like there's still like con containers of water you can find, but there's also like random water clumps that are like kind of floating. It's kind of cool. I'm kind of sad they locked it behind the, like the requirements though. That's kind of sad. They, sh they should have just had the level be accessible for, for beating the game, you know? I don't love how they locked it behind the achievements, personally. I know it gives you a reason to wanna um it gives you a reason to wanna to wanna like to get achievements, but at the same time, I don't know. That is cute though. I I'm gonna look up quick if they're if they plan on like having like a sequel to this game. I am fish sequel. I'm on like their website, Surgeon Simulator, I Am Bread, I Am Fish. Guys, I kind of want to play Surgeon Simulator. You guys down for that? Surgeon Sim 2, access all areas. It might be kind of gross, but should I play Surgeon Simulator? <laughs> Dude, there's no way. Dude, Surgeon Sim looks really disgusting, but kind of fun. Dude, right now, guys, Surgeon Sim is on sale on Steam for $5. It's on sale on Steam for $5. I wonder what, it's, what it costs on Xbox right now. Usually it costs, uh... Usually it costs 20 but it's on sale for 5 bucks right now. Surgeon, Surgeon Sim 2. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Yo, Remy, thank you for four months of being a member. Thank you for being awesome. I Am Bird would be, would be awesome. It'd be cool. Like, what I, what I was thinking for I Am Bird... Hear, hear me out, Remy, right? You have a, a woodpecker. You have a pelican that can hold water in its beak. That can maybe, like, use it to, like, you know, pour water on stuff. Uh, or, like, maybe, like, you know, just hold things in the beak. You have, like, just, like, four, fit, four birds that have, like, unique traits that you can use to maybe, like, get around the world, too, you know? They should make I Am Bird. I would play the heck out of that game. And they could have like a they could have like a jungle. They could have like a city. They could have like a forest. They could have like they could be just like this game. 
make it just like this, but with birds. Like maybe they got poached and they the the it starts in a zoo, and you have to escape the zoo and then fly away. They could do it'd, it'd be so it'd be so good. I would like that a lot actually. Something like that, yeah. Oh hell yeah, Colleen. The the Rito Village is my favorite. The the Rito Clan. I'm a, I'm a Rito fan for life. Rito Clan, Rito fan. Wait, I want to see. Hold on, I'm gonna see. Uh... Yeah, I'm so tempted. I wonder if Surgeon Sim is on is on Game Pass. I don't think it's on Game Pass, right? It is. Maybe it's not. This is just like, uh, this isn't like Game Pass. This, 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 these are just like actual games, right? Yeah. It's not on like Game Pass, but it looks... You guys can see what it looks like, though. The game itself looks kind of gross, so if you guys don't like this kind of stuff, it's, it's a little bit gross, but there's like... Why are there soda cans? And why are they putting mustard and hot dogs inside the guy? <laughs> He's, he is, it's a little bit gross. It's, I don't even know if I'd stream this or not, but it, it is kind of cool. It is kind of funny looking. It's a little bit gory. It's a little bit disgusting, but. What is going on in this game? What is, ha wait, what is that game? What, what is happening? Oh, get ready to team up for trauma. In this one to four player physics based operating theater, take on the, cr the cream of the medical establishment and uh, riotous competitive challenges. What is that word, riotous? I've never used that word before. Play frantically blood splatter co op games or go solo in Surgeon Sims 2 rib tickling campaign mode. It looks gross. Like, honestly, it looks kind of disgusting, not gonna lie. It looks kind of gross to me. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. The dude's got the dude's got some. He's got two cans of Coca Cola. Surgeon Sim is not on Game Pass, but but this this is gross. The guy's got hands for legs. This guy's getting. Like, this guy has a brain for a stomach. Let's do the bread. I think bread sim looks really really great. Dude, are they, this looks kind of weird and disgusting. The bread sounds better to me. I don't know. This this actually would be kind of kind of cute though. I feel like. <laughs> I think I would try this game out. Remy, this is made by the same devs that made I Am Bread and also I Am Fish. This, this, this are the same developers. They made this game too. This is Surgeon Simulator. So this this studio made the first Surgeon Sim, Surgeon Sim Two. And they made I Am Fish and I Am Bread. Same devs. So it's probably going to be a good game at least. It's just kind of, it's kind of gross. She's putting a plum for the, for the guy's head. I think it's pretty cute. I think it's very cute. You don't think it's, you don't think it's cute, Big Hammerbacks? There's a game, there's also a game that I saw in here that I think you, I was going to stream actually recently. Uh, this is a game that I'm probably going to play eventually. It's called Superland. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. Sorry. No, no. I've heard of Superland so, from so many people and it looks really fun. I'll show you the trailer. Huh? I thought I was going to at least. 
Why did that not work? Why did that not work at all? Maybe it'll play here. Isn't there like an actual trailer for it? Yeah, there is right here. This game looks like a lot of fun. It's like a puzzle game too. It's like a puzzle phys physics game. And I've heard a lot of good things about this one. I've never played it before though. So it's kind of like a, people describe it as like a 3D Metroidvania, but like there's different levels. But I've heard it gets pretty hard towards the end, which is why I'm like, I don't mind hard games, but I don't know if I want to. It looks very fun though, and like the physics look kind of cute in it. You have to like use everything in your in the environment to like problem solve and find your way around. It looks really silly too, which I like. That's what I like about it. I would try that game probably. Something scary now. Not something scary. There's also, have you guys heard of this game before? No, it's not called Old Year. It's called, uh, I, I gotta figure out what it's called again. Hold up. Um... It's just called Deer Simulator. This because this one looks super silly. This one looks super freaking silly. Look at look at the screenshots of this. <laughs> dude, like what is this game? It's called Deer Simulator. Like what is this game, dude? <laughs> that is a that is a deer motorcycle right there. Those are those are dogs or what? Are, what is what are the? I don't, this game looks. <laughs> I don't know what the hell this game actually is, but it looks it looks fun enough to play for a stream. I don't know. This picture right here, like I, I don't get it. I've like tried to. There's actually a trailer for it too. We'll, we'll, we'll watch the trailer. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is it fun, Remy? It's a fun game. I recommend it. Wait, so is this all happening in the guy's, like... know guys yeah th the devs were probably on something that that deer has guns for horns his horns are literally guns like what is th okay this this i'm definitely gonna play this game though i'm uh, this is a game i'm for sure gonna play i'm not sure if you guys heard of this game before but the, the pedestrian looks really good i want to play this game really bad actually like like seriously this game does like looks like it's a quality game It's just, it's like an action adventure game, but you're a guy that lives inside these signs. I'm actually gonna stream this game. It's a little puzzly too. This one looks really, really good. It's like, a, it's, it's like a Game Boy in the bottom. And that game looks very, very good. It looks very worth it, too. Everyone told me that. And this, this, this is also a game. Like, I, I know so many games that I wanted to play here for a while. This one looks really good, too. Is there, is there a trailer for it? 
This one's like a post-apocalyptic game that looks good. Somerset. Pupper I've always thought about playing Paparazzi too. I think this one looked actually fun. This is the one I think I I think I watched the, the trailer for this game too. Your sim looks funny. This used to No, this is not the one I was thinking of. Not that not this one. I want to play uh, High on Life really bad, but it's just like super inappropriate. So I wouldn't stream it here. High on Life looks just like so inappropriate, but like I want to play that game at, at some point in my life. I will play it at some point. There's a lot of good games out there that I want to try. This this game seems really chill. I don't know if you guys have seen this game before, but like if you if you're into games that are like more like just like you know just like chill games for decorating. You just take like uh like old abandoned structures and you just like you can like just grow vines and flowers and you can it's just like if i was like just like chilling this would be a very fun game to just chill and play if i wanted to just have a night just to relax you can choose different plants and you can just like overgrow things and i don't think i'd play this game a lot but it would be fun to play for like a couple hours i'm sure over time it would get kind of old but you can like tend to the crops and you can you can like you can make it rain so you, it'll grow faster and there's like there's like a chainsaw you can like cut it all down it just looks very chill cloud gardens i, th I thought about that for a while 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 bum, 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 bum. yeah I, I wanted to play high on life for a while I've been on the fence about it. There's a lot of games though that I, want, I do want to play. What's Lego Fortnite? Have you guys heard of? Have you guys heard of Lego Fortnite? I think I would like Stray. I think I would like Stray a lot. I think I like Stray a lot. I've seen a lot of gameplay for Stray, but I never played it myself. Bum 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 bum. There were some other games that were like in the category of like games you'd like. This one looks really good too for uh Fogs. I want this, this is one of the games that I want to play. This is a the last trailer I'm going to watch but This is one that I've been like considering playing for a while too. <laughs> Seems like a really cute game to play with somebody else, probably too. It looks very silly. I'm not sure if I'd ever play this game, like or stream it, but I, I would consider it. I want to replay I Am Fish all over again. I Am Fish was so good. I Am Fish was the best. All right, guys, I think we're gonna call it here for a stream, though. Okay, I might stream the Avatar update this morning, so I might come back this morning and try the new Avatar update when it comes. I think it drops at like 9 a.m. That's what I heard. So we'll see. I might stream it this morning, but we're gonna call it here. We finished the hell out of I Am Fish. It was a really great stream. Uh. Thank you all for being here for the stream today. Thank you all for the support today. Thank you all for your time. Thank you all for for uh, all the hype, getting hype when we when we beat the game. Because I didn't know how long it would take today, but it took a lot longer than I thought. I thought we'd play it for like four or five hours when we beat it, but it took a lot longer than that to beat the game. So it was fun. I had a great time playing through it. I'm grateful for everyone, everyone that shared the experience with me. We're going to go raid somebody now, okay? We're about to go raid somebody. You guys are amazing. You guys are beautiful. You guys are you guys are awesome. 9 a.m. is in two hours for me right now. So it's 704 for me right now. Jordan, thank you. Snowstorm, thank you. Dude, like what was cool about that game, Snowstorm? It literally played like a Pixar movie. The graphics were great. It had a lot of character and personality. 
like there was a, not, not very much dialogue, but I still you still cared for the characters. You want to you want to see the fish all together. It was a good game for for how bad it could have been. And I got it for like six dollars on the Xbox Store, so that was super worth it. Uh, thank you, thank you all for your time. Thank you all for your support. I appreciate it massively. We're gonna go raise somebody. All right. Uh, Alex, thank you. Shelly, thank you. Earthling, thank you. Big Hammerbacks, thank you. Star Rock, thank you. Uh, Skullface, thank you. XJ, thank you so much. Shelly, I hope you have a great day at home today. I'm home today, so I'll see you later. Have a great day at home today, right, Shelly? You're the GOAT. You're the greatest of all time. Let's go raid somebody right now. Let's go. Um, if you guys want to watch, I'll stream in, I'll stream in the bad Avatar movie. Um, It'll be like maybe like 15, 20 minutes before I'm going to actually be in the Discord. I got I to gotta get a couple things done quick, but I'll stream it in and then I'll we'll see if I'll play the new update this morning. I might actually do that. So um, give me a hot minute. Okay, guys. If you want to just chill and watch it while um, I get some stuff ready, then that sounds like a plan to me. I got to pee right now anyway. That's a great time to wrap up. I want to try the new Avatar update really bad, so... I'm considering trying it. Plus, I got Toph gifted to me, and it'd be fun to play that today, I think. Ah, Rebecca. You are such a sweetheart. Like Rebecca, I hope you enjoy the hell out of your girls' night tonight. Hope you guys do your Manny Petties. Hope you guys play your Fortnite LAN party. Hope you guys have a lot of good drinks, and you guys get a lot of good bubbly and a lot of good wine. <laughs> hope you guys get a lot of good, that good, good. <laughs> thank you rebecca you are awesome have a good friday well i'm what time are you guys gonna be starting your girls night what time does girls night start hope you guys have a, a lot of the good tea have a little have a little gossip have a little bit of this have a little bit of that rebecca were you were you here tonight earlier when i was talking about theo von i don't think you were you in my stream rebecca when i was talking about theo von today did you hear the joke he made on the podcast i was listening to i gotta tell you this joke you would love it. I don't know if you heard the joke or not, but it was hilarious. So Theo Vaughn was on a podcast I was listening to, and the girl asked him, she goes, Theo, what is, uh, what's the biggest turnoff for you in a relationship? And he sits there for a second, he goes, can't swim. <laughs> and, then he, and then the girl goes, what? He's like, he's like the earth is 80% water. He's like, He's like, I might be your man, but I'm not your flotation device. And he's just like, he was, he was, he was like, uh, what else did he say? He said, uh, he, he said, he said, if there's, a, if there's a tsunami and uh, if there's a tsunami and we both get washed away, it's bye bye, honey. It, like the way he said it was the it was the funniest thing I've ever heard. Like, what's the big, what's your biggest turnoff? He said, it's gotta be can't swim. He's like, I might be your man, but I'm not your flotation device. <laughs> he's like, the Earth is 80 percent water. The earth is 80% water. If you can't swim, I'm not helping you out. <laughs> Dude, it was the it was actually the funniest joke. Like, like the way he delivered it was, oh my god, it was the best. I can't even like he just thought of it on the spot like that. It was great. Can't swim. <laughs> All right, guys. We're gonna go raid somebody, okay? Thank you so much, Rebecca. You're the best. I really appreciate you. <laughs> the earth is 80% water. <laughs> Guys, we're going to go raid Shinies this morning, dude. I'm not sure who all the raid... We're going to go raid Shinies. He's doing some stuff. <laughs> What's the biggest turnoff in a relationship? It's got to be Can't Swim. Honey, I, if there's a tsunami, I'm not helping you. You can't cling on to me. You're going to have to figure it out yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, I might, I might be back in a little bit. Either way, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys very much. Ta-ta for maybe... I might be back in a couple hours to stream for a couple hours, but we'll see. But much love, everybody. Thank you guys for being here. Ta-ta.
Got racks on racks on racks. Da -da 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 -da. Got a thick top. All right, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'll stream, I'll stream in the show in a sec. And then I'm gonna figure out if I'll be live again this morning or not. But you guys are amazing one more time. I appreciate you so entirely damn much. Thank you for everything. You guys are amazing, beautiful. Thank you for all the love. Thank you for all the time. Thank you for all the support you show me. Thanks for even enjoying my streams or enjoying what I'm streaming. Thanks for always showing up here no matter what I'm playing. Thanks for making everyone in chat, you know, feel welcome. And everyone that does whatever you guys do to help me out, it means a lot to me. So I appreciate it. The channel is less awesome without you and it's definitely not possible without you. So thanks for being here every day and enjoying my the chaos and enjoying the all the stuff we do. I love you all very much. Good night.